60 years ago, a violent sandstorm uncovered an ancient tomb in the desert outside Cairo. A British expedition set off in hope of finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. A lot, actually. The crew left after the storm. They kept talking about the old team that disappeared, and then they were gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. About that... What? The docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. But I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? As soon as they release me. Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Got it. I'll see if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. See ya! Bye. Great! I could use this to translate the hieroglyphs.
see. You decided to stay? Of course. Good. We need all the help we can get. Look, this is awkward. What's that? Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Are you sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant the American team, which is just you. Sure, I don't mind. Good. For now, you can look around if you want. Just don't screw anything up. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. Bye-bye. Later. Whoa, you cannot go back there. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. What's the board game in the middle of the room? Senate. You've got to try it out. It's one of the first games humans ever played. You've got to try it. The goal is to get all of your pieces off the board first. When a token reaches the last square, it's removed from the board. To move, throw the sticks. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. If all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. I threw a two. What does that mean? You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. Can't do that. If you throw a one, four, or five, move a token and then throw the sticks again. If no moves are available, the player skips their turn. I rolled a three, so I'll move my token three spaces. If you land on an opponent, you swap places, sending your opponent's token back to your token starting position. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block, but you can move over it. There are five special squares on the board, each with their own name and design. The square with the Ankh is a safe square, and the token on this square can't be swapped. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. They can move past it on their next turn. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back to the square with the Ankh. The last two are safe squares, so tokens can't be swapped. Let's start a game. You can go first. No fair! Can't do that. 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 Hey! Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. No fair!
can't do that. do that. Your turn. I'm stuck. do that. No fair! Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. news for you can't do that can't do that can't do that can't do that Look out! 
No fair! Can't do that. 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 Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. No fair. Can't do that. Can't do that. I'm sending you back. Rats. Back to where you came from. Look out. No fair. Look out. Do that. Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. I'm sending you back. Can't do that. Can't do that. Where you came from. Can't do that. Rats. Do that. Can't do that. That's cold, Lily. Do that. Can't do that. 
can't do that. I can't make a move. I'm sending you back. Your turn. I'm stuck. I win! It's Nancy Drew. Oh, Francine, dear. I'm so glad you called. I've been having the most infuriating problem with my internet. This is Nancy Drew. Oh, you young people are so refreshing. Always in search of new identities. The problem is that I downloaded this program called Weather Monkey. At my age, it's important that I keep abreast of all meteorological developments. I'm starting a new book, and I can't focus on my work because the weather monkey keeps yelling the weather at me. Maybe you should uninstall it? I will do no such thing. That would be tantamount to murder. <sighs> Maybe turn it down? Brilliant and fantastic. Oh, yes, Samantha, you are a ticket. I would love to help you, but uh, how do I know you again? Nancy, Drew... We've met a few times. Aha, now I remember you. If life were a good book, you'd be my favorite reoccurring character. I'm in Egypt, and I need your help. Egypt? Well, why didn't you say that instead of chattering away about my internet problems? I don't know how to respond to that. I read your book, and I thought maybe you could help. You found my book while you were in Egypt. <gasps> the serendipity is as delectable as Chateaubriand smothered in lavender lemon juice. I am at your disposal. I didn't exactly find it. You sent it to me. You even signed it. Oh dear, I sign and send lots of things. Have you heard of an expedition that went off in search of Nefertari years ago? Oh yes. The team in which everyone died, is that the one? Yes. Do you think that story is true? Oh, heavens, yes. It's deadly out there in the desert. Think about it. You're going out there in search of dead bodies. There must be a reason they're in favor of the area. But this expedition wasn't searching for QV-66, right? Indeed not. That had already been discovered. They were searching for Nefertari's mummy. What do you think happened to them? Oh, it's best you not concern yourself about that now, given your current location. What do you know about Nefertari? <gasps> ah, a love story. Oh, break out the tissue papyrus, because when I'm done, there won't be a dry Horus in the house. Uh, what? Look it up, dear. Ramses II and Nefertari shared a love so vast, the world could scarcely contain it. I'm talking about the kind of love you spell capital L, capital O, heart instead of a V, capital E. They stood side by side and ruled the world, but as they saw the years stretch out before them, they were keenly aware that a handful of decades would never cut it. They needed to be together always. That's sweet. And relevant. The ancient Egyptians believed that life was little more than a dress rehearsal for eternity. I found records that they concocted a plan to be together forever, side by side. Why not be buried side by side? They foresaw a volatile future for their kingdom, and they were correct. They knew they were...
would have to enact safeguards. That's why in 1904, when QV-66, the so-called tomb of Nefertari, was found, her body was not there. What are the chances we found Nefertari's tomb? If I were a gambling Hotchkiss, I'd say 60-40. I still don't get all this business with QV-66. Why build a fake tomb? For the same reason, I never carry my passport in my purse when I travel. Some things are too valuable to leave in a tempting place. You mentioned an expedition that found QV-66, Nefertari's tomb. It was one of the most significant finds in archaeology. They call it the Sistine Chapel of Egypt. It's where my fascination with the royalty of Egypt was born. The color alone took my breath away. We think of ancient Egypt as being a subdued sand color, but it was a riotous display with all the visual delights of a midsummer gelato shop cooler case. And you don't think Nefertari was entombed there? They only found kneecaps, which supposedly means that her tomb was robbed. You disagree? I do. What good is the mummy without the context? It's the placement in the tomb that makes the mummy valuable. Why is Nefertari so important? There are two queens I find most fascinating in ancient Egypt, and for exactly the same reason. They were hidden. Hatshepsut is the first. I think I've heard of her. She was the pharaoh that was almost removed from the historical record, right? Exactly! Twenty-some years of peace and stability, and after she dies, that most the thirds, ancient cronies try to erase her from the record. Why? Jealousy, revenge, fear that his reign would never equal hers. You name it, but you can't keep a good woman down. Despite the efforts of Thutmose Third's supporters, her legacy endured. And Nefertari? In my opinion, she's the opposite. She was obsessively preserved in the historical record, but it was her tomb that was hidden. How sure are you that Nefertari's tomb was hidden? There was something strange about QV-66. I think that might be why it is off-limits to this day. It is? To you and me, at the very least. There is a rumor that the tomb has a clue to the true location of Nefertari's mummy. Really? Who knows? I'll tell you this. I didn't have time to read all of the hieroglyphs, but I noticed that the syntax was a little, shall we say, wonky? I don't know how hieroglyph syntax could be non-wonky. True. But it was almost as if Nefertari and Ramses II had their own language. See ya. Bye, dear. But the site. My dictionary could help translate that. could translate that.
I should try to piece the amulet back together. There's a piece missing. I wonder where the rest of the amulet pieces were found in the tomb.
this is approximately where the other amulet pieces were found. It's stuck! Got it. Can't check that off yet. You are still here, darling. Oh, you couldn't drag me away. But uh, if you don't mind, I prefer Nancy. But I prefer the distinguished Dr. Raccoon. It appears neither of us is going to get what we want. So I must know, are you very brave or just very stupid? Oh, I'm not afraid of a curse if that's what you're getting at. It is, but you still haven't answered my question. Oh, I'm very brave. This is something the truly brave never say. What's going to happen now that there's been a major injury? Usually it means we are going to be shut down, so now we work fast. Professor Boyle was supposedly injured by a lightning strike, but the medical reports state that he was struck in the head with a blunt instrument. No, that can't be. That's what he said. This is serious. I know. Someone attacked him. Do not be so hasty. We don't know what happened. But it's best you be careful anyway. I think Professor Boyle was attacked. Do you have any evidence? I have enough. If I'm wrong and it's an accident, then no harm done. If I just assume it was an accident and let his attacker get away with it, who knows who will get hurt next? You are very shrewd. What do you think about Professor Boyle? He's lucky to be alive. It's a good thing professors have such thick skulls. Did you two get along? Get along? I know him. I respect his work. Were you okay with Professor Boyle working the site with you? No. Why not? When you are the best, like I am the best, no one else can ever help. No, they only get in your way. But Professor Boyle is one of the best archaeologists working today. He wouldn't be getting in your way. One of the best? <laughs> I am the best. That's why this site is mine. What are you working on? This mural here. There is something very important hidden in this wall. I don't know if I can decode it in time. Can I give it a shot? <laughs> no. You want to try the other mural up top? <laughs> yeah, sure. I need a few tips for reading the hieroglyphs. A few tips? <laughs> yes, that's how I learned to read hieroglyphs. At first, they were inscrutable and mysterious, but then I got some tips. Just go look in your books. Have you made progress? Did you find anything to say whose tomb this is? 
I wish I could say we found the Lost Queen, but I don't know for sure yet. The answer is here. We may find the mummy, but if we do not crack this before they come to shut us down, we may never know who we have found. Do you have any idea what that inscription means? Look at the hieroglyphs. They are not supposed to be riddles, and I still grappled with them, sometimes for years. The actual riddles, huh, forget it. That's why I am here, staring at this wall. I cannot think if I am not working. What do you know about Lily? I've seen many like her. What does that mean? Ambitious, young, smart. The ones like that, they achieve. Or they flame out in a big <sighs> That seems... dramatic. The world moves on the back of dramatic lives. I do not think this is a good thing. Lily, she is like a spinning top. She stands straight, but the slightest nudge, she will go ping, flying off in a crazy direction. I do not trust her. Then why did you choose her to be part of the dig? Someone I fully trust would never be able to surprise me. I still don't understand why you would want Lily to work with you. She is smart, and her downfall is being too ambitious. She is so much like me, I'd be a hypocrite to not like her. I'd better get going. Bye. I bet I could translate that. Never enter where? here. That jackal symbol is at the beginning and end of this passage. There must be something special about it. Looks like I need to find out who the four sons of Horus were. It looks like the Red Scarab is missing. I need to see if I can find something that will help me solve this. it. Now 
now if I only knew what it meant. Yes? I translated the hieroglyphs! Beginner's luck. Is it strange that some of the hieroglyphs don't make sense? There is a saying. If a lion could speak, we would not understand him. So, let's say one day, magically, poof! A very smart lion learns to speak the king's English. How he understands the world is so radically different that even though you understand the words he spoke, you could never understand what he was trying to say. Is that how you think of the ancient Egyptians? Yes. Now let me show you why I am the best archaeologist in the world in one simple step. Okay, go ahead. I am Ramses II. Okay. I, Ramses II, I look at my kingdom. Look at it with me. Be Ramses with me. Come now, survey the kingdom. We are kings. Look at the sands. They part in the most elegant tribute to our majesty. Listen to the river. You are not doing it. Sorry, I'll try harder. Good. Listen to the river. That is better. The birds of prey and even the deadly serpents bow before us. They look to us as if we were the sun. And remember, we are Ramses. We are the sun, most favored by Ra, sun god. The heartbeat of this world is for us alone. Looking at all of this, what do you want? What could I possibly want? Exactly. Now tell me, what are you afraid of? I guess... Losing what I have. Yes, you are thinking like a pharaoh. Now tell me, how could you lose what you have? I can't lose anything. I'm the pharaoh. Wrong. You can and you will. You will die, Ramses II. You will be gone and forgotten. Okay, but how does all of this lead to the lost queen? For thousands of years, the lion spoke and no one understood. But, understand the fear, and you understand the man. I'll let you go. See you later. Nancy? What do you think of Abdullah? Say what you want about how he behaves. He's earned it. I've heard the opposite. I've studied his career. He's a bit of a jerk, but let's face it. When you think of archaeology, you think of him. He's the best. A decade of dedicated study. Okay, I guess you have a point. Thanks. It just bothers me when people are critical of him. He's sort of a hero of mine. I'll let you go. See you. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Look out! I'm sending you back. Can't 
do that. Ha! Can't do that. I'm sending you back. Ha! No fair! No fair! Can't do that. Ha! Can't do that. Can't do that. Ha! Can't do that. 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 To where you came from. Can't do that. 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 Hey!
No fair. No fair. You don't win because I win. Ha! Bad news for you. Can't do that. Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. Can't do that. Bad news for you. Can't do that. Do that. No fair. That's cold, Lily. Bad news for you. Do that. Ha! Back to where you came from. That's cold, Lily. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. I'm sending you back. Can't do that. Look out! Can't do that. Bad news for you. Can't do that. 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 No fair. Bad news for you. I'm sending you back. Can't do that. Rats! Can't do that. Back 
to where you came from. Can't do that. Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. Can't do that. Rats. Can't do that. Bad news for you. Can't do that. Can't do that. It's still sealed. Oops. It's too dark. I need to find something to light the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I think we found the tomb. I've got to see this myself. Brilliant! Who is that? It's magnificent. <laughs> what is this? Look at the hieroglyphs. There is something very important here. It's the curse. Everyone, get out of here. Oh, if I can it's... just get this light to turn back on. Now! Hi. Do you think this really is Nefertari's tomb? I really hope so. Why isn't she in the tomb in the Valley of the Queens? There could be a lot of reasons. The worst case is grave robbers, but we really don't think that's the case. Why not? Because her valuables were found, but her body wasn't. Doesn't make sense. We think she was hidden. Ramses II was known to be very protective, and he was very concerned about the afterlife. It's possible Ramses built a false tomb to make sure she'd be undisturbed. There are many stories of his love for her, but we don't know how true they are. If he went through so much trouble, don't you feel strange about disturbing her tomb? No. Someone will do it eventually. If we get there first, She'll be treated with respect, and she'll truly get to live on forever. If someone else finds her, she'll go to the highest bidder. If you're so interested in Nepertari, why aren't you below? Promise you won't make fun of me? Sure. I'm a woman of science, okay? But the curse thing rattled me. I need to do research now anyway. I'd prefer to do it where nothing will fall on me, and maybe get a little face time with a certain British someone. What did you think about being there to finally open the tomb? I don't know what to think. When I was near it, it just felt... No, it's stupid. What? Something was in that room with me. Whatever it was, it wasn't human. At least not anymore. Don't go in there. Do you think there's something to this curse? I've studied curses, so look. Don't make me say it. Say what? Yes, I do. 
Even reading about curses gives me the creeps. Why are you reading about curses if they give you the creeps? I know, it's weird. It's like if I can learn everything about curses, then maybe they won't have any control over me. I can tell that you probably don't believe in curses, so please don't make fun of me. I'm not. Sorry, I'm just a bit worked up. I'm probably just being oversensitive. You're too calm. Do you know how effective curses are? They are deadly 76.42% of the time. You know what else has that fatality rating? White water rafting with a hungry bear who also has the bird flu and he's holding dynamite. What's that book? Curses of the World, the Compendium of Cruel Curses and Curious Casualties. It does have a lot of C's. That doesn't seem like light reading. I was originally going to go into paleontology, but no, I changed my mind freshman year. Why did no one tell me about how creepy curses are when I switched majors? Dinosaurs were bad news back in the day, but now, totally safe. Mummies, on the other hand, I make poor life choices. Curses aren't real. You'll be fine. No. No more taunting the curse. At least not around me. I'm too young to die out here. I have things to do. I'm still in school. I haven't even started my life yet. I'm not tempting fate here, Nancy. I refuse. Okay. I can respect that. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. Can't do that. Ha! Can't do that. Ha! I'm sending you back. Can't do that. Hey! Can't do that. Can't do that. Back to where you came from. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. That's cold, Lily. Can't do that. No fair! Can't do that. 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 Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Back to where you came from. Rats. I'm sending you back. Can't do that. Rats! Ha!
can't do that. Ha! That's cold, Lily. That's cold, Lily. No fair! Can't do that. 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 Rats! Walk it off, Drew. Can't do that. Can't do that. That's cold, Lily. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. do that can't do that can't do that can't do that That's cold, Lily. Ha! Bad news for you. I'm sending you back. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Back to where you came from. Can't do that. win Hi Bess Nancy how goes the old mummy hunt Good I think maybe bad 
Something happened, didn't it? There was a sandstorm, and the professor from Kingston had to be taken to the hospital. Nancy, be careful out there. It sounds dangerous. I will. George is all wrapped up in that new job of hers. But you can call me anytime you need help. Full disclosure, while I do play an Egyptologist on television, I have no idea what I'm talking about. We found the tomb! Way to go! But when I opened it, two strangers showed up. Really? Aren't you in the middle of nowhere? Yes. Okay, so maybe they were just out for a walk. In the desert. Nope. Doesn't work out. Nancy, what the craziness is happening out there? No clue. It's like I'm the only one here who doesn't know what's really going on. I don't like that feeling. You get used to it. Bess. Well, it certainly feels that way. Maybe it's time to call this one a wrap. I can't until John's back. I just need to keep my head on straight and try to keep the site in order. That's exactly like this one part of Revenge of the Desert Queen. So everybody... Is this going to be an anecdote where someone dies in a cursed tomb? No. Okay, continue. I lied, it was. But I'll just keep it to myself. Lily seems very uptight. Do you think she's hiding something? No doubt about it. I just don't know if it's relevant. Strange behavior is rarely irrelevant, especially in a group that isolated. <laughs> Good point. I'm not sure what to do. Check around to see if there's anything to help you get a better idea of what's going on at the site. Someone should have left some notes around. John probably had some. See ya! See ya! Hello. Not to be rude, but who are you? Why are you here? I could ask the same of you, but I won't. I'm Dylan Carter, to answer the question you didn't ask, but probably meant to. I'm Nancy Drew. Brilliant! Well, good chat. Uh, mustn't keep you from your duties. Why are you hanging out here outside instead of going into the tomb? Why aren't you hanging out outside? I have better things to do. Oh, you do not. When you come to your senses, I'll still be here. You know why England tried to take over the world? Why? Because we've got everything you need. Except for the sum. You know why we stopped trying to take over the world? Because everyone else got sick of it? That they did. Is the real reason you're hanging out here because you're not cleared to actually go into the site? I was hoping we'd be able to get over that little bump in the road before that cat got out. Do you really think this is Nefertari's tomb? It better be, otherwise I'm very lost. What does that mean? She's why I'm here. As a tour guide, I love the sites that tell a story. And Ramses I and Nefertari have the making of a classic love story, if we can find her here. You mean Ramses the Second, right? I do? I mean, yes, I, I, I do. Of course. Strange life being a king. You get everything but your own name. What do you do, exactly? As a tour guide, I show the world to those who want to see it. It's the best job on the planet, next to lion tamer or astronaut. Where do you give tours? All throughout Egypt. That sounds like a fantastic job, but why aren't you leading a tour now? It's getting very competitive these days. I need every advantage I can get. Well, that's why I'm here. To be perfectly on the level, I have to be. Since you're a tour guide, can you give me any information about Egypt I might need to know? Sure. Here. What do you think of Abdullah? He's got quite the ego, but I'm sure he deserves it. What makes you say that? If he didn't, no one would put up with him. History's great pioneers always tend to be a bit prickly. Sure, he's a tyrant, but he's supposed to be the best in his field. Do you think he is? Who knows if it's true? He's either the best or the guy who says, I'm the best, the loudest. Unfortunately, either one of those two things works equally well. You know, he's just on the edge. What do you mean? 
He's close to being known the world over. He must have gotten a glimpse of what that would be like. I wonder what he'd do to make it over that last hurdle. Why are you so sure the public would want to tour this site? Surely you've heard of... the curse. I have. Do you believe in it? Of course I do. But since you're here, you must not be worried about being cursed yourself. I've been gloriously unlucky my whole life. I don't think a curse could make things much worse. Goodbye. Hurry back now. Flashlight's dead. I'll need to find another light source. It looks like someone was tampering with these wires. Hi. A tour guide just appeared out of nowhere. Really? Yeah, really. He showed up when we found the tomb. You're 100 kilometers outside of Cairo. That's too far afield to have a wacky next-door neighbor. Huh? Uh, sorry. I'm not used to watching this much television. It's doing strange things to my brain. Whatever he says, he didn't just drop in. He must be up to something. Lily seemed upset about me doing any work here. <laughs> Show me a PhD student who isn't upset about something, and I'll build you your very own pyramid. Why would she want to keep me away from your work? I have no clue. If she wants to play at being in charge, let her. It'll save you a lot of headaches. Abdullah seems confused by the hieroglyphs in the tomb. Really? You sound surprised. <laughs> Astonished, dumbfounded, with a twist of smug thrown in to soothe my ego. So, if he's confused... Then it is confusing. He's one of the brightest minds in the field. If he's stumped, something unique is going on here. What do you know about Lily? Not much. She's with Abdullah's team. It's just strange that she's out there. Why? I never say a critical word about a student, but uh, the archaeology community is small, people talk. <laughs> I guess all I'm going to say is... It's surprising Abdullah put her on his team. You can't just leave it at that. The curiosity center of my brain is going to go into full meltdown. I can't, Nancy. It wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about it. What do you know about Abdullah? Mm, he's almost as brilliant as he thinks he is. He seems a little full of himself. <laughs> a little? With that amount of swagger, you'd think he invented sand. Do you think he's behind your attack? I don't think so. This isn't the first time we've butted heads. I'd think that if he were to attack me, he wouldn't sneak up from behind. How's the recovery coming? Good. I am at the point where watching television is tedious again, so that's a good sign. TV is very frustrating for the solution-oriented personality. I don't think I've heard that before. It's true. I find myself yelling, test your hypothesis before acting on it, at all of the sitcoms. Truthfully, I'm still feeling a little woozy. As soon as I can stand without feeling dizzy, I am on my way back to the site. Even if I have to sneak out of here. Goodbye. Catch you later. The sandstorm did not scare you away. It'll take more than a little sandstorm to get me to leave. Shh! Do not tempt the Anunnaki. The what? I should not have even spoken their name. 
disregard that. <laughs> I didn't mean to say Anunnaki. Oh, blast! I said it again, didn't I? I'm Jamila, by the way. But if anyone asks, you haven't seen me. Why are you here? Well, I can't exactly be there, now can I? That would make no sense. Are you worried about the curse? Who could be worried about a curse at a time like this? A time like what? The Makers. The original architects. They're watching. Who are you talking about? Nancy, they can't hear you. You do not have to pretend. I'm not pretending. What are you talking about? How could you not know? This is the cradle of civilization. Right. Here we were born. And like all infants, this is where we were taught. Taught what? To be human. We didn't just figure that out. But for millennia we lived in caves, terrified of the very earth, of fire and wind and lightning. We cowered and dug down into the earth. But one thing of all humans, we are curious. One night, our ancestors saw the sky catch fire, and the brave ones left their caves and walked into the light. And there they met the Anu... the teachers. I don't follow. They brought us to the next level of consciousness, and in return we built them the pyramids. I'm not so sure I agree with you on this one. If aliens built the pyramids, why were human leaders buried inside? They were not just rulers on Earth. They were the Chosen, the favorite of the Anunnaki. What do you think of Abdullah? Not much. He talks always like there is an audience near. But what audience would listen to such a tedious man? I say let him think he's in charge if it makes him happy. You don't think he should be in charge? I don't think he's capable of being in charge. He doesn't even believe in the Anunnaki. What do you think of Dylan? The tour guide? Yeah. Did I have to have an opinion of him? I guess not. Oh good, that's a relief. When did you become so interested in aliens? Sunny June. I took his Are You Alien or Alien Out course. Changed my life. Did you know that aliens were there at every major human milestone, with the exception of the moon landing? All right, I'll bite. Why? Because it was a rude thing to do, and they wanted no part of it. Who is Sunny June? I've seen his name everywhere, but we've never met. I can't explain it all to you, not now. He's special. He's met them. Met whom? You don't make this easy, do you? To be fair, neither do you. True. The Anunnaki. He's spoken to them. He knows that they're on their way. If we built the pyramids with the aliens, why did they all just leave? Oh, they didn't leave. They're all around us. Do you want me to call them? No. Oh, well, that's a shame. They're an amazing sight. They're slender and tall, and they have the most gorgeous, glowing, luminescent fangs. I'll let you go. Bye. Have you heard of Abdullah? Yes, yes I have. He is December on my Men of Archaeology calendar. You're kidding me. Does that exist? It existed the second I made it. Is he there with you? Yes. He seems full of himself. He is? Oh, I am not an advocate of pulpy romance novels. But if I were, I'd call that an archibald trait. In chapter one, he'd swagger into the excavation site, the picture of a rascal with his dusty leather jacket and decidedly European haircut, his cocky ne'er-do-well smirk displaying his perfectly white teeth, but by the end he'd be sweetly holding flowers and saying, Professor Hotchkiss, I'm dying to discuss your latest publication. I'm a colleague of mine has guilted me into editing her latest romance novel, and I must confess I cannot wait until the project is completed. Reading page after page is absolutely wreaking havoc on my metaphors. Anyway, what were we talking about? I no longer know. Abdullah, that's what. He's a cold-blooded hotshot with only one setting. Success. Oh, sorry. I've also been helping my nephew break into the movie trailer business. Oh, Hotchkiss, why must you always burn the candle at both ends? He's a good archaeologist who knows Egypt inside and out. He could teach you a thing or two, just don't pick up the attitude.
Lily seems to be taking this curse business very seriously. I thought you were Lily. <sighs> the other Lily? Hotchkiss prank! Oh, you're such a good sport, Nadine. <laughs> That's a little silly of her, don't you think? Curses may only be a figment of our overactive imaginations. That's what I think. There are more pressing things to worry about. Most Egyptologists die because the desert is inhospitable and positively crawling with diseases. Horrid molds and bacteria that have been breeding for thousands of years unchecked. And let's not forget the lack of structural integrity of most of the tombs. That's less than reassuring. Oh dear, everybody dies, but life isn't worth living if you don't take a few risks. Although I guess I should stress that everyone dies much faster in the desert. Much, much faster. Have you heard of the theory that aliens built the pyramids? Oh, that old gem. Yes, who cares? Who cares? Well, unless they're sending us a bill, does it matter? With all of your work, I assume you'd at least care. Oh, no, dear. You mustn't let those things bother you. Some of us have keen observational skills and a rigid adherence to the scientific method. And some of us have thought processes that best resemble a piñata explosion at a sugar-fueled child's birthday extravaganza. Either way, if it encourages people to witness the marvels of ancient Egypt in person, it's good work, in my opinion. I need your help. The hieroglyphs here don't make sense. Then you are in for a treat. I like my puzzles as tempting as the gooseberry pie from San Rios in Little Brazil, and as complex as the ginger lime sauce they lovingly smother it in. You should focus on what doesn't make sense. Look for a part of the pattern that has no earthly business being there. Bye. Hotchkiss out. Part of John's notes are missing. That doesn't seem right. Hi, Nancy. Are you familiar with the Anunnaki? Oh, please, not you too. No, Jamila. She's got a lot to say on the topic. Uh, good. I'm not saying there isn't alien life, but why insist that aliens built the pyramids? Humans have made a mess of so many things. Just let us keep that check mark in the victory column. I'll catch you later. Talk to you later. Check. A lamp! Great! I just need to find a way to get it working. I wonder if I could find a way to light the entire room. My dictionary could help translate that. That's not good. Now I have to know what the rest says.
That's not good. I bet I could translate that. It looks like something is missing. If I could make some sort of lever, I bet I could use that hole and open the coffin. What was that? It sounds like it came from the entrance. Yes? That was a close call with the scaffolding. I've seen worse. Twenty years ago, we were in a tomb, a minor site. A guide, much like your boy Dylan, kicked over a support beam and crash! It all came down. Seven of us, trapped under stones, big as automobiles. What happened? Five of us were eventually pulled out. What happened to the other two? What do you think happened? Do you think this has anything to do with the curse? Does it matter? Do you believe in the curse? Of course. Really? Then aren't you worried about being here? No, no, no. I am Abdullah Bakum. Curses have no power over me. What makes you so sure of that? I'm still alive. Many men cannot say the same thing. The true power of a curse, it lives here. What do you mean by that? <laughs> The curse of Antifi warns, any man who enters my tomb, I will cast the fear of myself into him. I went into that tomb. And? And I knew the fear of Antifi. A curse, when it has you, is like a strange sickness, a fever, and it never goes away. But I thought you didn't believe in curses. No, I said curses have no effect on me. I am strong. Everyone else is a different story. Look at Lily and see what I mean. What do you think of this tomb? What are you getting at? It's amazing! The amount of detail, the size. Well, someone really important must be buried here. After 5,000 years of recorded history, that could be said about every hole in the ground. But that's what you think, isn't it? I don't leave the house for anything less than amazing. So, it's safe to assume this is going to be a major find? You tell me. How did you get into archaeology? I was a student, like Lily. I went out on a dig one day, and it was a very, very small tomb. Inside, nothing remarkable. Mummies, no hieroglyphs. But once I lowered myself down into the dark, dusty tomb, I felt a strange flutter in my chest, right here. And I do not know what overtook me, but I knew I had to push very hard on this wall. And it gave way. And you know what was there? What? I had opened the door thousands of years back in time. Ancient Egypt was down there. I have never again been the same. Who do you think is buried here? No, I do not guess. Who are you hoping to find here? Who does everyone want to find? The Lost Queen. Who is that? Nefertari. Why is she lost? Over 100 years ago, they found her tomb, the most magnificent of its kind. But when they opened the tomb, do you know what they found? A different mummy? They found two kneecaps. The queen was nowhere to be found. Why is that? Nobody knows. I say she was never there to begin with. Do you have proof? No. 
The people who had proof have been dead 100 times longer than they were ever alive. So they're not talking. We have to learn to think like they did. But it's not easy. Anyone who says different lies or is stupid. Do you know Dylan? I know of him. You do? So he has a reputation? He is a very popular guide, for whatever that is worth. I do not like guides. They distort history and turn the other way, as sticky-fingered tourists steal every bit of Egypt they can find. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Not harsh enough. Every tourist thinks, what will it hurt? I'll just take one small piece of the pyramids. And they come, and they come, by the millions they come. And bit by bit, they smuggle our history back in their luggage. <laughs> They're worse than the museums. Do you think international teams have stolen artifacts from Egypt? No, I do not think. I know. You don't seem very happy to have Dylan here. Good. I'm glad you noticed. If this were my sight, like it should be, he'd be out on the sand with his hat in his hand, trying to catch a ride back to Cairo. And he would never find one, because there is no street. What do you think of Jamila? What is to think? She believes aliens built the pyramids. She is a waste of my time. So I take it you don't believe in aliens? Let me stop you there. Normally when people say that, they have more to say. I do not. If you do not have enough faith in humans to believe that we invented pushing, dragging, and lifting without the help of aliens, you are terminally wrong and incredibly stupid. We will never agree on anything. Are you okay with her staying here? <laughs> no. Get out of my sight! You do not own this temple! Leave now or I will remove you myself! I'd like to see you try. She sure seems determined to stay. Why doesn't this area translate? I need to translate the hieroglyphs. Nefertari! Could this be true? Hi! What do you think of Jamila? When she talks to me, I always keep checking for the hidden camera. Huh? No one can be that nuts. I'm still convinced we're gonna end up on a hidden camera show called Suckers Talking to Crazies. Don't you think you're being a little harsh? I'm nowhere near as harsh as she is crazy. You could take that to the bank. The crazy bank. Wait a second. I, I didn't even... Do you actually agree with her about aliens? No. Good. I don't know why Abdullah doesn't just kick her out. What do you think about Dylan? Did we accidentally invite the whole world to this dig? With the exception of a decent work crew, that is. Although I do hate that I don't know why he is here, he is definitely easy on the eyes. Agreed. But if he stays out in the sun any longer, he's going to get all lobstery. Definite turnoff for us land dwellers. You said you studied curses. Aren't they just mostly hoaxes? No, far from it. There's always a scientific reason for what really happened, but if you get some deadly disease or the world collapses on you, you're not going to care about the biology or physics of what's killing you. I'll catch you later. Bye. Hello. What do you think about Jamila's alien theories? Not much. Subject change! Do you happen to know how a bloke like me might impress that cantankerous old curmudgeon down below? You mean Abdullah, right? I very much hope there isn't another one. Hmm, I imagine he responds to people talking about archaeology. Brilliant! I'll do that. Thanks, Nancy. What do you think of Jamila? 
Is she for real? Because, wow, I've met some nutters in my life, but that girl belongs in a museum herself, with a little tag that reads, Insanus Totalis. You're being a little harsh. If it makes you feel better, I can pretend she's not insane, but then we'd both be living a lie. What brought you to this site? This might be the next it spot. If it is, I want to have the first tour up and running. Isn't that a little premature? Tour groups might not even be allowed out here. Well, then I took a trip to the place I've always wanted to see. No loss. You seem very casual about everything. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? It makes me think you might be hiding something. If I'm hiding something, then I'm doing such a good job, even I don't notice. I know you didn't just come here to get a tan. What do you think of Lily? She's definitely my type. What do you mean? Cute, interesting, and not interested. Just like my last girlfriend, very driven. PhD student, probably has a cramped apartment full of dehydrated plants. She's probably going to come off a little rough-edged. I'll catch you later. Hurry back now. This won't do it alone. I need to figure out what this means. I need to get the correct gods to their proper locations.
won't budge. Must be locked. Nancy, what's been going on? I opened the sarcophagus. You did? Oh, I didn't expect you to be so excited. I doubt it has anything to do with the Anunnaki. You never know. I'll have to see this room myself. Can't open it. It's locked. I need to open this. what these mean. Why would an alien expert need an archaeology textbook? to do that. Yes? Why would Ramses go through all the trouble to hide Nefertari away in a false tomb? Nefertari was most dear to Ramses II. He built her the most beautiful tomb of all the queens. He even built for her a temple at Abu Simbel. Wherever he stood, she stood by him. He was very afraid she would not find him again in the afterlife. He wanted her hidden away for eternity, somewhere small and unremarkable where no one would think to look for her. Until the time was right. This is small and unremarkable? For you and me, no. For Ramses II, this is a one-room flat in a bad part of town. What will you do if we find Nefertari? I will take her to see the world. Well, she can't exactly see anything. She's dead. I know she's dead. I'll let the world see her. I will teach everyone why she is important. Doesn't the world already know that? No, they don't look hard enough. They need me to show them. Do you really care about teaching people or just about the exposure? It has been a long time since someone has had the nerve to speak to me in that manner. You didn't answer my question. I won't. I won't answer any question in that tone. Not from you, not from the press, not from some American colleague. 
I have work to do. Leave me to it. See ya. See you later. What happened here? Where's all of the water? Who would be crazy enough to do this on purpose? I've got something for you. What's that? Proof that space girl is batty. I saw her creeping around and she dropped this. Here. It looks like some sort of code. Ooh, you're generous. I call it the maniacal screed of a madman. Or is it mad woman? Why is madness gender specific to men? Yeah, you tell me. <laughs> I like you. Let's shake the dust off this small time tomb off our boots and see the world together. Um, can I keep this? Yes, but you have to promise me that if it starts making sense, you'll call a psychologist immediately and schedule yourself in for a full workover. You would have had fun seeing the world with me. Admit it. Did you see who destroyed our water supply? Someone did what? So, that's a no? Do you have any idea why someone would do that? No one would be stupid enough to do that. Where exactly did you come from? What do you mean? We're in the middle of nowhere. You couldn't have just walked here. Oh, I, I caught a ride with some traders, if you must know. Nasty customers, but they knew the way. This site is new. How did they just know the way? It's not on any map. I... I don't know. They just did, I guess. What can you tell me about these guys? What did they look like? What language did they speak? Nancy, I'm starting to think it might not be so smart to talk about this. For you or for me. Drop it. Don't bring it up again. See ya! Come back anytime. I think these letters will create words below. That's not it. Wait, maybe if I look at the first letter of each word and see if that says anything. Let's see what this spells out. I need to figure out what this means. Blue Cat Opens Tomb. I should look around for something like that. Hi. Dylan mentioned that he was dropped off by a group of strange men who seemed to know their way to the site. The only 
only people who know how to get to the site are you and me. And whoever Abdullah, Lily, and Jamila have told. Someone slashed the water tank. There's nothing left. Don't panic. I'll see if I can get some dropped. Until then, take it easy. Dehydration can set in quickly. Who would do that? Someone with a little water secreted away, I'd bet. I'd better get going. Talk to you later. Yes? Goodbye. Bye. Well, hello. I need your help distracting Lily. Why? I just do. Well, what's in it for me? The personal satisfaction that comes with being a nice person. Nope. Say something nice about me to Abdullah. Uh, tell him I'm trustworthy. All right, fine. But make it sound natural. Don't just blurt it out. Finesse it into the conversation. I'll see what I can do. I'd better get going. I'll be seeing ya. Yes? So that guy Dylan is pretty helpful. I'd say he'd be a smart addition to your team, considering his talent, his experience, his... you know... He told you to say that, didn't he? Maybe. <laughs> Tell him he is stupid, but use small words so he understands you. I'm not going to say that. Your kindness is as admirable as it is boring. I'll let you go. Bye. So, did you tell Abdullah that I'm trustworthy? How did he react? Strongly? Hmm, I see. Well, good thing that was but a single step in my multi-tiered plan. Why is it so important that he trust you? It's complicated and boring. Boring and complicated. You'd be bored hearing about the more complicated aspects of it. You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh, that's the spirit. Facing disappointment and not letting it get you down. Good show. But I am a man of my word, i.e. trustworthy. So I will distract Lily for you. Great. What should I do if I see her? W we should have a code word. I don't know if that's necessary. Right, right. Uh, how about, look out, it's Lily. Or, uh, she's back. Stop looking at her things. Okay, first of all, none of those are one word. Oh, good point. What about danger, or incoming, or impending Lily? Maybe if you just whistle? Right. All good options. Why would he have so many certifications? A strange lock. There has to be something around to help me figure this out. Hmm. 
Dylan have this. Maybe the color has something to do with the solution. I should look around for a clue to solve this. Better get going. Bye. Yes? Can you help me sort out some canopic jars? Oh my. Oh, oh my, yes. Let's see. A human and three animals. A jackal was Duwamatef, baboon, hoppy, and Kebasenuef. They also represented the four cardinal points, each protecting a sacred organ. I seem to remember that. Hoppy was the lungs. What is the story with curses? It's a complicated issue. What makes it so complicated? It makes no earthly sense, now does it? But still... Still what? Still, the tombs have claimed enough lives to make a fool of logic. I'd better get going. Hotchkiss out! Hi, 
Nancy. Someone slashed the water tank. We're in big trouble. That's bad. How bad is that? Hang on. How long before you die in a desert with no water? Question mark. So? Two days. That's the good news. The bad news? The second day sounds really, really bad. Nancy, you need to get out of there. I still think Jamila is hiding something. What's the story? She says she's here because of the Anunnaki. I think our connection is bad because it sounds like you said Anunnaki. I did. I still think it might be the phone, but continue. They're the aliens she's into, but I can't figure out why she'd be here now. Why don't you ask her? I would, but there are two questions you'll never get a straight answer to. One is, are you lying? And the other is, are you crazy? <laughs> I say that a lot, don't I? You do, but to be fair, you do exceed the average person's daily allowance of interaction with crazy and or dishonest people. I don't know what to make of this tour guide who appeared out of nowhere. Is he cute? Define cute. Why is this never any fun with you? I have no girly friends. Fine, yes, he's moderately cute. And he has an accent. Now we're talking. Anyway, you've decided that this cute tour guide with an accent is a problem for some reason? His story isn't adding up. If he's a tour guide, why would he show up at a site that might take years to open up to the public? Maybe he's some sort of avant-garde tour guide. You know, way ahead of his time, like that jazz musician you made us see who only played awful notes. I'm still sorry about that. In my defense, it was for a case. And in his defense, there's nothing. Long distance burn, jazz guy. So I've been supposedly cursed. Supposedly cursed? Or supposedly cursed? I don't understand the difference. Me neither. You have to come home. Between you and me, it would seem like a smart move. It's just... Uh... What? Just what? Is it contagious? You can tell me if it is. I won't be weird about it. We can still hang out. I've always wanted to use those walkie-talkies George got me. I don't think I can actually leave. We're alone out here. The crew took the vehicles when they evacuated John. From the way they reacted, I don't think they're coming back. So, this may not be the best time to mention this, but yesterday I couldn't sleep and I saw this movie called Revenge of the Desert Queen. And? And everyone gets cursed and then every single person in the movie... Bess, is this the best movie to be telling me about right now? Is fine. Every single person in the movie is fine. Life lessons are learned, friendships forged, romance is romanced, history learned about. Everyone in the movie dies, right? All of them. Even the last girl I was really rooting for because she really looked like you. I could maybe have left that last part out. I'd better get going. See ya.
exactly does it do? Whoa! What just happened? I should see if I broke something. Is it my imagination, or did the columns move? Got it. This looks important. Foolish and irresponsible! You have no idea what you're doing! You have no idea what damage you have done! I'm sorry, I didn't know! You didn't know? Ignorance is not an excuse! It is the problem! You are off the site! Please! I will never even come near your work again! That is right, you won't! You don't deserve to be here! Have the dignity to admit it! Oh, help! I promise! Please! I'll do anything to stay! When the transport comes, you get on it! You are taking up space that a good student could be using! I want nothing to do with you! You will never have a career! Just leave! Did you see that? Are you talking about the columns? I knew there was something about this site that didn't add up. This is unheard of! The technology required to move the columns! Maybe aliens were involved. Very cute. Why are you so hard on Lily? It sounds so cruel, right? I am not her friend. I am her proving ground. If she survives me, no one will ever stop her. Not ever! If she does not, then she does not have what it takes to begin with. May you be so lucky as to have a mentor who pushes you. Still, you could be nicer. I learned to swim fast, not because I was taught well, but because there were crocodiles in the river. Bye. See you later. I thought I'd be, um, better at whistling. <clears throat> it's uh, really dry here. Uh, sorry about that. How'd impressing Abdullah go? Badly. He used some very inappropriate language. At least I think he did. It wasn't in English. Looks like you're making your own badges. You're not being honest with me about being a guide, are you? Well, the whole process is less official than you'd expect. Everyone makes their own credentials. Ask around. It might look a bit sketchy, but that's what's done. How can you prove you are who you say you are? I don't know if I can. Why did you become a guide? I don't know why anyone would ever do anything else. All right, let's see your guide skills in action. What? Well, you're a guide and you want to work this site. Give me a tour. I thought you'd never ask, but there is a problem. I don't actually know anything about this site yet. Oh, right. I suppose I could make a conjecture here or there. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, crowd in everyone, crowd in. Nicely done. You look excellent in that hat, Mrs. Johnson. Your husband must be a very lucky man. A little flattery will get you everywhere as a guide. <laughs> I am, he says. I could have you two on every tour I give. Now focus, put your cameras down for a minute. Never forget to remind them to actually look with their eyes. People don't remember you can still do that. 
The site you see behind me is over 60 billion years old, and it was built by none other than the great Genghis Khan. That is not right. It might be right. Remember, no facts. Now someone will inevitably ask a shockingly stupid question. Play along now. Ask me the out and out stupidest question you could possibly think of. Are mummies poisonous? Yes, exactly. And then I say, very good question. No one knows. And I change the topic and say something showy like, did you know that there is rumored to be a very deadly curse awaiting those foolish enough to venture into the next room? Now quickly, let's go to the next room. And that is how being a guide is done. Very nice. And maybe one day you can see me give a proper tour, if my business survives until you can return. I'd better get going. I'll be seeing ya! Nancy, things are moving. I heard the pillars moving! This place is seriously messed up. I noticed that, but I don't think we're in any danger. And you're basing this on what? Previous experience? Call it a hunch. At this point, I'd rather call it a day. I need to calm down. This is a huge opportunity and probably not a death trap. Right? Right. I have to admit, I overheard that argument between you and Abdullah. Are you okay? You did? What did you hear? I'm not sure, really. It just sounded pretty bad. It was. He can be rough to work with, but he's the best. I just have to get better, and not make such stupid mistakes all the time. Is there anything I can do? Yes. I need your help sorting amulets. This has always been the thing I've been worst at. Please say you'll help. I'll help you out whenever you need it, I promise. Sure thing. Great. Thanks. They need to be sorted by what they represent, and by what power they had. They're on the table in the other tent. <laughs> I need to sort these amulets by type. one. I'd better check that out. Someone cut the tent. I need to fully investigate this area. Hmm. If you wanted to sneak something out of the tent without anyone seeing you, this would be the perfect spot to do it. If I had the right tool, I bet I could see if the thief left anything behind.
Nancy, hi. How well do you know Lily? I like Lily. She's not a friend to the cause, but I can look past that. Friend to the cause? You know, rolling out the red carpet for our celestial others. Oh, that. I've been trying to teach her about the true purpose of the hidden tombs, but she's not receptive. Earlier, you said true purpose of the tombs. What did you mean? The Anunnaki had much to teach us. Too much. They hid the secrets on Earth. And when we master all these lessons, they will return to the temples and they will take the most enlightened among us with them. What will happen to everyone else? But for those who do not pass the test, there will be war and famine. The Earth's rage will overcome them and they will fall. The blue light of the Earth will go dim in the night sky. That is bleak. I know, right? That is why I tried to get Lily to embrace the Anunnaki. She does not care. I saw something very strange near the tomb. You did? One of these was used to puncture the water tank. Another coffin, and it's locked. Ancient Egyptians did not mess around. This could be about the Queen's children. These must represent Nefertari's children. Maybe if I knew more about them, I could open this. I think I found evidence of an old expedition here. It seems like an old diary entry. Keep that safe. There are records of an expedition leaving England in search of Nefertari's tomb. This was after she wasn't found in QV-66. Her supposed tomb that was found in the early 1900s. But if they were here, then this must not be the place, right? Mm, not necessarily. No one knows what happened to the expedition. The whole expedition disappeared? Did that happen often? Uh, more often than you'd expect. Archaeology is deadly work. Dylan said guides often make their own credentials. Is that true? No. Oh, that lying liar. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. Uh, Nancy, don't. Be cautious. You're in the desert. 
Don't put anyone in a position where they feel like there's no other choice but to make you disappear. Dylan wouldn't do that. You want to bet your life on that? When people feel like they can get away with anything, they change. How real is the black market? For trafficking antiquities, very real. Do you think there's a chance that someone here is involved in the black market? There's no reason to think that. Yes, there is. Those men are... they're dangerous. If they are involved, I don't even want to think about it. Do you have any connections on the black market? Of course not. I didn't mean to offend. I just wish we could find out if they're interested in this site. If they are, all of the accidents would make more sense. Bye-bye. Catch you later. Yes? Do you know anything about Nefertari's children? Of course I do. Can you tell me their names? Yes. It's best we start with the boys. Sure. There's among her Kepshef, meaning among is with his strong arm. How do I spell that? Oh dear, you get a piece of paper and a pen, and you write down whatever you like for the next five minutes. Pa Ray Hair Wenemeth. Ray is with his strong arm. Mary, beloved of Ray. Mary Autumn, beloved of Autumn. Oh, these names. The best part about ancient Egyptian names is that there are no ancient Egyptians around to correct your pronunciation. Oh, come back when you're ready for the girls. Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's daughters? I need you to do some searching for me. I've decided to restart my book project. Can you gather some information for me? If it means you'll tell me the daughters' names, then sure. Great! Who is above all the doors in the main antechamber? Mott. Thank you. I'm ready for the daughters' names now. Merit Amen, the beloved of Amen. Got it. Henatawi, the mistress of two lands. Okay. Nebatawi, the lady of two lands. So it seems favoritism isn't a modern invention. And the children were mentioned in order, from oldest to youngest, right? Yes. Perfect, thanks. Can you tell me the names of Nefertari's sons again? Oh my, oh, oh my, yes, let's see. There's among her Kepshef, meaning among is with his strong arm. Pa Ray Hair Wenemeth. Ray is with his strong arm. Mary, beloved of Ray. Mary Autumn, beloved of Autumn. Great. I'd better get going. Goodbye. Hi. The water tank was destroyed using the discs from your bag. If the discs were used, it wasn't me who used them. Maybe it was the Anunnaki. Are you interested in archaeology? No. Then why do you have an archaeology textbook? You looked in my bag? Well, I couldn't help but see. I am not angry. The Anunnaki value curiosity. You will not understand what you find, anyway. You didn't answer my question. Why should I bother if you're so good at sneaking around? Why do you have so many cameras? These are momentous times. When the Anunnaki return, I'll be here to document it. I wonder if they show up on film. I'll catch you later. Until later. Time to use what I've learned about Nefertari's children and hieroglyphs to figure out the order.
empty. Wait, what are those? I need to piece these together.
Now to figure out what this says. There's another tomb in here. I need to figure out how to open it. Yes? Why would the coffin be empty? The ancients were not above playing tricks on us. Do thefts happen often on sites like this? On most sites, yes. On my sites, no one steals. Twenty years, and not a single theft. Is there a market for stolen artifacts? Yes, a booming market. A musician has his picture taken standing next to a sarcophagus, and the black market comes pounding on my door, begging me for supply. What do you do? I send them away. Of course I send them away. I'm surprised you lack the tact to even ask. Well, I'm a curious person. I find that tact often gets in the way of truly getting to know someone. You remind me of my ex-wife. I divorced her for being tactless. That's not exactly a nice thing to say. I'm a complex person. I find that niceties often get in the way of me truly expressing myself. Could this curse be someone trying to cause a distraction so he could rob the place? Could be. Wouldn't it be easy to get caught selling one-of-a-kind artifacts? You think thieves are smart? They're not. If they were, they steal big. Steal small, you are a crook. Steal big, you are an explorer or a pharaoh. See ya. Goodbye. It's a blue cat, just like in Jamila's notes. I need to clear this stuff away from it. Almost clear. All clear. It looks like something is supposed to be placed here. I've got this. Can't let you go first. You never know what dangers lie beyond. Blast! It's absolutely black as pitch in here. Pass me a torch, would you? Never mind. I've got something here. Are you okay? Could you just shift it a bit so you can get the pressure off? If I can remove some of the pressure, I may be able to buy you some time. Yes! If you keep doing things like that, I won't die! If I can remove five more of these rocks, you should be okay. That should hold. Stay still. I'm going to find you some help. It's okay. Everything's fine. Ow! Never mind. Everything's a problem. Call the hospital. It took the rescue team a while to get through the collapse, but they finally got Dylan out. He looked pretty bad. I hope he's going to be okay. 
I'm sure he will be, and there's nothing you can do about it. I know, but that doesn't make me feel any better. Nancy, you don't need to stay. I can make some calls to Kingston. We can get you out of there if you're worried. No, I'm fine. Think it over. I'm the one who should be there and I'm not. Uh, and as much as I care about keeping this site safe, it's not worth putting you in danger. I'll be fine, I promise. Okay. If you change your mind, call me immediately. Would it be possible to trigger a cave-in, like the one that injured Dylan? Yes, easily. I wouldn't recommend it. Too much of that, and you'll bring down the whole tomb. Why do you ask? I got to thinking. I was on my way into that tomb first. Dylan pushed me out of the way at the last second. What if the collapse was intentional, and I was the target? It's... it's possible. I opened the last coffin, but it was empty. I'm not surprised. I was? Does this mean we're too late? No. The entire tomb is a riddle. If the mummy was easy to find, then I'd start to worry we were at the wrong place. Jamila claims that she's here for the aliens, but she has an archaeology book with her, and she appears to be pretty interested in the site. Could be a coincidence. Or she could be lying to you about why she's there. I wish there was a way to find out for sure which it is. Same here. The best bet is to keep a close eye on her. Frankly, if she's not an alien believer, I want her at the site even less. But Why's that? If she's lying about why she's there, that's trouble. I'd better get going. Bye. Nancy, have you heard about Dylan? Not yet. I hope he's okay. Can you see if you can find out how he's doing for me? Do you know what caused the cave-in that got Dylan? The curse! No, I mean what really caused it. Call it what you want. This is the Carter expedition all over again. You know what happened to them? A series of unrelated accidents resulting from subpar medical practices? No. When the expedition ended, they started to drop like cursed flies. Madness. Diseases. Strange accidents! The worst part of this curse is that I don't know if we'll ever really be in the clear. Are you okay? You seem pretty worried. I had a dream. Nefertari was in my dream. Sounds spooky. It was. What happened? She told me that it was too late. Too late? For what? Too late for us to leave. My phone doesn't work. All I want is to call my family and my stupid phone doesn't work. Oh, we're going to be fine. No, we're not. Leave me alone, okay? I better get going. Later. Dylan? Is that you? Uh, are you okay? No. I'm sorry. I hope you're not too badly hurt. I'm in traction. That's pretty bad, by the way. I can imagine. Traction is bad. Just a little FYI. Courtesy of me. You sound a bit... scrambled. A truckload of rocks will do that. Amazing facts. Courtesy of Dylan. Should I let you sleep? No. No. They think I'll die if I fall asleep, so I can't do that yet. I'll be fine though, unless I fall asleep in the next eight hours, and if that happens, pff, all the way dead. Oh well, don't do that. It is impressive how much your body dislikes having a few tons of stone dropped on top of it. Listen, it's very fortunate that I called you. Actually, I called you. Mm, no, I, I don't think so. Maybe your phone is backwards. Listen, I need to tell you something very important. Okay. When I was lying there, under all that stone, I heard a voice. A woman's voice. What was it saying? Something in an old language I've never heard before. Something ancient and creepy. That tomb is cursed. I'm sure of it. Are you sure it wasn't just something you imagined? I know I'm all turned around, but I know what I heard. Even if they would let me sleep, I couldn't. Every time I close my eyes, I hear it. You need to leave. I need you to try to remember. Is there anything else at the site that seemed strange? I don't know if my memory 
could be trusted right now. But I do remember something strange about Jamila and that weird bag of hers. Strange? How? One second, it would be empty, and then she'd reach down into it and pull something out. It was like a really bad magic trick. The jackal amulet is missing. Did you have anything to do with that? No, I didn't. I wouldn't even want to touch one of those creepy things. Lily wanted to say hello. Oh, good. Tell her I say I, I don't know. I'm knackered. Make it sound good. What have you been up to? Lily had me help her with some amulets she couldn't identify. <laughs> Apparently I'm pretty good at it. What do you mean she couldn't identify? They were pretty beat up. She said that that type of thing wasn't her forte anyway, so I helped. Well, that's not true. Huh? Well, that's her specialty. She lied to you. Why would she do that? Maybe she wanted to distract you. Maybe she was feeling lazy. Why should I trust you? I don't exactly have a lot to gain from lying to you at this point. All right, if you want me to believe you, tell me why you were at the site. I really am a guide. That can't be it. It is. Look, maybe I wanted to get my name in the papers, but that's it. Times are really tough. People aren't taking vacations like they used to. See ya. Later. Where did they even come from? Nancy, hi. So, was there anything in that movie of yours about bugs being part of a curse? Yes, and it was too gross for me to even talk about. Wait, do you have a bug infestation out there? And to think I was jealous when I heard where you were going. Stay away from them. They're probably all super poisonous. Dylan said that he makes his own tour guide credentials. That does not seem right. I know. I'd say push him for info. See if he slips up. He might be a fraud. Jamila seems to be convinced that aliens built the pyramids. Cool. She thinks that this site has some sort of significance to aliens, and they'll be returning soon. What for? Who knows? The whole idea makes no sense to me. I know it's unlikely, but I think if aliens ever came to Earth, I think they'd like me. What? Why? Dogs love me, kids love me, I just think we'd be pretty simpatico is all. I can't tell if Jamila's being sincere or not. Just brush past my theory, that's fine. I'm sure they love you. That's all I wanted to hear. Go with your instinct, Nancy. You're so good at noticing what people really mean when they speak. Maybe she's saying a little more than she intends to. The tomb collapsed. Dylan had to be rushed to the hospital. Oh my gosh, is he alright? I think so. It would have been me if he hadn't pushed me out of the way. This is just like that movie. This curse is coming after you, Nancy. You were the one who broke the seal of the tomb, weren't you? Of course you were. Yes. Nancy, what if it's coming after you? What if what is coming after me? What? Who? I don't know, okay? I know you're not going to listen, but I wish you would just come home. Goodbye. See ya. Better listen. No, I never agreed to this. No one was supposed to be hurt. Absolutely not. What is Jamila up to? Hello. Abdullah seems really harsh. That's just how he is. I knew what I was setting myself up for when I came here. I'd better get going. Later! Yes? Goodbye. Goodbye. It's too dark. I need to find something to light the way. I need to find a way to light this lamp. I need to find a way to light this entire room.
Threshold to a hidden area, perhaps? I need to find the one that weighs less. be the cat's name. Nancy, hi. Everyone here seems to be hiding something. Like your boy Dylan. Why do you think he was here? This is an exciting sight. Who wouldn't want to be here? Please. The same could be said of anywhere. Dylan has been lying to you. I'm usually pretty good at knowing when someone is telling the truth. I thought the same thing, but I was wrong too. Dylan knew that Abdullah was an active member of the Antiquities Black Market. He wanted in. That doesn't make sense. It does. The reason you couldn't tell he was lying is because he just wasn't telling you the whole truth. He did come here to become a more competitive tour guide, just not in the obvious way. If he could provide tourists with one-of-a-kind antiquities, his business would triple overnight. I never really believed him. I did. Never trust the cute ones. They know what they can get away with. Goodbye. Until later. Nancy, hello. What do you know about cats in ancient Egypt? Did you find something with a lot of cats? Yes, it's some sort of cat tomb. Did we come all the way out here for a cat mummy? No, no, Nancy, this is fantastic news. Uh, don't get too excited, but this might be just the thing we're looking for. Cats were sacred to the ancient Egyptians. From Bastet and Sekhmet to the average house cat, they were absolutely revered. If you found Nefertari's cat, she must be here. Goodbye. Catch you later. This must be the bird mural that was mentioned in the journal.
looks like some birds are missing. Cobras, let's get you to your proper places. doesn't make any sense. That's nice and cryptic. See if destiny really is the path. Can't open it, it's locked. Yes? I found a new chamber. We are close to her. Closer with each second. Well done, Nancy. You are very good at this. I found a gold coffin. It could be Nefertari. I must see this. All the 
birds are here. I must need to press them in a certain way. I need to figure out what it is. Catch you later. Talk to you later. Yes? I need your help with a riddle. I thought you'd never ask, do your worst. The path lies in destiny. That is not an easy one. I do recall hearing that Nefertari's cat's name meant destiny. That could be a good place to start. I'll catch you later. Can you gather some information for me? Sure. Great! What bird does the cat have in its paws in the mural? I'll go look. I'll call you back when I find out. Goodbye! Hey, Nancy. I think I may have found Nefertari. Who's that? Nefertari, the reason you came here? Is your brain okay? Kidding, kidding. It's been better. Well, that's fantastic. I knew you could do it. You want my advice? You get it documented and get out. I've got a bad feeling about things now. I'll let you go. I'll be seeing ya. Uh-oh. I know that sound. I need to figure out where it's coming from. A cobra. That actually worked. I'd better find a safe place to keep the Cobra before I do anything else. This will keep the Cobra safe and out of striking distance. Hi, Nancy. I found a Cobra on my bunk. Nancy. I've been reading up on curses, and this is one of the hallmarks of a classic curse. Once the seal has been opened, the creatures of the desert get all riled up and turn against the interlopers. You guys are the interlopers, by the way. I know. Is it still there? No. I think someone put it there. Who do you think would do that? Dylan. Hmm. I'd see if you can do a bit of snooping. We found a cat tomb. It's amazing. It's surprisingly lavish for a cat's tomb, I guess. I don't have a reference point, though. Is it wrong that I find that adorable? It is, isn't it? Of course it is. I'm conflicted. There must be something very special about that cat if it's got its own tomb. Maybe it made a notable contribution to the cat arts and sciences? Cat sciences? Like what? Scratching post dynamics? Clearly. Or... Or it belonged to someone important, like Nefertari. I found Nefertari! Nancy, way to go! Are you coming home? Soon. I just have to find definitive proof that I'm right. Good luck. I know you can do it. Bye. Bye. Ahoy hoy! I figured out what that cat has in its paws in the mural. A hoopoo. Thank you. Bye, dear. Hi, Nancy. Goodbye. Bye.
This is a match to Lily's sunglasses. What was she doing sneaking around in the tunnels? This looks important. Someone else has been down in these tunnels recently. Nancy? There was a cobra on my bed. That is crazy. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Is it still in there? No, I took care of it. Well, I'm never getting any sleep tonight. I imagine you aren't either. I take it you're not a fan of snakes. No one on earth is a fan of snakes. If it lives on dry land and does not have feet, it should not exist. Even thinking about snakes gives me the creeps. I found a gold coffin. We might really be on our way to finding Nefertari. I can't believe it's really her. The lost queen, and we found her. Do you have any idea what this means? She'll need a new nickname? Very funny, but I do suppose you're right. What do you think about the returned queen? I should write that down. Nancy, this, you and me, we're going to be in the history books. I look forward to being mentioned in many sixth grade essays. True. But Nancy, you need to realize that this is important. How many people actually get to be part of something important? I discovered a new part of the tomb. You need to make sure Abdullah knows. Everything you find needs to go through him. I found a rhinestone in a hidden tunnel. So? That could mean anything. You're the only one here with rhinestones. That means you were there. It doesn't mean anything. Leave it alone. Abdullah needs you. Thanks. I'll be right back. And do not touch a thing. would lie about this. I knew something didn't seem right. Hi, Nancy. Lily's been accused of falsifying her work. Why would Abdullah choose her to come along with him? I have no clue. Do you think it's possible that Abdullah just wanted to give her a second chance? Maybe. He could see something in her that I don't. You don't think that's true? Nancy, I don't want you to carry my bias. Keep a keen eye on her and everyone and everything at the site, for that matter. Bye. Talk to you later. Nancy, hi. You don't really believe in any of this alien stuff, do you? Of course I do. What's gotten into you, Nancy? I've seen Sonny's letter. He says you've never taken one of his classes. How do you explain that? Fine. You've made your point. What do you want from me? The truth, for a change. I guess the truth is mine to tell, and yours to find out. So who are you here for? Abdullah 
or Nepertari. Who says I'm here for either? Common sense. You're an interesting one, Nancy. You didn't answer my question. If you ever want to hear my answer, we'll need to reach an agreement. What kind of agreement? You don't speak a word of this to anyone here. Oh, sure. The time is not right. Wait. So you don't actually believe in aliens? Right. Except... Except what? Sonny, he really is special. What do you mean? How so? I can't be the one to tell you. If you ever need to know, he'll find you. Goodbye. Bye. These look just like the symbols from Lily's game. I should talk to her about it. It's the same as the rhinestone I found. What was she doing out in that part of the tunnels? believe the Anunnaki exist? You may as well be asking me if I believe Brian Abernathy Fortenbright exists. I don't know, and further I could only guess. Is that a name you just made up? Yes. Now given the fact that there are seven plus billion people on Earth, it stands to reason that he may be a real person. And if we apply the Drake equation, we will find the astronomical, no wordplay intended dear, number of habitable planets in the universe. It is possible that the Anunnaki may exist, but since the evidence is shaky at best, I am much more interested in the here and now. Same here. Bye. Can you gather some information for me? Sure. Great! Near the sarcophagus, the goddess next to Horus is wearing what on her head? I'll go look. I'll call you back when I find out. Goodbye! Hi. Bye. Bye. These look just like the symbols from Lily's game. I should talk to her about it. Can't do that. Can you tell me what the symbols on the Senate board mean? The special squares are the House of Rebirth, the House of Happiness, the House of Three Truths, and the House of Ray Atom. That represents the House of Water. What's the House of Water? In the desert, water is very important, obviously. But when the desert is creeping in, stripping away all of the grazing lands, the House of Water became a powerful idea. 
It was the element the ancient Egyptians revered and were terrified of offending. What happened when you were in school? What do you mean? You were involved in cheating or something like that. I'm not going to talk about it with you. It was blown out of proportion. Abdullah's been pretty understanding to look past those accusations. You could say that. Why did you say it that way? Don't worry about it. I'd better get going. Bye. Nancy, hello. Goodbye. Bye. Hi. I know what the goddess next to Horus is wearing. Great. A vulture headdress. Thank you. Hotchkiss out. Hi, Nancy. There's something strange going on with Abdullah and Lily. How so? Abdullah could have anyone on his team, but he chose Lily. And apparently she's got a huge black mark on her academic record. Maybe he sees potential where others don't? Mm, maybe. It could be something weirder, though. Maybe he has a strange view on loyalty. I don't follow. If Lily's record is so bad, she can't exactly work for anyone else. Oh. But it seems the average student would be pretty loyal, given Abdullah's stature in the field. Hmm. I could be wrong. Have you heard of the black market for antiquities? Of course. But why would anyone want to buy a piece of history? Shouldn't that go to a museum? It should. Too bad not everyone agrees. I'd better get going. See ya! Nancy, hi. I think I found a new area of the tomb near the main entrance. You did? What is this? What is Jamila actually up to? be a special order to pressing these. I need to figure out what it is. Better get going. Later. Hi. You said the evidence of the Anunnaki is shaky. What evidence is there? Some say if you look at the hieroglyphs, you'll see some of the figures holding flashlights. Okay, that's strange. Well, not exactly. It's easy to see what you want to see. Seeing the tombs always made me feel quite simply famished. As the long days would pass, the murals would become quite simply delicious. Osiris would be holding the most wonderful caramel flans. Reeds would be chicken wings, and cipher for twisted flax would transmogrify into warm straight out of the oven garlic knots right before my eyes. My point is that you can see what you want to see. And what I want to see is that takeout menu for the Spice Town Speakeasy. I may have to put you on hold, dear. Just a moment. I'm still on. Hotchkiss here. I'd like baguette stuffed with mushroom and sautéed asparagus. And a beef jerky salad with caramel vinaigrette. That... that can't be a real food item. Is that still you, Norma? <clears throat> Nancy? Is this your first day at Spice Town? I'm Hotchkiss. We'll be talking to each other quite often. Would you kindly summarize your personality for me, for efficiency's sake? No, it's Nancy Drew. 
Still on the line, still in Egypt. Oh, drat and trad. Well, perhaps I'll just be dull and prepare myself a curried waffle sandwich. I'd better get going. I need your help finding some items in the tomb. Sure. Great! What is the statue of Osiris holding in the main antechamber? I'll go look. I'll call you back when I find out. Bye, dear. Hi, Nancy. Have you heard of the Daughters of Nefertari? Yes, but I'm surprised that you have. What do you mean? It's lore, and not popular lore at that. Where'd you hear about it? It was mentioned in an old journal I found. This is amazing. We're on the right track. We must be. I'm going to get there as soon as I can. You still didn't answer my question. Uh, oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Supposedly, they're searching for Nefertari, too. But that's all I know. I wasn't even sure if they were real. Bye-bye. Catch you later. Hi. Who are the daughters of Nefertari? What are you talking about? You're one of them, aren't you? There's no such thing. That symbol on your back. It's how the group identified itself. Watch yourself, Nancy. Why don't you just tell me? I'm going to figure it out anyway. Shh. You are lucky you are dealing with me and not my mother. Okay. Why? Because only the daughters of Nefertari can know our mission and live. But Your mother was a member? Every firstborn daughter leading back to the 19th dynasty has been a servant of Ramses II. First you say you're here for the Anunnaki. Now you want me to believe this? I could not care less what you believe. I only care that you stay out of my way. Why? What are you going to do? When we find her, I'm going to see that she's returned to Ramsay's side, to her rightful throne. You have two choices now. You'll be one of us, or you will force my hand to do something I don't want to do. What are you implying? All I want, Nancy, is to return her to where she belongs. You're here because of Abdullah, aren't you? In part. I don't like him. Why? Because he's on the take, and he stages. Stages? He dumps things he has into a site to make it more exciting. That's a big accusation. I have more proof than I need. I need to know right now why you're here. I have the authority to have you removed unless you tell me immediately. You do not. You want to try me? Fine, Nancy. I'm here to see that Nefertari is returned to where she belongs. Why? Because it is my destiny to do this. Or to die trying. There is very old magic at work here. And I do not care what you believe. It is true. Ramses II. He knew the temples would be plundered by men like Abdullah. He knew the land would suffer tyrants. That she would be at risk. He had to know that his greatest love would survive all of this. He had her hidden and called upon our bloodline. Every daughter in my family must seek Nefertari, and only when the time is right will we be able to find her. Then what? Then she's returned to her rightful place, and we are relieved of our duty. When I was young, my mother died. I was told she'd been in an automobile accident. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. When I came of age, a letter came. My mother wrote it before I was born. She knew the search for Nefertari would probably kill her, that she was bound by fate, as am I. One day, I will have a daughter, and she will never receive such a letter. The search ends with me, not Abdullah. Do you really believe all of that? Yes. But why the fake aliens? Abdullah told the press he thinks alien followers are stupid. Stupid people are no threat to him. So you hid in plain sight? Exactly. Here, take this. This is from Lily, isn't it? Yes. Ahoy, hoy! I know what the statue of Osiris is holding. Great! A crook and flail. Hotchkiss out!
These numbers should help. Let's see if I can open it now. Lily have this. What is Lily up to? Take shelter in the tomb. This storm is intense. If I combine what Lily said with John's notes, I should be able to figure this out. Nefertari, it's gotta be. And just what do you think you're doing? Lily? Lily, is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? This whole thing with the curse. It was you. No, it wasn't. Dylan is in the hospital because of you. It wasn't supposed to happen. I just wanted him to leave. Why? I can't say. I'm not going to say. What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do. Lily, look out! Are you okay in there? I'm fine! Check. Nancy! What's the matter? What happened? It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave-in. We need to get her help. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? I don't know. I need to go get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. Take this signal box, go above, and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. A key? Is there a second exit? Yes. I can't just leave Lily. And you can't help her by staying. Go, call for help. If you see Abdullah, run. There must be a way I can make it to that door! I need to find the correct head.
Nancy, why do you look so frightened? The curse! It was you! Good. For once, I do not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. You won't get away with this. No, no. I will get away. You will not. You should consider yourself lucky. You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity. You'll have to catch me first. The stones come up from the floor when the colors match. More platforms. If I can create a path to the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. You will not get away! I better not make any mistakes. Leaving so soon? Uh, that's that. Now come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Dear Hannah, the police eventually arrived and arrested Abdullah. John suspects when his case goes to trial, we'll be learning a lot more about Abdullah's crimes against archaeology. If you ask me, ancient and modern Egypt will be much better without him. Lily was rescued from the tomb unharmed. She was initially taken into custody, but was released once Abdullah claimed full responsibility for everything that went wrong at the dig. I guess he really did believe she deserved a second chance. From what I hear, Lily is currently studying paleontology. I imagine she'll be happier in a career that doesn't involve daily contact with mummies. Dylan has nearly recovered and will soon be resuming his tours of ancient Egypt. Hopefully he's had enough of the black market. Maybe I'll check in on one of his tours to see how he's doing. Jamila was wary when John returned to the site, but the two of them soon hit it off. John has promised to have Nefertari return to her rightful place beside Ramses II, and Jamila has been brought on to assist with the entire process. Jamila dropped her alien act and soon proved herself to be a skilled Egyptologist. I wouldn't be surprised if she and John end up working together for some time to come. Professor Hotchkiss has decided to revise her book to include our discovery of Nefertari's true tomb. I'm looking forward to reading it, just as much as I'm looking forward to her taking me off speed dial. As for me, I'm happy to have had an adventure and delighted to be headed home. There's nothing like the end of a mystery when all of the pieces fit together and everything is... And I just remembered I forgot to let the cobra go. Well, I'd better go take care of that. Guess I'll be getting home a little later than anticipated. Here's hoping that releasing an angry cobra isn't as much of a bad idea as it sounds. Love, Nancy. Scientist, half magician, Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking work electrified the modern world. More than 50 years after his death, many researchers would kill to solve the mysteries he left behind. Now it seems someone has. Days before a highly anticipated announcement, one of the world's top scientists was found dead. With the case now cold, it's up to me to bring the murderer to justice without becoming the next victim of the deadly device.
dare to play. Nancy, you made it. Good. You couldn't tell me much earlier. What's the story? You'll find all the information in Nico's desk drawer. The combination is 171943. Got it. I'll need full access to the lab and a cover. For the cover, say you're doing due diligence for a new investor. I'll back you up if anyone asks. But full access to the lab? No. It's too dangerous. If I can't investigate everything, I might have a problem on my hands. All right. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's it. The equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. Got it. Approach the case how you want, but I think I know where you should start. Ryan, the police really thought she might be behind Nico's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. This must be the drawer where Victor put the case file. Thank you. 
It looks like it's missing the opening mechanism. That's done. Hello, Nancy. I forgot to tell you, we've been having a lot of outages lately. Funny you mention that. I think you're having one right now. It's nothing to worry about. We've got backup on the big systems. Most of the time, Gray can get things back online in an hour. Occasionally, it takes a while, but rarely does it come close to the critical window. Critical window? Some of the equipment can get unruly when the power supply isn't consistent. Don't worry about it, though. Take the time to get settled. Catch up on sleep. All right. Gotta run. Okay, what's that? Ugh, come on. Ow, my toe. Ooh. This was not what I expected when I set the alarm. You, come with me. What's going on? No chit-chat. Come, now. We need to get the system shut down before the grid goes critical. Get all those switches powered off. I'll do the rest. Could this have been used to keep the power on? I need to keep this together with any other evidence I find. Nice work. Now get out. Who are you? What just happened? If the grid had gone critical, we'd all be dead right now. I'm Gray. I don't care who you are. Don't tell me. Get out! I need to find the power knob before I can use it.
Don't know you. Who let you in? But we've already met. In the lab? <sighs> Never mind. I'm Nancy. I'm here doing research for a new owner. Just what this place needs. You're not a fan of the idea? Nope. Why not? Not a fan of most ideas. Eh, makes sense. Was that sarcasm? Don't answer. I don't actually care. What do you do here? Job description says security agent. Suppose it's more valid than not. How long have you worked here? Don't know. Can you estimate? Mm, nah. You're really not going to tell me how long you've worked here? So it would seem. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Nancy Drew. Hi, Deirdre. Are you in Colorado by any chance? Yes. How did you know? Some friend of my dad's called me for a reference for you. And you gave him a good reference? Well, I told him the truth. That was very nice of you. Was it? By the way, don't make a habit of it. Okay? Bye. Wait, hang on a sec. I might need some outside help with this case. <sighs> Did you forget that I don't like you? No, but I know you're studying criminology and maybe someday I could help you out. Oh, a non-specific promise with the word someday. Sounds too tempting to ignore. Yet, here I go! Nancy, Frank was just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Is that so? Just recounting the time. So, how are you? How's Colorado? Sciency. Awesome. Not bad. I want to catch you up on the case. Give us the deets. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. Frank, it's a language, not a museum. Tear down the velvet rope standing in the way of your word imagination. <sighs> Joe. Sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. Whoa, a murder? I am flabber worried. Isn't that a little on the dangerous side? It might be. I wish we could be there to help. Where are you? We're on a submarine. Well, currently it's a boat, but intermittently it's a submarine. What are you doing on a submarine? It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting the pieces together. Not gonna lie, Nancy, it's some pretty sweet stuff. Crime syndicates, pirate treasure, and there's some talk of pirate ghosts, but no confirmations as of yet. But fingers crossed. More importantly, tell us about you. Okay, here's the full scoop. Victor, the lab owner, called me in to help solve a cold case. Why did he call you? Isn't this a job for the police? Well, that's the thing. The police hit a dead end, and Nico, the researcher who was killed, all of his papers were put into evidence. And they stay in evidence until the case is closed, right? Exactly. What makes the papers so important? Apparently, Nico was very close to making his research public. The research was supposedly going to revolutionize the way power is created and delivered in this country. Well, the world, really. Victor wants the papers released before anyone else connects the dots. If it's such a big deal, how come he didn't go to some big private eye or something? Joe! Probably because Nancy's got a very well-deserved reputation of being the best there is. I'm sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean it that way. It just seems like a really big job. I thought the same thing, trust me. But he thinks because of my age, no one will suspect I'm undercover. I hope he's right. Oh, undercover. That makes sense. Cool. Keep us up to date. We'll do everything we can to help. I met Gray. What's his story? He's a little intimidating. You're not the type to be intimidated, so that must really be saying something. I'll let you go. Talk to you later.
I'm so sorry about that. Are we cool? Um, yes. Good. I was really hoping you'd be the type not to freak out about something like that. Not that you shouldn't. It's reasonable to freak out after a near-death experience. Not that that was super near-death, but you know, closer than what you get walking through most doors. It's okay. I'm fine. Good. I had a whole argument prepared about labs and the risks of working with machinery and the importance of forgiveness. Do you want me to hit all the bullet points? That's not necessary. Are you sure? I practiced. No, I, I get it. I'm Ryan. What do you do at the lab? I'm so sorry, but I have to ask why you're here. Why are you here? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm here to do due diligence for a potential new owner. I'm sorry. I'm an adult, and there's nothing funny about what you just said. Whoa! Wait! Back to the information. We're getting a new owner? Maybe. But first I need to ask some intrusive questions. Oh. I know you've gotten enough of this. I really do. But it's my job. I've done worse things for my job. Like what? I build tools. They're not always used in a good way. What do you mean by that? I couldn't tell you about it if I wanted to. Confidentiality. Who do you think killed Nico? A little part of me thinks it's Gray. Why? I'm a little scared of him. Any reason in particular? Oh, you know. His voice and general demeanor and his face and pretty much everything else about him. Those two had a strange relationship. They fought constantly, not sure why. I'd better get going. Bye. Hmm. What are you doing? If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. What are you working on? It's immensely complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Put it in layman's terms. Fine. There's this shiny magic that lives in the power lines, and it's dangerous and sly like a fox. And I'm using math to trick it into leaving the power lines without accidentally making everyone die. That sounds like you're working on the wireless transmission of electricity to me. If you want to put too fine a point on it, go ahead, stranger. Which brings me to my next point. Who am I? Please let the answer be something that justifies me kicking you out of my workspace. I'm here on behalf of a new potential owner. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me, not the answer I wanted to hear. Do you know why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Whoa, hold on. It's just a for instance. Is it? Yes, that's because I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C and so on. Ryan is all over the place. For her, it's A to zucchini to that thing from TV, to maybe see, then on to some non sequitur. I don't trust anyone I can't explain. Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? Sometimes. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions, and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. 
He just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes, the police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game, like it was any other day. What else do you remember? I remember Ryan. They took her out in cuffs. She came back the next day. Never said a word about what happened. Do you like Ryan? Let me save you some time. I don't like anyone. That can't be true. Observe, and I'll demonstrate. Other people. What's so special about Tesla? If you have to ask that, you haven't done your research. I mean, to you, what brought you here? The work. I turned down Los Alamos in a tenure-track position to be here. Most people don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. Why? Could be he was designing weapons. Could be he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates. Don't know. It's all been hidden. What matters is, there's a little bit still here. I always suspected Nico had some squirreled away, and I'd be able to find it. But either he didn't, or I couldn't. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? No. You must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. Can you tell me a little bit about Gray? He always gives me an industrial-sized portion of the creeps. The only person who ever liked Gray was Nico, and I think he just liked keeping Gray around to scare everyone away from his work. Did he try to scare you away from Nico's work? No. He tried to scare me away from my own work. What does that mean? He was Nico's heavy. I figured he'd leave once the police gave the all clear. Trust me, if he's still here, he's up to something. Your boss would be smart to get rid of him. What was Nico working on before he died? There wasn't a name for it yet, officially. It was basically wireless energy transfer. That was helpful for you. So how about you tell me something about your boss? I'm sorry, I can't. Confidential. What are you doing? I want you to tell me what you know, but I can't tell if you're a pushover or not. Not. Ah, efficiency. One of the rare graces of a post-manner society. Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. That seems a little disrespectful, considering... Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died, and he's one of them. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Of course I looked. Bye. See you later.
here, champ. How's my favorite buddy? What do you want, Deirdre? What do I want? This is about what you want, Nancy Drew. Is that so? It cannot be more so. I come bearing apologies. I want to help you, Nancy Drew. I want to be your girl on the inside of the exciting world of criminology. Why the sudden change of heart? Because apparently it still counts as plagiarism if you pay someone to write your paper. I mean, is capitalism dead? Because that's what it seems like. And you want to help me because... I made a bargain with my prof. If I can help an actual murder investigation, I'll get credit. So I help you, you help me collect data for my paper, and balance is restored to the universe. How exactly can you help me? I've got permission to use our criminal database. In fact, I already read up on the case. That could come in handy. All right, it's a deal. Great. Call when you need help, and I'll do what I can. Just don't call me when I'm busy. Will do. What do you know about surveillance video? That you watch it. Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? Oh, yeah. All the time. How can you tell if the video's been edited in some way? It's getting harder and harder to tell. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. Is there a way to know if I have the original? Yeah, that's the detective part. Not in my wheelhouse. I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Consider it done. I'll text you the results. Haven't done that. Can I help you? What brings you here? School? Actually, I'm checking the lab out for a new potential owner. Oh yeah, Nancy, right? Yes! Ellie, Victor wanted me to show you the coil. I guess you could say you're lucky. Most people never get to see the inside of the lab. And we're not exactly up to giving tours, considering. Ready? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Is this the coil that was responsible for Nico's death? Yes. It's been rewired since that night. It never should have been set up that way in the first place. Why was it wired that way? There must have been a reason, right? Now, I need you to focus on what we are doing. It's very dangerous. What you're in right now is called a Faraday cage. Well, how does it work? Basically, it conducts the electricity away from whatever is inside it, keeping you safe. Here we go! Okay, that's it. Back to the office. Thanks for the demo. Any chance you could let me look around in the lab sometime? Nope. Can you tell me what you do at the lab? In plain terms, I'm a research scientist. How long have you worked here? Some days, feels like decades. I don't actually know. Two years? Maybe a bit less. Do you share the office? In a way. Mason's station is over there. He's in during the day. Who else was here the night Nico died? Gray. I think that's it. You said the coil should never have been wired the way it was the night Nico died. Why not? Wiring the secondary and primary coils together is a good way to get yourself killed. Or someone else. Are you sure it was Ryan? Yes. Why would she do that? She said Nico insisted. Does that sound like something Nico would do? I never understood him. But if he was even a fraction as smart as his work leads me to believe, why would he do something so dangerous? Did you know Nico well? No, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So you weren't friends? I don't know if he had friends. He wasn't well liked? 
No, it's not like that. I just don't think he needed people. Or if he did, then he hid it well. He was too much of a scientist. You said Nico was too much of a scientist. What did you mean by that? I'm organized in the way I think, but I... Okay, take Mason, for example. He lives his life the way I work. How so? In all of the ways. When he makes a sandwich, he alphabetizes the ingredients. He's not human. Not that he's... It's hard to explain. Like if a computer had legs and a sweater, it'd be Mason. What it comes down to is, I'm 20%. Mason, maybe 60. Nico was 100% a scientist. Why do you and Mason work opposite schedules? I'm a night Ellie. Any other reason? And as a good Southern girl, I know if you don't have anything good to say, you keep it zipped, like this. Did Nico have a hard time with people? Not a hard time, not exactly. It was like he was plugged into a different current than the rest of us. People were to be studied and observed, but that was all he wanted. At least I hope that's how it was. Is there a way into the lab without a key card? No. Trust me, I've tried. I'm not great at remembering to bring my card, and Gray does not like letting me in. Was Nico close to anyone in the office? Did he talk to anyone? Don't think so, really. Goodbye. Bye. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Mason's not very forgiving. You don't want to be messing with his stuff. Sorry, I was just a little curious. You know, he's not here. Make you a deal. He's been lording his high score aggregation over me. Take him down, and I'll let you poke around. Actually, I already beat Mason's high score. You did good, kid. This is me looking the other way. It's a limited time offer. Who else was here the night Nico died? Gray. I think that's it. Did you know Nico well? No, but it wasn't for lack of trying. So you weren't friends? I don't know if he had friends. He wasn't well liked? No, it's not like that. I just don't think he needed people. Or if he did, then he hid it well. He was too much of a scientist. Did Nico have a hard time with people? Not a hard time, not exactly. It was like he was plugged into a different current than the rest of us. People were to be studied and observed, but that was all he wanted. At least I hope that's how it was. I'll let you go. Goodbye, Nancy. Whoa, Ryan should never have been released. Better follow up on this. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Did that. 
Did that. That's done. Can't check that off yet. Check. Still have to do that. Can't check. Check. That's done. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. What do you want? Who was here the night of the murder? I was. Who else? Ellie, Anne. And who? Computers say someone, but the cameras say no one else. Nico walks in that door alone every time I watch the tape. How many times have you watched the footage? Don't know. Lots. Why? It's my job. You mentioned re-watching the video. Do you think something is hidden there? Not hidden. Missing. What's missing? It's not a what, it's a who. I don't understand. Who are you looking for? Nico's killer. Did Nico's work put him in any danger? Yes. Energy is power. Ultimate power. Why would that put him in danger? People who want power will not hesitate to get what they want. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Victor here. How did you hear about me? Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. You seem pretty sure Ryan's the one who killed Nico. That's because she did. She made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. And confidentially, the police told me they're almost certain it's her. They just don't have enough evidence to get a conviction. This is your case, but don't let Ryan's buddy act fool you. She's not who she seems. Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? He was an amazing scientist, years ahead of his time. How long have you worked together? Decades. Did you spend any time together outside of work? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico, so no. I'd better get going. Bye. I need to get all of the numbers shown clockwise on the wheel using their binary code.
These must be the key cards used to access the lab. I should figure out which number belongs to whom. That number is from the night of the murder. It doesn't appear anywhere else in the logs. That's done. That's done. Still have to do that. Just Nico. Hmm. She's bypassing the security system. Interesting. That doesn't sound good. Ellie might want to know about this. That's done. Did that. Hi. Is the hall just outside the lab supposed to hum? Nope. I need to find a way to play this. could be useful. Check. That's done. That's done. That's done. Check. Check. Can't check that off yet. <gasps> Who's there? Hello? Who was that? Nancy Drew. 
I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Consider it done. I'll text you the results. I need a car to get in the lab. That's done. That's done. Hmm. Something must be broken. Is there anyone there? This looks dangerous. I should make sure I know what I'm doing before I start. It looks like something is missing. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Check. Still have to do that. What's up? Do you know how to fix a musical Tesla coil? Yes. Really? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I thought you said, should I let you get back to what you were doing? I'll let you go. See ya! Hi! Deirdre's decided to help me out. What's in it for her? A passing grade. Aw, oh, lucky. I wonder who her teacher is. I foiled three art heists, and did that help my art history grade? No. No, it did not. Rescue a stolen Vermeer, yet you still get a C. I met the whole crew. Now the work begins. There are some intelligence guys here who owe us a favor. We'll see if anyone's got a pass they're hiding. I'll let you go. Bye. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. What's happening? Are you okay? I'll never be okay again. What is that thing? An abomination of technology. It's some creepy robotic cat that someone, I suspect Mason, is tormenting me by leaving all of its awful parts everywhere. I've seen one of those before. If I find all of the pieces, I bet I could put it together. As long as you promise to throw it into a fiery volcano once it's completed. That thing is the undisputed mayor of Nightmare Town. 
Do you know how I can play a media card? Yeah, Nico's personal player. I meant to fix it earlier. Get me some Coco Mallows from Nico's office, and I'll have it working for you. From the candy machine? How exactly does that thing work? Here, this should do the trick. Thanks. Victor mentioned you were arrested the night Nico died. Yes, I was. What happened? It's not a night I like remembering. I understand. No need to go into it. Thanks. It was a bad night. Worst I ever had. They dropped me in a room and asked me a hundred times if I killed Nico. That must have been hard. The questions kept coming faster and faster until I had a hard time remembering what was even true anymore. Then it was over. The older one drove me home, told me they'd be back the second they could prove it was me. Made it hard to sleep at night. What evidence did they have? They wouldn't say. It was like they were waiting for me to tell them why they thought I was guilty. I'm kind of wondering the same thing myself. I don't think you're telling me the full story. What do you want? Something. Do you have anything that can prove that you didn't kill him on purpose? No. Yes? I need to rebuild the missing part from the large Tesla coil. Can you help me out? I think I've got the plans here. Yep. Here you go. Thanks. Thank you. Working here, I forgot that phrase existed. Do you know how I can get the little Tesla coil in the lab to work? The circuit board is shot. You seem like you know what's up. I bet you could make a new one yourself. You'll find everything you need in the photo lab. You snuck in without logging in the day before the murder. Why? I... I lost my key. It happens. Isn't this place extremely well secured? The labs are... Building... I have my tricks. And no, I'm not sharing. What happened on the night of the murder? Can you not say it like that, please? I'm sorry, I don't know if there is a better way to ask about something like this, but I do really need to know. I know, you're right. He talked to me. More than once. I'm not sure I understand. He didn't talk to most people. I think he liked me. Or at least trusted me. You still haven't told me about what happened that night. We lost one of science's brightest minds for a stupid reason I don't understand. That's all I can say. Can you tell me about what happened with the equipment you built for Nico? It worked exactly as it was supposed to. Tesla coils are not supposed to be wired like the one you built for Nico. It's extremely dangerous. You don't have to tell me that. I know. I knew. He told me that's what he wanted. I don't understand why he would want you to build something so deadly. I didn't either. He said he was going to do it with or without me. I just figured that if I did what he wanted perfectly, it'd be better than if he got help from somebody else. In the end, your machine is what killed him. No. Yes, but... But what? I didn't... I would never hurt anyone. Especially not Nico. Why? What made him special? Because... He was brilliant. He could look at a blueprint and know the finished product's personality. And he had no one in the world looking after him. I'd better get going. Bye. Yes? Who do you see on an average day? Just me. Sometimes Ryan. You ask a lot of questions. Ever thought of being a scientist? Sometimes. Good answer. The world needs more people with questions, and fewer people who are sure they have the answers. Did you see? I beat your high score. Yes. If fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sun Tzu compels me to take you down. Prepare yourself, opponent. Who was here the night of the murder? Not me. So, you know, no follow-ups. Where were you? Out on a date. Did the police follow up with her? Yes. Proving that she does, in fact, pick up her phone on occasion. 
So, I take it the date didn't go well? I have so little patience for the dating scene. I prefer to get right to the important compatibility questions. Kids, when, how many, gender preference, favorite foods and vacation spots. Some women find this to be a bit much. Some? So far all, but I only need one perfect or near perfect match to validate the entire system. You look a little upset. Someone moved my things. Someone will pay. I'd better get going. See you later. Looks like a memory lock. Great, just what Ryan wanted. Here's the candy bar you wanted. Great. I'll start fixing it right now. Yes. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked it. He practically lived in the lab. If he wanted to look at my work, he'd just root around in my hard drive. So he'd come in here when you were gone? No, he'd use the network. He'd just snoop in your files? That seems kind of annoying. Not kind of. Entirely. It's unethical, and it allowed him to steal. What do you remember about the day Nico died? More than I care to. I imagine. Did anything stick out? Yes, the police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico, and here they were, talking about a basketball game, like it was any other day. 
What else do you remember? I remember Ryan. They took her out in cuffs. She came back the next day. Never said a word about what happened. You mentioned Nico stealing your work. Can you prove that? No. You must be pretty upset about that. Say what you really want to say. Did the police know your feelings about Nico? What a peculiar question. Do you have a peculiar answer? I do, in fact, have a peculiar answer. I actually told the police the truth. A more interesting question is how is Ryan still a free woman? Why shouldn't she be? In this case, the smoking gun is a miswired Tesla coil that she built. Ryan said that Nico would talk to her. Does that seem true to you? <laughs> no. The two of them hanging out? Mm, can't picture it. You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in Nico's personal things? Of course I looked. I'd better get going. Goodbye. I need to connect all of the circuits. All done. Now it's time to etch the design. The red must mean it's locked. I bet if I turn everything blue, it'll open. I'd better measure this first.
did that. That's done. If I want to mix another solution, I need to throw this old solution out first. If I want to mix another solution, I need to throw this old solution out first. It's Wednesday. I've clocked 49 hours of work this week. I found another note from Ryan on my door this morning. This time a threat. She continues to surprise. She's smarter than she looks. And then later she confronted me by the couch in the lounge and handed me another of her threats. I didn't bother taking it with me. The coil as is, it's little more than a plaything. I can't get the proper flow using the original design. I've got schematics drawn up for an entirely new prototype. But maybe that step isn't necessary. The math is solid, and the small-scale experiments are running at an efficiency of about 80%, and that's using the old design. I checked in on Mason's work today. He has the strangest attraction to exactly the work I'd most like him to avoid. I'm starting to question if he knows what he's toying with. I've made my message to him clear, yet he keeps going back to the rough materials application portion of the process. Perhaps it's time Gray tightens up the network to keep him in line. Maybe it's time to replace him. He's been less of an asset than I expected anyway. I'm finding myself spending more and more time down in my study in a state somewhere near sleep. Viewing the schematics in my mind, looking for flaws. Doesn't make sense that I'm finding none.
Whoa, better follow up on this. I found these notes in the lounge. Is this your handwriting? Yes. So you admit to threatening Nico? It looks like a threat, but it really isn't. What else could it possibly be? It says right here. I know what it says. Then what? A warning. It means just what it says. He wanted me to build something that could kill him. I had to make sure he knew what he was working with. Do you have anything to prove that's true? You know what? I need you to leave me alone right now. Go, please. Yes? Did you dislike Nico? Very much so. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. That seems a little disrespectful, considering... Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died, and he's one of them. He's a dead, brilliant, jerk madman. The world would be much better off if he'd lived to share more of his intellect. But I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. It seems strange to me that you could be so blasé about a murder. I deal with things on my own time. But if you are desperate to watch someone cry, Ellie's always available. What do you think of Ellie? She hates me so much that she switched to the night shift. Come to think of it, she hates me so much I should actually feel a sense of accomplishment, which I now do. There it is. What did you do that she dislikes you so much? Why do you assume it was me? I took an educated guess. I did too. Still couldn't figure it out. But the fact remains, we are not besties, as she likes to say. We are worsties. I better get going. See you later. Nancy, Ryan's alibi stands up. She couldn't have killed Nico. What? How do you know? She told the police that she won an award. That was her alibi. But it left her with enough time to sneak back in. It wasn't airtight. Close, but not perfect. There was nothing in the crime database. But I had a hunch. I went to the journalism lab and used their photographer database. The ceremony was a national story. So a bunch of freelancers put their shots up for sale. You found pictures of Ryan, but what does that prove? By itself, nothing. But two, count them, two different photographers submitted photos of Ryan standing near a visible clock. She couldn't have made it back in time. Yes, that was the finale I was building to and was excited to get to say out loud that you interrupted. Oh, Deirdre, you're amazing. That is... A genuine compliment. Okay. I'm working on tracking down the photographers, but it could take weeks. For now, it looks like Ryan's in the clear. Ryan was threatening Nico. I found one of her notes. What's it say? Unless you're dying to see the inside of a body bag, I suggest you rethink your plans. I admire the directness. Well, good. I was hoping this paper would be short. Ryan says the notes were taken out of context. Say what now? Yep. Yeah, in my experience, no one buys that line. I don't know who to focus on now that Ryan's been cleared. I can't help you there. Whoever did this was very calculating. It's sort of too bad that the rest of your suspects are scientists. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were starting to enjoy working with me. <sighs> no. It's just that I'm bored and... I'm completely out of episodes of TDPD. TDPD? Is that a... what is that? 
the best show on television ever and you've never heard of it nancy he was a linebacker and now he's a crime tracker ring a bell officer downs anything sorry never heard of it sometimes it's like you live on mars i better get going bye Victor here. I found a way to prove that Ryan's innocent. It wasn't her. What? What do you mean? Photos from her award ceremony prove she couldn't have made it to the lab in time. It's not possible. That can't be true. All of that evidence, I'm sure it was her. Deirdre's working on getting the photos over to the police now. They'll reopen the case and everything will just stall out again. Okay, what's my next move then? I don't know. I have to think. Hi. Ryan's innocent. One down. Maybe she can help you out. Deirdre was actually helpful. That might be more surprising than Ryan's innocence. So what's next? Everyone else. Any word on the background of the crew here? Funny thing you ask. Yeah, sort of. Nico has a file, but it's classified. Surprisingly, so does Gray. But we don't know what's in there. Interesting. But Nancy, you can't tell anyone. I had to sort of bend the rules. Have you ever used a rapid prototyper? You mean a 3D printer? That's an awful name. It doesn't even make sense, but yes, they're pretty cool. Any advice on how to use one? Sure. It's all about following the steps. You've got to make the design, send it to the machine, find the prototyper, and start the fabrication process. Then, you wait. Impatiently? That's just you. I better get going. Later. Hi, Nancy. Look, I wanted to apologize for how our last conversation ended. I just want this investigation over. I was so sure it was Ryan. I guess I was just blinded by how much I wanted to wrap things up. I can understand that. The more I think of it, I'm glad it's not her. She always made the place a little more fun. I guess it's time to take a long look at everyone else. Keep an eye out. As we narrow in on the suspect, things might get a little dangerous. Mason says Nico was stealing from him. Is this true? No, because the work isn't Mason's to begin with. It's a little troubling that he views it that way. Did you know about Nico's diaries? I knew he kept audio notes in his office. He had a player there. No clue how it works. Can you tell me anything about Gray? I don't know much about him. He was one of Nico's hires. Nico brought Gray on? Yes, I have no idea why. He's a head case. Watch yourself around him. Understand? Did you know Ryan was threatening Nico? Do you have proof? I found a note, but she claimed it was a warning, not a threat. <laughs> Likely story. It'd be very convenient for her if you believe that. Goodbye. Bye. That's done. That's done. What's up? You really are innocent. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Don't be sorry. It's the smartest course of action. Look, I gotta ask you. You're not really here for a new investor. You're here to look into what happened to Nico, aren't you? Yes. I figured the questions you were asking were a little odd considering. I believe someone from this lab killed Nico. Anything you need from me, you got it. Why are you being so helpful? 
Nico may have had some crazy, downright dangerous ideas, but he was a good man. His killer deserves to be punished, whoever it is. I'll let you go. Bye. It's pretty hot in here. I'd better find my way out as quickly as possible. What are you doing here? Back off, old man. I said, what are you doing here? And while I'm at it, what's in the bag? And I said, back off! Hey, let go! I don't want to see you here screwing around after hours. Are you crazy? This is mine, leave me alone! Yeah, you better run! What were they arguing about? Still have that's done. I have the clues I need. Time to figure out the correct sequence. Check. Wait, why isn't it working? What are you doing? That coil is deadly. Mess with that again, I'll be the least of your worries. Get out! What were you doing in the lab? I had a hunch I needed to follow up on. A hunch? I have a hunch. If you keep screwing around in the lab, you'll either end up fired or dead. Stay out of the lab! Strange. What's Ellie up to with this?
I need to get this to add up correctly. I thought they hated each other. What's going on here? I need to figure out whose card this is. I need to rebuild Ryan's part. I think that's right! What's he doing in there? Say your piece, then leave me in mine. What were you saying to Mason earlier? Nothing you need to worry about. You seemed a little angry. I was. I got locked in the lab and almost died. That's so? Yes. Someone turned off the oxygen. I had to crawl out the vent. Hmm, smart. Most wouldn't have thought of that. Do you have any idea what happened? Hmm, nope. I could have died in there. This is a lab. It's not to be taken lightly. Forget that and you will end up dead. Do you know why Mason and Ellie would be spending time together? I thought they hated each other. I have a theory. What is it? Secret. What were you shredding? Nothing. It didn't seem like nothing. Leave it alone. The log says that one additional person entered the lab the night Nico died. I know. The question is, how do you know? Police report. What I don't understand is why the police didn't follow up on it. They did. Said it was a glitch. Do you believe that? What's it matter what I believe? It only matters what they believe. What was your relationship with Nico? I knew him. Same as anyone else here. I don't buy that. Victor told me he was instrumental in getting you this job. Could be true. Strange world. Crazier things. Why were you so concerned about what Mason was up to? He was messing with tech he didn't understand. I had to make sure he didn't do anything stupid. You and Nico were friends, weren't you? Friends? Yes. I guess that doesn't matter now, does it? I'd still like to know. Fine. 
Then just give me a break. All right, champ? Fair enough. There was a time when we were friends. When was that? Back when he was alive. Now beat it. Give me some empty space to stare through. Bye. Bye. Can't check that off yet. The kill switch for the Tesla coil. Why does Gray have it? I bet I could tape this back together. This was the car that opened the lab the night of the murder. Can't leave the card behind. I need to figure out what was on this page before Gray shredded it. Got it. Now to find a way to take this with me. What was put into safekeeping? I'd better look into that. What was Nico working on? Is this some sort of code? Haven't done that. That's done. That's done. Check. Did that. That's done. Check. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that. Did that. Can't check that off. That's done. Can't check that off. Still have to do that. Check. That's done. Can't check that off yet.
lost by every fifth letter above on the coil. Okay, I'll give that a try. What's up? I found the key card that accessed the lab the night Nico was killed. Where? In the office Mason and Ellie share. Does that mean one of them did it? It could. I need more. Then find more. Is this one of those things where you're talking to me because you're worried about blowing your cover, so you're not asking them? Yeah. I don't know if we're buddies like that. I mean, I do know, and we're not. Solve this case on the quick, please, because I do not want to write a billion-page paper, thank you. Someone knocked me out and locked me in the photo lab. That is the least shocking thing ever. You do realize that, right? I suppose that's what I get for calling you with this problem. Yeah. Hey, you know, you should volunteer at one of those neurological study places, because you have been knocked out a lot, my friend. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe not the safest place to keep it, in your case. I got a text from Ryan. Did you give my number away? No, no. I did post it online, like a whole bunch. What? Why? Because I assumed it would be hilarious. But don't lecture me or anything, because my dad already did, and that totally counts. Ryan must be good with computers, because that was a while back. I am frankly surprised it took you this long to figure it out. I better get going. See ya! Hi. Something weird is going on. Mason and Ellie are actually working together. Don't they hate each other? I thought so. Either they're lying, or they've got some strong outside motivation to put aside their differences. They're working together in secret. So, do you think corporate espionage? Could be. There's a lot of money to be made with this work. But are they taking advantage of the situation? Or was this the plan all along? <sighs> I wish I knew. I'd better get going. Later. Friday. The hours have gone negative this week. The news of the announcement has gone far beyond what I wanted. I've lost control over it. And we're not ready. Gray's been helping me comb through all the unsuitable work. I've had to step up my own security. I can't be too careful now. The mood in the lab has been tense for a long time, but there has been a shift. A sudden calmness to my enemies as of late, as if they're planning something. Paranoia has always come creeping into the back reaches of my mind when I stretch myself too far, but I've not been overextended. Quite the opposite. Everything has been going smoothly with the energy project. This, I fear, isn't paranoia. I find myself unable to trust anyone here, but I can't leave the work, not until it's announced. There's electricity in everything, but we don't know how to see it because we perceive it to be scarce, always looking for exotic solutions. Exotic and costly. Victor once warned me to take it easy with the announcement. The world economy is built on expensive energy. To flood the market could cause a collapse, but to continue to hide the resources we have, to deprive those who need them? I see why Tesla liked his pigeons. They fly only where they're directed, and never question the effect the beating of their wings will have on the skies and the world below. Check. Haven't done that.
What's this? That's done. Glad you made it through that lock-in. That could have been real, real bad. How bad are relations between you and Mason? I wouldn't say they're bad. You might be the only one who wouldn't. They're not great. I get the impression that you two hate each other. My gram raised me to look for the good in everyone, even those who do me harm. Most times I find that glimmer of good even in the meanest people. But Mason flashes that smug smile of his, and every rage center of my brain releases all of its hate Mason chemicals. Wish that weren't the truth, but it is. Why were you spending time with Mason? I thought you two didn't get along. We have to meet up to coordinate experiments once in a while. You and Mason are working on a project together. Something secret. You're wrong. Then you won't mind if I tell Victor what you're up to? You'd be smart not to. He doesn't have patience for people stirring up the bottom of a river that's best kept still. Is this your card? Nope. What happened back there in the lab? I don't know. You're lucky you got out. Really lucky. This card I found, according to the record, it's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. What do you mean? It's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab, Nico. Was Nico close to anyone in the office? Did he talk to anyone? Don't think so, really. I also get the impression Mason doesn't like you very much. Now that is fortunate. If I had to deal with him puppy-dogging all around all the time, I'd never get anything done. After Nico died, you left for a while. That's true. Where did you go? Home. You mean back to where you grew up? Of course. I wouldn't call Colorado home. Why not? Between you and me, I'm looking to get out of here as soon as possible. Why? Even if what happened to Nico never happened, Colorado never welcomed me with open arms. Are you sure you don't have another reason for wanting to leave? Yes, I'm sure. Bye. Bye. Gray's shredded notes seem to mention this was important. What's someone with a PhD doing working in security?
Gray? Is this the unedited tape? If it is... Wait, what's that code in the corner? Can't check that off yet. Check. Can't check. Check. Haven't done that. Haven't did that. Can't check that off yet. I was locked in the photo lab. I think someone tried to kill me. The air was off. Yeah, I had to crawl out the vent. No one was trying to kill you. How can you be so sure? The only one who knew about the air cycling off was me. I'm working on the vent system. If someone locked you in, they weren't trying to kill you. Then what were they trying to do? I don't know, but I'll make sure the air stays on. Still, be careful out there. I found a card in Mason and Ellie's office that was used to get into the lab the night Nico died. Why would that be there? I don't know yet. They both have their reasons to be angry at Nico. Reasons? Like what? He believed that scientific breakthroughs belong to everybody. Technology should be shared freely. That's noble. He took it to an extreme. He didn't put a dollar value on his work or anyone else's. Rumor has it, he would incorporate their work into his own without asking. I don't think he understood what he was doing to them. He's a big name with stable funding. They're just scraping by and Ellie's got major debt. Do you think either one of them could have killed Nico? This place is like a fortress. It had to be someone associated with the lab. So the way I see it, there's a 66% chance it was one of them. Bye. Later.
going to replace the capacitors like Ryan's note in the book described. All right! Blacklight. This might be what Nico was talking about. Did that.
This has to lead to whatever Nico was hiding. A biometric fingerprint scanner. This could be a challenge. It'd be a bad idea to mix those together. Can't fit any more in there.
If I want to mix another solution, I need to throw this old solution out first. What's up? Can I have some gummy bears? Normally, I'd say yes. But there is a wicked cold front coming in, and I am not getting snowed in without gummy bears. Not again. Never again. Oh, fine, you can have one. Fair warning, do not give him a name if you plan on losing or eating him later. Unless you're some sort of monster. I think there may be something weird about the security video from the night of the murder. Could you take a look at it with me? Yes. This track is something Nico had me add, so the security video could also do double duty as a data set. He liked tracking the ebb and flow of the electrical current throughout the year. It meant something to him. I've heard that theoretically we could... Wait. What? Right there. And there. Let me get a closer look. It's true. There are breaks in the signature. This video was tampered with. Someone followed Nico into that lab and edited themselves out of the tape. I'm pulling this off the network before. What just happened? That footage must have been flagged. Whoever killed Nico knows what we just saw. Where are you going? Anywhere but here. If you're smart, you do the same. Security breach in Tesla Coil Lab. Warning. Can't check that off yet. What are you doing here? I was going to ask you the same thing. This might come as a shock, but no one wants you lurking around here. Why don't you just leave me to my work? I'm not lurking. What's that? Wait! Wait, stop! Someone's activated the machine! You have to shut it all down! Please, hurry! I need to find a way to turn off all of the power. There! Got it! Thank you! I appreciate that! Who could have turned that on? No clue! Look, maybe we can keep this between ourselves, okay? What are you doing? Nancy, we should have a talk. Come on. Nice job. You saved me some paperwork back there. It's unfortunate that we couldn't be meeting under better circumstances. It wasn't exactly fair of me to ask you to take on such a large task. It looks like your ride is going to be a little late. Get settled in the lounge and, please, don't touch anything. I'm going to need all of your passes and keys. Where did you even get this? No, I, d I don't even want to know. What's going to happen next? Snow clears, you leave. I leave, hire a professional next time. Killer gets found, killer goes to jail. So what's your next step with the investigation? I'm sorry if I've been anything but crystal clear. I want you off this case, completely. You've caused enough trouble here. I better get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. Check. Did that. That's done. Check. Check. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that.
Did you hear? A snowstorm of gloriously epic proportions is bearing down on us. I might get to break out the snowmobile. Or we might get snowed in like last time. I need a new key card. Can you help? Well, sorta. Here, this should do the trick. Thanks. I need your help distracting Victor. I've got just the thing. What is it? Listen. That is awful! I know! Victor hate, hate, hates it! Like, mega super hates it to infinity. If I leave this thing running for more than a second, he'll be yelling at me to turn it off. Perfect. But Nancy... I also hate it, and I hate getting yelled at by Victor, so whatever you need to do, please do it quickly. Okay, I'll give you a minute, and then I'll let her rip. That's done. What's up? Is there anything I can do to convince you to give me some of your gummy bears? Yes. Victor is a candy hoarder. Liberate his sugar stash and bring it to me. You seem pretty attached to gummy bears. Attached? Please. I less than three them. They're bright and sugary, and sometimes a girl gets a little lonely surrounded by all these scientists. Plus they're fun. And you can act out these little scenes with them and then eat them. Sweet, tragic, delicious betrayal. They never see it coming, the dopes. What happens if a big storm hits? Then we're stuck. Is there any way into town? You could use the snowmobiles, but those are for emergencies only. Or things I can write off as emergencies in order to ride them. I'm sorry to ask again, but can you distract Victor for me? Dear ears and general feelings of self-worth, I am so sorry for what's about to happen to you. Your sad friend, Ryan. That might be Nico's fingerprint on that model. Got it. Can't check that off yet. What's that? Still can't check that off yet. Ryan promised to give me some if I helped her. I should wait. Yes? So, what exactly happened with you and the coil? I, um, miscalculated. Why were you in there? You saved my life? I thank you. That's it. Conversation over. You were here the other night. So what if I was? Someone attacked me. You think it's me? It wasn't, okay? 
Why do you seem so nervous? Shouldn't I be if someone's attacking people? What were you and Ellie doing spending time together? We weren't. I know for a fact you were. For a fact? Well, I know for a fact. You're wrong. Let me get back to work. No offense, I can't work when you're hovering. Is this your card? Mine has my name on it. Ellie said this card wasn't hers. That's fascinating. Tell me more facts about the card. Fine. It's the one that opened the lab the night Nico died. That can't be right. It's in the log. That was just a glitch. The video shows just one person entering the lab. Any word on the storm? It's going to be bad. I'd get out of here before we get snowed in. I know I'm going to. Goodbye. Goodbye. Just in case you were wondering, yes, Victor's yelling is starting to crush my soul a little bit. I've made a chart to illustrate my feelings on the situation. This line represents my happiness and well-being over time. You may notice the steep decline. This frowny face here is because this is the first time I've made a chart, and it turns out it's very boring. That is also why there is a dragon and a dog on the skateboard and other stuff. I better get going. Bye. If you don't stay put on your own, I'll have to find someone to babysit you. Can I have some of your candy? What? Yes. Take all you want. Then let me get to work. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? I got the candy you wanted. Then take. Take of my bears and be merry. Thanks. Ain't no thing. I'll let you go. Later. Whoa! I need to replace all of these gears before the brakes give out. Phew. Good. Did that. This is a lab. Not your personal playground. Get back to the visitor's area. The elevator nearly killed me. Sounds bad. Then maybe you should stop wandering around. I'd better get going. Mm-hmm. Check. Yeah, what? Can you explain these emails? Depends. 
Can you explain what you're doing with confidential information? I'm sorry, I didn't know it was confidential. It is, and it's staying that way. Get out! Don't you got something better to do? Is there any reason you would have entered the lab right before Nico died? No, enough! No more questions. Why won't you leave it alone? Because someone killed Nico. I want to know who. Why? What do you mean, why? No one deserves that. Whoever did it should be locked up. Or worse. What's someone with a PhD doing working in security? There's nothing wrong with what I do. Well, I didn't say there was. It just seems like you could do something more in line with your schooling. I like what I do. No one respects real work anymore. Something doesn't add up about your position here. Leave it. Nico must have known about your qualifications, but he put you in security, which means he kept you around because... Because he felt bad for me. Fine. Let my friend take care of me. Happy? If that's true, you have a strange way of paying back the favor. You were threatening him in those emails, and something tells me you were leaking his work. That's not true. Whoever your source is, they're wrong. I get the sense Nico was protecting you. Why? Couldn't read his mind then, still can't now. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. It'd be a bad idea to mix those together.
Check. Haven't done that. Can't check that off. Still have to do that. Did that. Hmm. Looks like it's powered off. This is a lab, not your personal playground. Get back to the visitor's area. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you distract Victor for me again? <sighs> you got it. Haven't done that. It's Tuesday, 26 hours of work this week. Off to a running start. Ryan's getting more aggressive with her demands. I'm reluctant to send her packing, but I will if I must. My safety is my primary concern. Which reminds me, the parts arrived today for the pigeon. 13, 6, 5, as expected. Should something happen to me, hopefully someone will figure out what that means. Last night, I hit 90% efficiency with the suboptimal setup. 
Thanks to Ryan's threats, I could not carry out the plan I had been hoping. Yet these results mean that it's time to announce. Again, I'm viewing the schematics in my head, but now I have to think differently. I have to find the points in the design where someone could take advantage of the system and bend it to his will. Tesla was lucky to live before the nuclear age took full flight. He never had to scrutinize his work. He could brag about death rays or the earthquake machines he had, and the tyrants of the world wouldn't take notice. That's no longer the case. I don't think he understood the cost of destruction. To him, it was just the mechanics of the thing. When he attached the earthquake machine to his building, he didn't want to destroy it. It was about finding the perfect pattern. The resonant frequency of the building syncing up with the steady tap of his machine until the structure's myth of stability was exposed for what it was, a hopeful lie. I always like to think that's how Wardenclyffe came down, not with a wrecking ball, but with one of his unassuming little boxes set to frequency 37. That's done. What was Nico up to with a pigeon? This must be what Nico was talking about in his diary. This must be the key to one of Nico's passwords. This must be the building Nico mentioned. I need to find the correct frequency. I need to close the box first. This must be the unedited footage! Victor! He must have killed Nico. I need to find a way to get this evidence out. 
What was that? Oh, no! Nico Security, of course. I bet all of my electronics just got fried.
Why? I need your help, big time. What? It was Victor. He killed Nico. Did you call the police? I couldn't. I had evidence, but it got zapped when I tried to take it out of Nico's secret lab. Secret lab? Zapped? What? I I'll explain later. I just need a way to get the video out without getting it ruined. You need to find a way to make a Faraday cage. That should get the drive out without wiping it. Get the drive out. I'll work on what to do next. Take this. It'll help. This box might be just what I need to build a Faraday container. This might work. Or maybe it'll backfire and electrocute you. What? Sorry, sorry. I'm just so happy we're gonna bust him. And also really scared he'll catch us and kill us all. I'm on a roller coaster right now. Ellie and I will gas up the snowmobiles and split up to double our chances of reaching help. Do not let him catch on. If he knows you're about to get the video out, he will kill you. Play it cool, Nancy. I'd better get going. Later. I don't need another board right now. Time to make a portable Faraday cage. Hope this works. This box should keep the drive safe. Don't you got something better to do? I think Victor killed Nico. You have proof? Yes, but it got zapped coming out of Nico's lab. Find a way to get it and keep it safe. I'll take care of Victor. Be fast. What's the real story between you and Nico? I was the smart one between the two of us. He was just a scrawny kid with bad acne and a lisp who begged me to help him figure out his constants. We took off together, but the higher we rose in our studies, he got stronger. He wasn't a scrawny kid anymore. And me, I woke up one day and the floor wasn't there. They said I was a burnout. It was worse than that. You wouldn't understand. Try me. The way we think about everything is completely wrong. Even time is an illusion. It's nothing. It, it doesn't exist. I'm sure it does. You think it does, but it doesn't. We aren't even here. We're a 3D holographic projection of a fixed point of high density information located far off in what we think of as deep space. That headspace, I got caught there. I couldn't function. From that day, Nico had my back, and when things got dangerous for him, I tried to watch his. Couldn't in the end. Now, can you tell me what you were hiding earlier? Were you destroying something? Knowledge this world can't have. Is that up to you to decide? 
Yes. Science isn't moral or amoral. It just is. To get to where he needed to go, Nico discovered some things that are very dangerous. Like weapons? Discoveries with potential military application. Nico couldn't censor himself, but he didn't want to be another Nobel or Oppenheimer. He made me promise if anything ever happened to him, I'd destroy everything that people would abuse. He trusted you to know the difference? And only me. If I don't finish here, Nico's work might end up doing a lot more harm than good. If it's so important, what would have happened if you had both died? There was a contingency we considered, and thankfully did not have to enact. Bye. Bye. Hi. Victor killed Nico. I have proof. I need your help. That's why he's here. It didn't make sense why he kept popping in. He knows you figured it out. We need backup. We have snowmobiles. Ryan and I will go for help. Find Gray. He'll help you with Victor until the police arrive. I'll let you go. Bye. Okay, it's transferred. All right, I just might be able to get this through the door safely. Gray, wake up! Hello, Nancy. <gasps> You're awake. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Victor, why are you doing this? Stay out of the lab. That was the one thing I asked you to do, and you couldn't. You see, Nancy, I knew Nico had something hidden in here. I just couldn't find it, which is why I asked you to stay out. You got away with murder. Why not make a break for it? 
Why the elaborate plan? Murder investigations don't just go away. Someone had to take the fall, Nancy. You were supposed to give someone a push. That friend of yours sold you short. That's why you're here. You were supposed to drum up enough evidence to get Ryan put away. But no! You had to screw that up. Then I handed you Ellie and Mason. Handed them to you on a big silver platter that said, Look how guilty these two are! You knocked me out, and then planted the key card. That should have sealed the deal, but you couldn't leave it alone. I guess I should be congratulating you for being so sharp. It really is a shame I have to kill you instead. Goodbye, Nancy Drew! The cage won't last long against the coil. I'll need to find a way to get out without getting electrocuted. I bet Ryan's electrical components will help here. This must be the schematic for the circuit. I need to get this working before it's too late. Got it. This should give me a chance to escape. What are you doing? Stop that! Dear Hannah, Victor was rushed to the hospital and then to a courthouse where he was charged with the murder of Nico Jovic. Due to his attempts to subvert justice, he's been denied bail until his trial Word is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency. But I doubt there will be much to be found. The potential buyers Victor had been courting came forward immediately. It was quickly proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. I can hardly blame them. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive containing years of his and Nico's research. Gray spent weeks chasing him down until he finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology of Tomorrow conference. After a heated public argument that sent the Technology of Tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two reached an agreement. Gray promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. A video of the argument titled Epic Dork Fight was posted online and went viral almost immediately. Within two hours, Gray was fielding calls from philanthropic backers wishing to fund their new endeavor. Mason, on the other hand, was fielding date requests from viewers who clearly have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. Allie was surprised at first to hear that Mason wanted her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. After that, she plans on doing whatever it takes to get back home. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. Finding out what had happened to his best friend changed Gray almost immediately. For the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. He took the lead on finishing Nico's work and opening the majority of the research up to the public. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. Although she had been exonerated, it wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. More than anything, Nico wanted his work to make the world a better place. I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. The fact that Nico Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. The world fondly remembers those who always give, and soon forgets those who only take. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy.
Around here, they say, it's a wicked place. Abandoned years ago by a family who could no longer take the endless nights, when the restless spirits of the past haunted the grounds of Thornton Hall. Jesselyn Thornton dared return, only to vanish without a trace. It's up to me to save her from the ghost of Thornton Hall. Hello? Anybody here? time is it? Light. Savannah? Is that you? What's wrong? I got a case for you. Can it wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but... I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. 
What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony bin reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Jessalyn? Excuse me? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but... We seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. I'd better get going. Later. You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jesse wanted us to sit here 
in this broken down old house waiting for her. Is there any chance Jesselyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare, never. Were things good between Colton and Jesselyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some, well, hun, he had some issues, but they worked through them. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind, it has nothing to do with what's going on now. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. I'd better get going. Take care. Do that right now. have all the parts I need. This looks like a painting. I should find somewhere to place it. I need to find something to remove these nails. 
time to recharge the battery. All right, let's see if all those oranges did the trick. Hello? Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it. But I couldn't tell you where it is. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then... Things got strange. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs and that was that. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Goodbye. Fine, Jess. It looks like the painting is missing. Jess's phone. All right, bonus Ned. What are you two up to? George is in New York. 
So, she got the internship with that Technology of Tomorrow place? Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. Not going to happen. Someone has to, Ned, and George already said no. It was a really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the island? I did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Why's that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few hundred miles of Black Rock Island. I can definitely see why. Even I have to admit it does have a certain abyss gaze is also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. Really? Oh, that's great. I, on the other hand, have been watching videos of otters so good at stacking things. Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. I've been so bored since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm-hmm. See? And he's also very quick to Stockholm. Nickerson family trait. We like being liked. Oh, thanks, you two. I met Jessalyn's mom. Poor her. Assuming she's innocent, what's your impression? She's reserved. Can't fault her for that, but it does make her hard to read. I've never been a mom, but I have owned my fair share of fish. And no way, no way anyone could take care of something and even think of... Nancy, it's too sad. Can't do it. I owe it to Jessalyn to distrust everyone, even her. I know. This case is like a big, fat, tall cloud of sadness that's sitting in front of me and using its cell phone when it's not supposed to. We just got back from a pretty rowdy opening night screening of the Relation Shipwreck. It was really bad. All I want is to see the screen and to not deal with jerks, to have a movie-style romance, and for no one to get hurt ever. Find her, Nancy. I'll do my best. Promise. I want to catch you up on the case. So it's a missing persons case, right? Do you think she's actually missing? I don't know. I've heard of runaway brides, but I don't think that's the case. If it's a missing persons case, why aren't the police taking care of it? Well, they are, but since she's an adult, there's only so much they can do. Ned was telling me about the ghosts out there. Do you think maybe they're related? Actually, I believe in this ghost. Ned, do I have permission to do a spit take in your living room? No. I'm doing it anyway. Say that again. Please don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand down, Bess. The Nickersons are a tidy people. I wasn't really going to do it, guys. Unless someone made me laugh. And this is that super red soda that's still on the market, even though it's been linked to distractibility in 9 out of 10 Besses. Back to you. Are you finally trading in your Skeptics Club card? And miss the dinner that probably won't happen this year? <laughs> no way. People here believe in the ghost. I think if I don't take the ghost story at least a little seriously... I might miss something. Smart. Well, I hope so. I met Jessalyn's fiancé, Colton. Where's he fall on the cute to guilty spectrum? That's not a valid spectrum. Like fun it isn't. Oh, is this because Ned is on the line? No. I'm not calling off the dogs. You're just going to have to find a way to tell me that balance is the public's need to know with Ned's presumably fragile ego. My ego is perfectly fine. Is that so? Nickerson men laugh in the face of insecurity. That's so, Neddard. A test. Nancy, describe Colton's looks using the International Ned Cuteness Unit. We talking half a Ned, two Neds? One-tenth of a Ned. That's very nice of you, Nancy, but no need to spare my feelings. Good, because an underappraisal like that means he's way better looking than you. Let's refocus. Right. Ticking clock, kidnapping, etc. How guilty does he seem? For consistency, please state your answers in Ned units. Couldn't tell you yet. He doesn't seem as worried as I'd expect, but maybe he's the type to internalize his feelings. Huh. So that's a thing you can do? The boyfriend is statistically favored when it comes to crimes like this. Try to get him talking about the relationship. I studied that in preschool. See you later. Take care.
Nancy. Did you get the package I left for you? Not yet. Ask around. It should be there by now. What have you been up to since we spoke last? I've been teaching the road to know my wheels. Are you working on the next book? I've been running away from the next book. In an empty house that was filling up with chatty ghosts. But who knows? When I'm out of gas, maybe I'll have no choice but to listen to what they have to say. If they're interesting, I'll send you a gallery to proof. If they're not, guess I'll go teach. Goodbye. Y'all be careful now. What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. I can't pour this directly on the painting. There's something back there. What is that? Are those graves? Nancy. Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. Hey. What do you think of Clara? She's... She's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then... I wouldn't know. She does seem a little tough to get to know. I think it's an act. Come right down to it, she keeps the family and the company from falling apart. She can't afford to look weak. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. <sighs> I'll never live that down. I imagine things improved from there? We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... So you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day, Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. I'd better get going. Bye. Hey! <gasps> You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well... She seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. I can handle myself just fine. You're just a kid. You could say the same thing about Jessalyn. True enough. Say what suits you. Won't make the nights around here any shorter. Anyway. Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. What do you think of Colton? 
I do not like that shifty little punk, but I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. Would you like to run the company? Good sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Hopper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. Do you know Savannah? I did, once. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carry these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, what is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I think you are. Don't be so sure. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead, especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. See you later. Bye. No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about 10, Rosalie got real sick. Every day, Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. 
She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. May they rest in peace. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Beauregard Thornton, mean old codger. Wanna hear a ghost? Check it out. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this'll never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. 
like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimbal Tucky Boys, and I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is, I like ghosts because they show me what is, not what I want to see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked, right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Goodbye. Get on out of here now. What's up? Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Ah, uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young, and she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. See you later. Later. Nancy. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact... Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse. But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Is that true? No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. No matter how he explained it to you, he broke the law. He broke into the factory, he damaged thousands of dollars of equipment, and scared the workers half to death. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though. And he knows that. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I planned on dropping the charges, but once the ball got rolling, I lost control of it. 
Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. And that was that. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. I even... Oh, it's stupid. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn to get back at me. But he'd never do something like that. I mean, I don't think. See you later. Take care. I spoke to Wade. I figured that might happen eventually. Can I explain, or are we beyond that? I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. Wade said he was expecting you. Why didn't you tell me that? I was going to come. I meant it when I told him I was coming. But then? But then I got scared. What scared you away from taking the case? To be blunt, the living Thorntons are just as scary as the dead ones. Why? They've dug so many graves on that rock that death himself is on the Christmas card list. I can't help but wonder if they're misfortunate fools or just addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of cold clay. Do you know anything about the factory accident? Nothing I can verify. It's been scratched out of the local history. When I was there, I expected to feel something when I stood near the old factory. And nothing? As many spirits as I expected, I only met one. Charlotte? That'd be the one. Dear sweet Charlotte, the terror of Black Rock Island. See you later. Good night. Hi, Nancy. I met Wade. I still say giving your child a verb for a name dooms them to a life of hearing mediocre jokes. What's he like? He's got a bit of a rough edge. He seemed surprised that I came instead of Savannah. What do you mean? He wanted Savannah here, specifically. Why? I don't know, but I intend to find out. There's something strange about Jessalyn's disappearance. What's that? There's no ransom note. That does complicate things. But I've read that most missing person cases involve the immediate family. You're right. I guess the best move is to keep the family talking. Maybe they'll let something slip. Or maybe they're trying to tell you something. How so? Remember in Kyoto, you told me that ghosts are what people invent when an injustice can't be fixed? Sounds me-ish. If that's the case here, once you figure out what the deal with the ghost is, I bet it'll point right to Jessalyn. And if the ghost is real, then case closed. A ghost did it. If that turns out to be the case, please don't tell me. I like living in a world where ghosts are probably not real. I already have to fall into bed after every scary movie for fear of ankle grabbers. I'd better get going. Call back soon.
was that? Looks like I need to figure out the password. Hi. Can you help me figure out Jessalyn's password? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. The tombstone portion of our scavenger hunt? There was something strange about it. Can you think of a reason she would hide her password there? Just in case something happened to her. I thought she said that to scare me, but maybe not. See you later. Fine, Jess. <laughs> I should use my phone to make a call.
understand. Are you okay? What? Jess, if this is a prank, it's not funny. Not funny! Jess, you're really scaring me. Say something! I said leave me alone. Now! Did that. This looks like some sort of code. Ethel's grave. It must be tied into that picture in the corner somehow. I can't leave now. Hi. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back, over and over again until they just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most would just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. I advise against it. Well, why? It's not a fun place and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. Was it anything... something that would make you a danger to someone like Jesselyn? Get this straight, girl. I never hurt no one in my life. Now go. Go on, get! Savannah said Charlotte was supposedly a ghost. Huh. <laughs> not supposedly. In my experience, ghosts tend to be not real. Then consider yourself lucky. In my experience, of which I have significantly more, reality isn't that simple. Have you ever actually seen this ghost? This ghost was my cousin Charlotte, and yes. I saw her. 
I saw her grow up. I was here the night she died, and I've seen her since, much as I wish that wasn't true. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Clara told me that she never intended for you to go to jail. Don't believe that. Why not? Because it ain't true. She used to come visit just to laugh at me through the glass. That was the price of hearing about home. Goodbye. Get on out of here now. Singing? I think it's coming from upstairs. Nancy. I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. Didn't sound good. This must be the place. Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. What's going on? Where are you taking me? Tell me, who are you? Nancy, I am here to help Jesselyn. Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you a good one. 
What? One reason to spare. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. I'm here to find Jessalyn. That's reason enough. Foolish, but come. Remove the blindfold. Just who are you? Harper, can I trust you? Can you be trusted? Of course. Then I trust you. You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. That would be at the top of my list of questions, yes. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. Why not? It is undeniably frigid here. Cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire and the fire will build some smoke and the smoke will build some rain. Are you ignoring my question? Not ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing, pausing for effect. Okay. Could you tell me now? A moment, hon. <clears throat> it's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath with delusions of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. My family resents me. They have publicly said that I am a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end, and I threw the little runts down a well. You what? Oh, I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. Ah! Help, I'm in a well! So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. I... Oh, wait, shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Here, take this. Go now. Hmm, I should look for those portraits. The letters must be what that note was referring to. All right, now to find all the others. That's it. Now I should be able to figure out what the code means. That's it. 
I get this working again? I need to put the combs on first. Fixed it. Done. That's all of the seeds. I have to find a way to balance these scales. new it might be Jessalyn's the Thornton family tree hmm might come in handy quick I haven't got all day can you tell me a little more about Clara I could, but as a lover of the written word, I prefer show, not tell. So why don't you go ask her about her daddy? What do you know about Clara? She's cold. She's a cold person, nothing like Jessalyn. Ask her about Jessalyn. See how she reacts. Not like the caring mom she's pretending to be. Not if you really look. Were you and Clara close as children? I don't want to talk about it. You don't have to go into it. Should I even have to? Look at me down here, and she's up there. I try not to hate her, but I can't help it. Can you tell me more about Charlotte? If I didn't love her so much, I would hate her beyond the great beyond. Why? Golden child, Charlotte. She was perfect in everyone's eyes, even mine. I wanted to be her when I grew up. But then one day I was older than my older sister. And older still today. Why are you here? Jessalyn, poor little Jessie Lamb has vanished, they say. Can't have that. Not here. No, no, not on the island. Are you trying to find Jessalyn? Yes. Maybe you could help me out. You want my help? I'm not a helper. Oh, if you keep my secret, then I'll help. Do you really believe in the ghost? Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She's spoken to me. What exactly did her ghost say? Boo. Huh. Now my fault she's a stickler for convention. She also says, get out. Oh, right, almost forgot. She says that she hates you and she wants you to leave. This house is pretty run down. Are you sure it's safe to use that furnace? No. Maybe you should not use it? You could be filling the house with fumes. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. I'm downstairs people. Clara came to live with you after her mom died. Is that right? Yes. Did you get along? Yeah, we was a regular Tom and Huck to start. <laughs> what do you think of Wade? The Wade man of Alcatraz. Don't trust him about a single thing in this living world. The world of the dead, he understands that. Tell me about Charlotte. She was my big sister. Do you really think she's... I know. How do you know? No, no more. When Shaw died, that was the end of my family. I was left completely alone. All I have to call home are those memories. If I share them, they won't be mine anymore. 
I'm sorry I asked. You just didn't know what you were asking. I lost my mom when I was a girl. Oh, then you must be an expert on everything. But sharing my memories of her always made her seem closer, not further away. You've seen her? What they've made her into? You think I want her closer? And people think I'm crazy. You're crazy. Check. Looks like it's missing a piece. Hello. See you later. Yes, leave. Nancy. Can you tell me anything about your father that might be relevant? Why would you ask me about my father? You know, no stone unturned, pursue all angles. I don't believe you. Fine. I never knew who my daddy was. Happy to hear me say that? I promise I didn't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Why didn't your mother ever tell you? I think one day she was going to tell me. But she didn't live to get the chance. I've heard about the ghost, but can you tell me anything about the real Charlotte? My cousin. But everyone thought we were sisters. She died here. Join the old family, as they used to say. When I was a little girl, my mama used to say, after we Thornton's passed, we keep on living right here. Every night would be a beautiful ball with songs and cute boys to dance with. She wasn't trying to scare me to death, but nonetheless, I did not sleep well on story nights. It does sound a little eerie. That was back when Thornton Hall was pretty. Now, I don't even want to entertain the thought. Did your mother say much else about the ghosts here? Too much. If she thought there was a ghost about, she'd fall to pieces being so sad. Sad? Most people are afraid of ghosts. She had this weird belief that Thornton ghosts aren't around forever. They got a short time to make their peace. If they don't, they get bitter, real mean and nasty, until they forget everything that made them human. And then they slip into the cracks of the world to live with the others. The others? The lost souls from an accident that happened here years back. Mama called them hungry shadows. Why? I don't want to know. She said they were all 
tangled together, lost and scared and mean. My mama was a good woman, but dang if she didn't scare me half to death with a regularity. There's a strange woman in the basement. What? That can't be right. I swear, Harper was there. Nancy, I've got enough to deal with. Stop playing games or I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. What's up? Do you know much about Harper? I heard she's in some psych hospital or something. But that's all I know. I saw her around once in a while when I was a kid, but I don't remember much. Did Jessalyn ever say anything about her? Just that she seemed scared of her. Maybe they had a past. But I don't know. See you later. Later. Ugh. You scared me. What can you tell me about Charlotte? Charlotte was something special. Just like our Jessalyn. She had the most beautiful voice. When she sang, it was like sunlight busting through fog. Sounds like you were close. She was the talented one of the bunch. You can still hear her sing, if you stop to listen in the quiet, dark places. Do you think that what happened to Charlotte was an accident? Dunno. The night before I saw her take off into the night holding this little package like it was precious to her. The look on her face. I should have stopped her, said, what is wrong? Here, take this. Is this Charlotte's? Yes. Do you know what this is? Can you tell me what it's for? Maybe that's enough for now. What happened to Charlotte and Harper's parents? Plane crash. Seems like there's a lot of misfortune in the family. Bad blood brings bad luck. Did Clara get along with Charlotte and Harper when she was younger? They all got along famously. Until the night of the fire. What exactly happened? Charlotte was getting ready for her big 21st birthday ball. And at the last minute went off to what is now the ruins. No one knows what started the fire. After that, what about Clara and Harper? Clara grew up pretty fast, but Harper, she got lost in that night and never got found. I'd better get going. Bye. The key fits, but I think it's broken. I need to follow the instructions from the note.
What was I supposed to think? One day you were just gone. I should listen. Lexi. And I hope you understand how much that makes me hate you right now. Who is Lexi? I better get some rest. No offense, but you sound really tired. Been burning the midnight oil at both ends? Feels like it. I must have slept through the day. <sighs> but I still feel exhausted. Maybe you should pace yourself a bit. I know. Wait, hang on. Hang on? Why? Is there a ghost? No, I see something. Uh, call you back later. could have found a way. I'd better listen. Lexi, I know you still care about me. I want to see you when this is all over. I know. All I said is I want to see you. Then why did you pick up the phone? Just see me. It sounds like he's talking to Lexi. Hey. Did you listen in on my call? Who is Lexi? What are you talking about? The girl you were on the phone with? You don't know what you heard. You understand me? I think she is someone important to you. I don't want to talk about it. Your fiancé is missing, and the way you're talking to this Lexi... You want a conversation? Fine. I love Lexi. I want to spend my life with her. You're engaged. That was based on a lie. Clara, my parents, even Jesselyn. They were all in on it. Jesselyn? Are you sure? She'd have to be. I mean, I haven't considered that she might not be yet. Before Jess and I got together, I was with Lexi. Until one day she called and said it was over. She wouldn't even see me. Then, she was gone. And now I find out. My parents pushed her away, and Clara pushed me and Jess together. Mom and Dad wanted a piece of the Thornton fortune and Clara wanted a piece of the Birchfield influence. So excuse me for being conflicted. I want Jesslyn safe, but... I still don't understand what's going on. Why are you here? To try to forget something. Forget what? I guess it must have worked. So things would really work out for you if Jesslyn just disappeared. Do you really want to ask me that? 
Sorry, I just really want to figure out where she is. Trust me, so do I. Why is Lexi so important? I've always felt a little... out of step with the world. When I met Lexi, it's like everything snapped into place. I don't know how else to put it. And it wasn't the same with Jessalyn? I do love her. But not in the way I tried to. Jess is my best friend, and always will be. If she ever comes home, and if she ever forgives me. You don't think Jesslyn's coming back, do you? What are you implying? Nothing. Just observing. You want to know the truth so bad? Yeah, I'm afraid she's never coming back. Happy? I better copy this design. Hey. Aren't you worried that your parents won't approve of Lexi? Not after all they've done. It's time for them to start worrying about my approval. Because I am done looking for theirs. Where do you go when you're not out here? Hmm. Nowhere. So, every once in a while you pop out of existence? I walk around, looking for Jesslyn. I'd better get going. Later. This looks like the picture from the camera. Nancy, what's happening? It looks like Clara never knew who her father was. How sad. Do you think you can figure out who it was? I don't think that's the important part. Right. That was just a test question to see if you were still a smart detective. For a further test, please explain why. She never really got to know her place in the family. I don't know exactly how, but that's a piece of this. It's a case of follow the money. Someone wants what Clara has, or Clara's worried she's going to lose it. I heard Colton talking to a girl named Lexi. Who do you think it is? I don't know the details, but they were romantically involved. Whoa, as in possible motive for Colton? No clue. Harper keeps avoiding Clara and Wade. Oh, she is definitely up to something. Keep an eye on her. I met Harper. What's she like? She might be completely crazy. Either that or she wants me to think that's the case. So, who is she? She's a Thornton, all right, but that's pretty much all I know. She seems to be hiding from everyone. Hiding? For the moment. You met a weirdo who has an obvious affinity for ghost kidnappings. During the course of your investigation of a ghost kidnapping? And you didn't tell anyone? Ned, say something to uncrazy your girlfriend. Don't be that way? Not compelling, Ned. Should I say it like you would? If that's what it takes. Nancy, your newfound buddyship with that baddie basement dweller is freaking me out. I have trained you well. Now go, Nancy. Tattle like the wind. All right. I think you may have a point. I found out the story about Lexi. Yeah? It's messy, but the upshot is Colton and Jesslyn may have been pressured into getting married. By their parents? Yep. And it looks like someone paid Lexi to get out of the picture. What? That is crazy times. Why? Colton says the Thorntons want his family's political connections, and his family needs the Thorntons' money. It sounds old-fashioned, but these are some old-fashioned families. That is so old school. I mean, arranged marriage? That's like one-room schoolhouse uphill both ways in the snow, and the teacher's like a horse or something, and everyone's wearing buckle hats, and they're learning about corn. <gasps> Give me a sec. Went too long without breathing. Wait, that could explain what happened. Maybe Jessalyn ran away. You know, I don't think so. 
It sounds like she was sort of resigned to the idea. She and Colton were lifelong friends. The impression I get of Jesslyn is that she wouldn't just run away, not for something silly like a wedding. I just saw a ghost. So what are we talking? Puppet? Mirror tricks? No. Listen, don't tell anyone else this. Is this going to be a ghost blind item? A well-known spirit was spotted at a popular haunt canoodling with a certain ghost about town known for his habit of appearing in mirrors. Can you channel Sirius Bess for a moment? Okay. Homework, my dad talking about taxes, that picture of a puppy who got lost. Old paintings of European royalty. I'm there. Thanks. Since I've gotten here, things have been getting stranger and stranger. I can't shake this feeling. It's like an odd weight. I'm not saying the ghosts are real here. I'm just saying... I don't know what I'm saying. That doesn't sound like the Nancy I know. I know. I just need to clear my head. There is always a scientific explanation. Ned, you gotta tell her to come home. Still gotta work on that whisper, Bess. Nancy, you're really scaring me. Come home. I will, just as soon as I can. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Yeah? You've done a lot of research on the Thornton family, right? What have you found? Like a lot of powerful families around here, they were forged in the Civil War. Like every war, it was a brutal thing that made a lot of men dead and a couple of men rich. Or women, in this case. The family matriarch, the Grey Lady. They say she was a spy for the North. Is that true? Could be. She kept records like a spy for show. Which is to say she didn't. One thing's known. She fed the North troop positions that turned the tide of more than one battle. She was compensated quite well for it. The island itself was a gift. She was either a traitor or a spy. That's why the Northerners got to calling her Grey Lady. If you ask me, she started a nasty thought and tradition. Success at the cost of innocent blood. Anyone who tries to wrap things in that family gets ostracized or worse. What happened to your old assistant, Logan? He fired me. Doesn't it usually work the other way? You'd think so. He got fed up with me. Why? He gave me an ultimatum. Write the draft or he'd found someone else to work for. I do not do ultimatums. Tell me what happened when you met Charlotte. I'll tell you, hon. But you got to remember that you are not like me. What do you mean? I have opened the door to the spirit world. And you have not. And don't you dare do it, ever. You hear? Yeah, I can agree to that. I mean it. The dead are just like lost children. If you're out there leaving a trail of breadcrumbs, they will find you. Enough of the PSA. I snuck out there to the ruins on the anniversary of her death. I waited in silence for a long time. Nothing. You didn't say the rhyme? Oh, that. Oh, it's cute, but I wasn't looking for my daddy's brain-dead bloodhound. They come when they come, and in the dead of night, she came. Stood right beside me. Just me and her, eye to eye, for a hot minute. Finally, she reached for my wrist. She pulled me through a fog that became smoke and then fire. She pulled me back to the night she died. Could you see what happened that night? I couldn't see a thing. I, I could only feel the heat. I could feel how sad she was and how angry. I'm sorry, hon. Talking about it don't come easy. I'm just trying to fit the pieces together. What does Charlotte have to do with Jesslyn? All families got one thing in common. Every generation, just like the last. There's some rebels and some oddballs that break the mold. But for the most part, one generation gonna follow into the footsteps of the next. From what I gathered, Jesslyn seems to be cut from the same cloth as Charlotte. You ask me? If someone saw Charlotte as a threat, then Jesslyn's been born behind enemy lines. You know I don't believe in ghosts, but something isn't right here. Well, explain it. I'm seeing and hearing things. I can't explain it. And I feel, we all feel... A white. Exactly. It's common with hauntings. Now, some say that haunted places... Oh, shoot. I gotta rush, that's the other line.
The numbers along the edges should help me arrange the tiles correctly. Isn't just my imagination. There's something down there. Hmm. Got it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you with the movie. I know, but just give me a minute. Seeing that just... Well, it, it made my head hurt worse. I keep seeing it when I close my eyes. Yes, hon. Can you tell me a little about Harper? It seems like you two really didn't get along. She blamed me for what happened to Charlotte. Blamed you? On some level? She was convinced it was me. I let it go at first. She was just torn to shreds about the whole thing. But the more time went by, the more disturbed she got. She was obsessed with the idea that I had stolen part of Charlotte's locket. What kind of locket? I never figured out what she was talking about. One night, she followed me out onto the widow's walk. When I got near the railing, she pushed. And I fell. By the time I got out of the hospital, she was gone. I can't say I wasn't relieved. Colton thinks he was forced into the relationship with Jessalyn. Forced? Please. Jessie's a gem. Any man be lucky to get the time of day from her. Don't tell a soul about this, but Colton, he's got problems. Nothing big, so don't go jumping to conclusions. But his parents told me right away he's always struggled a little. He's a smart boy, but these fits of paranoia take hold of him now and again. Did that ever worry you, considering he was dating your daughter? A mother always worries. I'm not saying Colton is crazy. I'm saying give him some space. He's had his troubles. I saw Charlotte. Pretty scary, isn't it? Yeah, you could say that. Still, there must be some sort of explanation. You might be right. Just... Just... What? I don't know. This old house is playing tricks on my head. Goodbye. Bye. Don't think I'm going to be able to fix that.
What? What happened? If I can stack enough things together, maybe I could climb up to that wallpaper. about that star sketch. I should copy the image down. Whoa, that was close. Uh, you scared me. I saw the ghost. You did? You don't look near as bad as most who see her. That's nice to know, but she terrified me. She terrifies everybody. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't need belief. Why not? I have proof. E.V.P. Here are some creepy things from time to time. Check it out whenever you want. If you got the nerve. What made you call Savannah? Jessalyn didn't run away. And she wasn't kidnapped. Savannah seemed to think you'd be disappointed she didn't come here. Any reason why? Savannah's talking to you about me? Yeah, she's helping me with a case. Don't suppose you could give me your number? Sure, it's 404-555-4478. Just so you know, she's gonna be mad at you for giving me this number. She'll get over it. Why? What are you going to do? Do? Nothing. Back long time ago, we, um... She and I were something of a couple. Long time ago. Been a long time since we talked. I'd better get going. Later. You... You said I could trust you. You said! I still don't understand why you're hiding. You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't! I trust you. You do? Then don't tell anyone where I am. But just so you know, you shouldn't trust me either. I don't have your best interests at heart. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? No. Then shh. Use your inside of a crypt voice. That's your name, isn't it? Yep, that would be me. Well, you don't get less subtle than that now, do you? Nope. Who did this? Let's hope it's one of the living. important.
If I can match the colors on the sides of each piece, I should be able to get this back in order. Beauregard. Hmm. The missing piece. Now this key should work.
A locket. I should hold on to this. Those colors along the bottom must be why Beauregard's tombstone is important. Hmm. Ha! Huh. Clara mentioned you had some paranoia issues in the past. Is that true? Happiness has never come easy to me. I've had to fight for it. That involved seeing a psychiatrist for a bit when I was a kid. Clara knows why I went, but still won't let it go. Did you ever meet Charlotte? Yeah, I did. The girl, not the ghost. Can you tell me anything about her? Everyone loved her and everyone wanted her attention. But she still made time for me. She was a rare person. She just loved the world, loved her family, living or dead. Or dead? Jess told me Charlotte used to spend time in the crypt because she couldn't stand the idea of anyone ever being forgotten. I'd better get going. Later. I do not care if she's an adult. She's my daughter. I should listen. She's not a runaway. She'd never do that to us. No, no, no. It's not cold feet. It's not running away. Someone took her. She is in danger out there. Do something. She sounds pretty upset. <laughs> Clara? I saw Charlotte, and she looked mad. Are you sure it was Charlotte and not someone dressed up like her? She walked right through the wall, and she told me something only I could possibly know. What? I said, it's something only I could possibly know. Not to be rude, but you don't look so great right now. Headache. I think it's the stress. Since I got here, I have been feeling really strange. See you later. See you later, hon. This looks like the one in the ruins. I bet the numbers from the coffin will work.
looks like something is missing. I bet I can trace a path from the top left corner to the top right corner. Oh, look, it's little old you. Where's the cavalry? Why are you still hiding? What's to stop me from telling everyone where you are? Maybe I'm the only one who can help find Jessalyn. Did you ever think of that? All right, I won't tell. Clara said you had a troubled childhood. Is that true? Troubled? No, I was an angel. And I must have been quite the genius charmer, too, because one day they shipped me off. Straight to the most elite private boarding school on the East Coast. 
At least that's what I believed was happening. Until we were creeping up the long and whirly black driveway, and I caught my first glimpse of the bars on the windows. I became the first Thornton to be admitted to the Millicent P. Krauthammer Sanitarium for criminally insane girls and women of good social standing. I'm one of the few girls to actually graduate from that program. I got a little diploma that says Harper's no longer a danger to herself or others and everything. And just yesterday, the Alumni Association sent me one of them dried macaroni pictures inviting me to speak at a function. But as you can see, I am otherwise engaged. Where do you live when you're not here? Wouldn't you like to know? And wouldn't I like to know? <laughs> I really upset Clara, thanks to you. Did she cry? And if she did, was it one stoic little tear like she was going for one of the movie awards? Or was it a big, snuffly, ugly cry? Oh, she's an ugly cry. I hate to bring that to the table, but it is the truth. You made me upset a woman whose daughter is missing. Oh, she's a big girl now. The truth shouldn't upset her. Don't look at me like that. I'm bored down here, and she's done worse to me. You're dressing up as Charlotte or doing something to fake these hauntings, aren't you? <laughs> the hits keep coming. You're a doll, a real peach. Ew! Oh, you're not kidding, are you? Am I dressing up as my dead sister for kicks? After the only family member everyone can agree on has gone missing? Is that what you're asking? Yes, that's the question. The implication was more or less added by you. No, I am not, so shut it! Can't stay away. Are you the one writing the notes I keep finding? What answer do you want me to say? Are you looking for a yes or a no? Or the, ah, the in-between one? Just the truth. Oh, now that I can't help you with. I don't function well in reality. Do you know why seeing an old film of Charlotte's birthday would upset Clara that much? Did it upset her? Quite a bit. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have seen it. Reenact it for me now. You be Clara. Show me what happened. I really don't want to do that. Spoil sport. What was even the point then? Did you leave that out for me to find? No. 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 Maybe. Why? Because I want her to be sad every single day of her miserable little life. And I had a hunch it would be funny. Was I right? No. Yeah, I was. <laughs> you just don't want to say it. Enough. You have to tell me what you're doing. You don't tell me enough. It doesn't work that way. When it's time to find out, you'll find out, I promise you. Promise. I'd better get going. Goodbye! This looks like one of the pictures from Jessalyn's camera. There must be something hidden here. I should arrange these to match the date from Ethel's tombstone. Better get some sleep. Still no luck with the search party? No, and the numbers are starting to fall off. Don't worry. It's hard not to. You have to get more sleep. I know. I've been feeling a little groggy since I've been here. We're here for you. Thanks. I'd better go. I'll talk to you two later.
This should come in handy. Someone went through a lot of trouble to hide this. It must be important. Hi. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. See you later. Later. What's up? See you later. Bye. Nancy. Is it true Harper was committed? What? No. She went to a boarding school. It was compulsory, but it wasn't an asylum. Although she was very theatrical about the whole affair. Where did you hear that? From Harper. If Harper is actually here, stay away from her. See you later. Bye. This must be the plaque Charlotte mentioned in her notes. Did that. That's done. Did that. Haven't done that.
Hmm. Sounds like someone's out there. I should take a look. Charlotte, darling, you're gonna have to help me out here. What? What's he up to? to figure out what's up with these clocks. Well, then you didn't pay her enough. Don't make me the bad guy here. We agreed on this. You said she was no good for him. You said that, not me. Then take care of it. He's not my son yet. And if you don't take care of this, he never will be. And you know what that means. Yes? I couldn't help but overhear what you were talking about. Oh, you couldn't? I find eavesdropping to be rather rude. Forget what you heard and consider the subject closed. That was about Colton, right? You don't have the context and aren't invited into this conversation. Leave me be. What's up? Does Clara fight with your parents often? That's an odd question. I may have overheard a spirited disagreement. Really? What did she say? She said, 
I'll pay her if it will shut her up. Who could she be talking about? And you're sure this was about me? Who else? What do your parents do? They've been in politics as long as I can remember. Although, who knows how long they'll keep running. Why? Money is different these days. We used to be, well, not Thornton rich, but pretty good. The last campaign cost a lifetime's work. Unless we find some new funds, we're going to have a tough time after this term. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jessalyn? Yes? You're safe. I don't... know who you are. Nancy, Wade hired me to help find you. Really? Wade? Yeah, he seemed really worried. Oh, man. My family's just a hot mess. What is wrong with us? Nancy, you can't tell anyone you've seen me. No one. So you did run away. No, I, I can't say what happened. And you can't either. I can't agree to that. I came here to find you. Good for you, but I came down here not to be found. Let me help you. Fine. You haven't left me much of a choice. You were hiding out in the tunnels because you and Harper are working together? Why? I didn't come here intending anything more than a good scare. Harper found out I was coming and snuck up on me. She almost died. I had to give her a paper bag for the breathing to calm her down. <laughs> you shouldn't be proud of that. Oh, grow up. You didn't die. I'd been told my whole life that Harper was crazy. What a coincidence. Me too. <laughs> Ignore her for a second. Come here. Secrets don't make friends. Look, she's not as nuts as she seems. That, as they say, is debatable, my dear lamb. Stop it. She needs to know. Leave if you don't want to listen, but it needs to be said. I'm sorry, Jessalyn. I'll go. The night of the fire, Harper was there. My whole life, my mother's kept me away from Harper. Said it was for my own good. I came here looking for Charlotte's ghost, but instead Harper found me. She told me that my mother was responsible for Charlotte's death, and I stayed to listen. I didn't laugh. I didn't run away. I stayed and listened to every word because my mother, because she's so cold, and I believe that it might be true. I don't know if I'm going crazy or if I'm already there, but I have to know, please. I need your help. What can I do to help? We've been doing this Harper's way, but we're running out of time. I need you to get the necklace from my mother's briefcase. I'll get Harper to distract her. Why? What's so special about it? Charlotte told Harper to open the locket if anything ever happened to her. But if we don't open it the right way, it'll destroy what's inside. Here, this will help you open the briefcase. My mother knows about the locket. That's why she never lets the necklace out of her sight. You need to find a way to get it. Do you know that Colton is here? I don't have time for that right now. Please go find the necklace and bring it to me. Sorry to bring it up, but were you aware that Colton's seeing someone else? I'm not all that surprised, to be perfectly honest. You're not? No. The whole thing was mainly my mother's idea. Do you think seeing the fire is what made Harper... Harper? Imagine carrying a secret that big for so long, not having anyone listen. What made you trust Harper? I wished I could explain. I've been asking myself the same thing. 
My mother had us convinced that Harper was dangerous. I think my mother's been putting this whole family under her thumb, me included, to keep us from finding whatever it was Charlotte was about to do. Do you know about Lexi? Colton and I were never in love. We were in a mess. He loved Lexi, and I hope he goes back to her. See you later. Please hurry. What do you want from me? The coast is clear. Time to snoop. Locked. I need to figure out the right combination. Got it! This must be what Jessalyn was looking for. I found the necklace. Good. Wait, shoot. It's missing a front piece. I need you to find it as fast as you can. It triggers the opening mechanism. This necklace was used by spies in the Civil War. If you open it without the missing piece, it shreds the message inside. I found the locket. Here. I can't open it. I'm going to need your help. This looks like it matches one of the notes I found. That's it. Here you go. What's it say? I can't. I'm gonna go see her myself. Whoa. If Jessalyn confronts Clara, things could get dangerous fast.
I think it's time I tell you about that thing I forgot. The night of the fire. I was there. I found Charlotte leaving the crypt. She was really upset. I must have said something to her because she came over to me. I could tell she wanted to say something. But it was like someone took her voice. She gave me this big hug and ran off. And she gave me this. I think she wants me to give this to you. I wish I had known what to do that night. I wish I could have saved her. You were just a kid. Yeah, and I acted like a kid and ran away. And I hid. I closed my eyes and wished with all my might that someone would make everything all right again. I never told anyone this, but I think I saw someone else there. The fire wasn't an accident. And now, I'm afraid whoever did it took Jess. I'd better get going. Bye. Hmm. I need to find a way to light the tunnel first. If I can get this working, it should light up the tunnel. The motor won't work unless I find a way to move that ball bearing down into the shaft.
Hmm. Found something. Cool. A hidden safe. I bet there's a sequence to push these in.
If this is what Clara was trying to keep hidden, I think she's the one who started the fire that night. <coughs> fire? Oh, I'd better get out of here. Nancy, help! What's the matter? It's Harper. She's in bad shape. I can't carry her. I bet we could build something to get her out. I could use this to build a makeshift wheelbarrow. My mother's upstairs. She's in the bedroom. It's too dangerous to ask you to help. You decide. I don't care if it's dangerous. I will get her out. Haven't I suffered enough for you? Why would you leave me alone? I need you to calm down and come with me. It's too late for us. She'll never let us leave. It looks like it's up to me to get us out of here. The time's been reset. Okay, I did this once. I can do it again. I'm sorry for what happened. Hmm. I sat at your grave every night for a year. And I said, I'm sorry. I didn't want you to die. You had so much, so much, and I had nothing! And now you want my life. You want me to rot in some prison. Well, I can't keep running from you, Charlotte. Just let me stay here. I deserve it. You deserve the chance to pay for your mistakes. Now, come on! able to pull Clara out of the fire just in time. We rushed out the front door before the stairs collapsed. Imagine my relief when I saw that Jessalyn and Harper had made it out safely as well. Clara finally told Jessalyn the truth, and about how sure she was that she'd be pushed out of the family entirely when she discovered Charlotte had changed her will. How jealous and powerless she felt the night she lit the match, and how badly she wanted to scare Charlotte how quickly the fire got out of control, and how heartbroken she was at Charlotte's death. She would have given anything to take that night back. Jesslyn later said that was the first time she saw the real Clara, who wasn't a cold-blooded killer, just a woman so dedicated to hiding from her past, she lost herself. The fire department traced the source of the blaze back to the faulty furnace in the basement and insisted we all visit the hospital for exposure to toxic fumes. The doctor I saw explained that carbon monoxide from Harper's furnace may be the cause of some of the unexplained things I saw around the house. Apparently, many of the ghosts in Victorian-era fiction may have been inspired by the effects of exposure to carbon monoxide from faulty heaters. In the weeks that passed, Jessalyn began to take control of the family company. She's offered way to position on the board, 
and tasked him with keeping an eye on the day-to-day -day operations of the company's labor force. I imagine he'll take her up on the offer once he's back from a trip to visit a certain former ghost hunter. Savannah called to tell me she's invited Wade to come out for a visit. I was a bit annoyed when I found out what Savannah hadn't told me about this case, but I have to admit I'm really hoping things work out for those two. Colton and Jessalyn seem like they're on the road to patching up their friendship. They both seemed mutually relieved to dissolve the engagement. Colton has a lot to iron out with his parents and his relationship with Lexi, but he seems determined to do things on his own terms. Harper disappeared shortly after the fire. After an exhaustive search, Wade and Jessalyn tracked Harper down and convinced her to rejoin the family. Years of Clara's manipulation left her a bit suspicious of the offer at first, but she finally agreed, provided she could completely raise Thornton Hall, and in its place build a public park dedicated to the memory of the lives lost on Black Rock Island. Jessalyn loved the idea and considered it the first meaningful step toward building a company and a family that would have made Charlotte proud. If you ever find yourself visiting Black Rock Island, the creepiest thing you're likely to encounter is Harper enjoying a good book next to the tombstone that bears her name. And maybe those trees, but it's not their fault they look like that. As for me, I'm looking forward to good old non-haunted river heights. Can't wait to see you. Love, Nancy. What time is it? Huh?
dare to play. Mom? Drew Residence, Kate speaking. You know this line isn't secure. Moira, stop. I'll call you. where mom was in the picture. Okay, now what? Hey, my suitcase! I'm on it. That guy's a thief! I really, really thought I was going to get that guy. Sorry. <sighs> Thanks for trying. I'm Alec. Nancy. That's a nice offer, but why would you want to do that? It doesn't look like you work here. I'm in the business of finding people who don't want to be found. Well, I won't turn down help. So you're a private eye? I'm more of a skip tracer. When someone goes off the grid, I get a call and track them down. They skip, I trace. I had some very important things that belonged to my mom in that suitcase. I really need them back. Go check into your hotel. I will find your suitcase. Nancy, glad you made it. I'm your cathedral contact, Ewan. There is a case file in your room. Read it, memorize it. That's your playbook. It'll keep you alive. I've got a bit of housekeeping to do. Get settled. I'll call you when I'm ready.
check. The American girl. Do I know you? You do now. I'm Bridget. I'll be outside. There's something very important I need to tell you. You had something important to tell me? Just that I love Americans. Some people say you're ignorant, entitled slobs, but not me. I don't know if that was important. Of course it is. You've got the best cities, the best bands, Hollywood. Your star may be fading, but you're still the cool kids at the global lunch table. Teach me your ways. I'm sorry, but I'm sort of in the middle of something pretty important. I'm a little overbooked. You say that now, but I can tell we're going to be friends or enemies. Either way, get used to this face right here. Can you tell me a little bit about Scotland? Just a bit then. Well, it's old, it's cold, and I like it all the same. I got a book about it. I could get it for you. It's only up in my room. It might be good to read up on the attack. Want to make some money? Then make some cookies. The cookie order shows up down there. Make it exactly as shown if you want to get paid. The more cookies you make, the wealthier you get. Masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Not quite right. How is there such a thing as a wrong cookie? Why did you come alone? Don't you have family, friends? Surely you have a boyfriend. I do. Then why do you travel so lonely? This isn't exactly a vacation. I need you to find someone for me. I am to please. A reporter named Moira Chisholm. Word is no one knows how to find her. That seems right in your wheelhouse. If I knew what the wheelhouse is, I'd agree. I think it's in a boat. Well, that seems useless. Or it's a baseball thing? Double useless. But yes, I'm on it. Nancy, you have attracted our attention. Consider this your first test. You will find an envelope in Locker 49. Take it to the Ten Raven Pub in Diffnet. 
If you do, you will be rewarded. Here's a hint. Harrier checking in. Challenge code for agent CMYK0110. The colony operation has been terminated. Wouldn't you like to know more? Was that mom? I'm going to pretend this is for a wedding. <laughs> what else could it be for? You've passed. You deserve praise and a reward. Listen. I'm doing everything I can to stay under the radar. I'll call in when I can, but you won't be able to reach me. Revenant has pulled out, but remaining operatives are still following me. Pay attention to where I'm calling from. There's a pattern. Figure it out and find me. I've left a trail. Card is for Cathedral. The rest is for back home. Figure it out. Why do they keep sending me these old recordings of Mom? I think I found your friend. Great! Where? Fair warning, she's a hitter. She hit me. Did you provoke her? Just a little. Why is she so important? She wrote an article I thought was pretty interesting. About hitting strangers, no doubt. She's out in Bearston. You can take the train out there. I need to know, are you really who you say you are? Why? That means no. It does. But I'm a friend. And I did save your life back there. Doesn't that buy me a bit of goodwill? Uh, agreeing to find my suitcase was nice. I'd hardly call that saving my life. I was perfectly happy in my routine. Taking jobs, making money, crumpets. Everything that could be good was good. Then I met you. Went out of my way to keep you present tense. And yet the sass. You want to know about me? Tell me about you. Until you're ready to do that. Leave me alone. I'm not leaving until you tell me what's going on. Great. I enjoy your company. Nothing until you tell me what's going on. All right. I'll tell you about myself if I can get some answers in return. Thank you. Why are you here? I want to learn more about my mother. All right. What do you really do for a living? Exactly what I told you. What do you want to know about your mother? She left home one day. I don't know why. My dad begged her not to go, and she didn't listen. She died here. I don't think it was an accident. Why not? No, my turn. Is someone paying you to keep an eye on me? That's enough. That was fun. Tell me something good. Why are you still hanging out here? I'm a big fan of announcements. And I gotta love a shrill beep now and again. Wait for it. Huh? Who doesn't? I need to kick off at a second sometimes, and I get sick of rushing over. Then, it grew on me. I like watching travelers. Trying to imagine the worlds they carry with them in their heads. And I got a thing for the crumpets here. I think I could have been a great professor of psychology, but I never could sit in a chair, now could I? Have you heard of Revenant? Like the fancy word for ghost, yeah. Right. 
No, it weren't a ghost. It was proper, like he was kitted out in one of them toxes and snacking on a canopy. Revenant is supposedly a terrorist group. You've never heard of them? Nope. So hardly terrifying. They're more of an obscurist group. Nothing. You've heard nothing about this group. No. And neither have you. I got that book you wanted. Here you go. Thanks. How could you tell I'm an American? I've got a sixth sense about these things. I saw a guy on the train. I just walked up to him and said, You're from Belgium, aren't you? He wasn't, but he should have been. He just had that look. Can I follow you around for a whole lot? You seem really nice. The nicest? Ask me, Gran. But I can't really have anyone following me. Please, don't take it personally. No, I, I understand. Do you work or go to school or what do you do? You think I'm from Glasgow! Is that okay? No! It's glorious! I'm actually from Witten. It's always been a dream of mine to live in the city. And I'm sort of checking it out to see if it's for me. How long are you going to be in Glasgow? Not long. You? I have no idea. I'll let you go. Goodbye! Got it! All right! Not bad, if I do say so myself. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Got it! Masterpiece. Looks like it's out of things to bend. hit you again are you looking for a smack moira i really need to talk to you it's important if you want to talk come back with some food oh that accent are you an american yes you don't know anything about scottish food i'll give you simple names get me the oatmeal parfait turnips and potatoes haddock and a bit of fudge if you would Scotland? How did you know? Never mind how I know. That's not the point. You're deflecting. Guilty. You don't have my permission to be in Scotland. Come home right now. Your permission? I think I'm a little too old for that. What you're too old for is running headfirst into a dangerous situation and leaving the rest of us to clean up after you. What is with you right now? Calm down. Nancy, you don't get it. I'm not angry at you. <laughs> Could have fooled me. I'm scared. Please, just come home. Why are you being so difficult? Nancy, if I help you, I'm pushing you right to whoever has lured you there. I can handle myself. Your mother said the same thing. Who is Moira Chisholm? Stay away from her. My source at Cathedral wants me to find her. Cathedral? I don't know what to tell you then. 
Can I have Mom's notes? No. It might be helpful. I bet it would be extremely helpful, but no, you really can't. They're gone. Gone? Where? I shredded them. You what? Remember when you picked the lock on that filing cabinet? Which one? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. To my knowledge, it was just the one. I mean, which one? The only one ever? That one? I knew you were looking for her notes, so I shredded everything. So, it's all lost? It's all lost. Oh, how could you do that? I thought it might prevent you from doing what you're doing right now. See you around. What's going on? Your dad wanted me to book a flight to Scotland. Yeah, I knew that might happen. I did not. What's going on? Your dad seemed really upset. He is. He thinks I'm in danger. And he's just now noticing this? Yeah, he seems to think that it's different this time. He might be right. Well, tell me. What's happening? I had my bag stolen at the train station. Oh no. Did you lose anything valuable? This poem I had. It was my mom's. She wrote it? No, it was her favorite poem, Jabberwocky. That poem is confusing. <laughs> All the good ones are. I prefer haiku. Easier to understand. I see what you did. Well, at least you can replace it. No, that's the thing. I can't. My mom had marked it up in this strange way. What do you mean? She color-coded it in the book. I always thought it was a code, but my dad was really weird about all of her things. So, I was only ever able to make a copy. The original is still there? I think so. See you around. Thanks, bye. What do you do? Huh. How what? I don't really know. I guess I'm something of a detective. Freelance. That's the coolest! Do you have a gun? No, I don't. A badge? Nope. A trilby? Sorry. Hmm. You should at least have a proper trench in Trilby if you're going to be in the detective game. How did you end up becoming a detective? I guess I just have trouble leaving questions unanswered. Unless you're talking to me. Touché. Thank you very much. I'll let you go. See you later. Now to get everything Moira asked for. Great, that's one of the things on her list. Now to get the rest. That's everything. Now to Bear's Den to deliver this to Moira. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Not bad, if I do say so myself. I got what you wanted. Now please, I need to talk to you about my mother. Her name was Kate Drew. Nancy, I had no idea. I would never have... Please, come in. What you doing here? Just visiting. Your mother would shrug a bit whenever she was lying. Now I see it's genetic. You knew my mother? Kate Drew? Quite well. We wrote for the same newspaper. I knew you too. What? There's a photo. Go on, take a look. That's me? Indeed it is. Believe it or not, I was once your favorite person in the world. Well, mainly because I snuck you sweets when Kate and Carson weren't looking. 
I'm so sorry. I just don't remember. I guess I didn't really expect you to. You were quite small the last time I saw you. See that tea set? Uh-huh. Yeah. You'll notice the lack of teacups. That's because you broke every single cup. Sorry I was an accidental terror. <laughs> accidental. Please, get back here. Nothing accidental about it. You'd make eye contact, grin that vicious little grin you had, and smash! Then you'd laugh like it was the funniest thing in the whole world. Oh, I must have been a nightmare. Yeah, you were. Sorry? You have no idea how good it is to see you. Who is that? Was anyone following you? Not that I know of. Hide. Now. What's going on? Now! Stay put and don't make a sound. No matter what you hear. What's... Shh! There's a safe behind the breaker. Look under the teapot. Follow what you find to the safe house. Safe house? What's going on? If it's starting again, no one can know you're here. Oh, gentlemen. You must be here to abduct me. Oh, come. Is that really necessary? <laughs> This must be the number Moira referenced for the fuses. I need to flip the fuses to equal the number from the teapot. This must be for the safe house in Loch Lamont. I wonder what I'll need to open up this box. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Hey, kid. Have you been sending me messages? No. And the way you say that makes me think these aren't your standard messages. You could say that. If anyone is threatening you, I need to know right now. Why? Because. Common courtesy. I don't find that particularly reassuring since I'm not sure who is after me. Right. I've been meaning to ask you about that. 
Right now, you and I have about the same amount of information. And unless you actually know something... Eh? Yeah. I'll let you go. Goodbye. idea how selfish you're being right now? Nancy, is everything okay? Bess, something's going on. It's bad. Sneak down and listen. Okay. No, you're not doing this. Keep it down. You made me a promise. This is more important. What do you want me to tell Nancy? Huh? That, that her mom doesn't care enough about her to stay? Just leave then. Run off to Scotland. Oh, grow up, Carson. I'm stuck here. What do you mean? My passport has been revoked. What? By whom? I don't know. I'm working on it. But I'm not surprised. The world your mom moved in. Yeah, when were you going to tell me about that? I can't fix this for you. I'm not asking you to fix things for me. I'm not helping you. Dad. Before Mom left, why were you two fighting? No, Nancy, if you're not going to listen to reason, you're on your own. Look, I know you're mad at me. Mad at you? You're not even in the right ballpark. But I'm not being stubborn. I can't encourage you. I can only ask you to please, please stop. Why were you and Mom fighting? She wanted to go to Scotland. I knew it was going to be dangerous. Why did she want to go? That was classified. I, I don't know. But you knew it was dangerous. I knew. Your mom was like you. She put the needs of others in front of her own. I knew Glasgow needed too much. I knew she'd give too much. You say she cared so much. Why did she leave? I'm not a kid. It's time to tell me. Nancy, drop it. No, I won't. This is why you won't tell me anything. You've always told me how she had this big heart. But what about me? Is that what you think? Should it be? She left for you. For me too. Because she would have walked through fire if it meant that the world you grew up in was even slightly better. I think she thought she had to. Maybe she did have to. I knew when I married your mother that nothing would ever be simple again. I'm sorry that you didn't get to choose like I did. But that's family for you. See you around. Bye. Hi, Nancy. Moira was kidnapped. Whoa, by who? I have no idea. Be careful out there, okay? Moira directed me to go to a cabin. It's a safe house, I guess. Did you go? No. And another month is shaved away from the Ned life expectancy. Go already. Please. Okay, okay. I got a message to come find out what really happened to my mom. I thought your mom was in a bad accident when she was visiting a friend. Well, that's what I thought too, but... But what? But something weird happened before she left. My mom and dad got into this fight. It was like nothing I'd seen before, but I didn't know what to do about it. You were just a kid, Nancy. I wasn't just a kid, I was her daughter, and I should have done whatever it took to get her to stay. Nancy, maybe your dad is right. Maybe this is too dangerous. It might be best to just come home. Ned, there's a reason I called you and not someone else. It's not the charm? <laughs> it's never the charm. That's the backhand. Standing by for the compliment. Sorry, that's not how I meant to put it, Ned. I know you can make the promise I need you to make. Promise to help me, even if that means pushing me towards something dangerous. Do you understand what I mean? I do. Good. Oh, thank you. From here on out, no holding anything back. No protecting me from myself. I could agree to that. I knew you could, and I'm sorry to ask that of you. All I ask is you do whatever it takes to make it home in one piece. Have I ever missed a date? Yes, all of the time. 
have I ever missed anything that was really important to you? No. Then it's a deal. I don't know who else to ask. I'm getting calls from an anonymous caller. It might be Revenant. What are they saying? They want me to help them. Don't. Ned, don't forget what you promised. Okay, okay, okay. Help them do what? Little things. I think they're trying to figure me out. So you don't think they're asking you to do anything that would hurt anyone? If they do, obviously I'll stop. But they're promising me information about my mom, about what she was doing up until the point of the accident. Do you really want to know about that? Yes, I really do. Then I guess I don't know what to tell you. If you're not doing anything bad and you need to know... I do. Then I guess you could be the judge of what's best. But maybe you don't need to know. That's not how I work. I know. But maybe everything you need to know about your mom, maybe you already know all of that. I'm cooperating with the calls from Revenant. So you can learn more about what happened to your mom, right? Yeah. Do you think that's a smart thing to do? I don't know. Me either. I'll let you go. Bye. It's locked. Moira's notes mention something about tuning in. I should figure out what station she meant. in your safe. Your password is your room number times the price of a serving of haggis at the deli outside the hotel. Why? Why not? The Jabberwocky. I knew that was important.
I need to figure out how to press these stones in the right order. Let's give this a shot. Pretty pleased with this development. Looks like it's missing a part. Is everything okay over there? The cabin is some sort of weird high-tech something or other. Not gonna lie, that is awesome. But why? Working on it. Moira directed me to go to a cabin. It's a safe house, I guess. Did you go? Yeah. Good. I need you to get the original copy of the Jabberwocky poem. Original meaning? The color version my mom had. I need you to scan it and send it here. Shouldn't you ask your dad? He'll say no. So? Ned, I need you to break into my house and get that poem. Don't Bess and George have keys? They do, but they're out of town. All right. I'm sorry, Ned. No need to apologize. You've certainly made my life weirder, but you've also made it much better. If all you ask in return is a little burglary now and again, it's a fair trade. Technically, it doesn't count, because you have permission. I don't think the Nancy said it's cool approach will be all that effective in a court of law. Hey, if your dad catches me, do you think he'll still be my lawyer? Goodbye. Thanks, bye. Haven't done that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Tell me something good. Talk to you later. Bye. It's not working right now. I wasn't sure if you had a party or if you got murdered. Either way, it would have been nice to be invited. I went to spend a little time at a cabin. Who just goes to a cabin by themselves? Shut up! Did you bring Alec? You know Alec? I know he's not into me, but 
No, I see why. Alec did not come with me, and how do you know about him anyway? I'm not here to judge. Well, there's nothing to judge. Let me check the docket. Hmm. May I refer you to the case of Tree versus Nancy and Alec? Tree alleges K-I-S-S. -S. Ugh, enough! Oh, fine, I believe you. I'm just jealous. I-N-G. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Luggage. Alec must have had it delivered. Wait a second. Mom's stuff is missing. Did Alec take it? What did Ewan say was the code to get in here again? What's that? That is not normal. I need to take a closer look at her room. I need to use the keycard Ewan gave me to activate this panel. That's new. It must be part of Cathedral security. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Ah, oh, Nancy, what's up? Pretty impressive, huh? Are you my cathedral contact? My code name is Yun. And before you ask, no, I did not choose it. Would have chosen something better. Shadow, blizzard, or some better word that doesn't also sound like a name you'd give a horse. Can you look into Alec Fell for me? Aye. Do you have anything that could help me keep an eye on Bridget? Well, not as such. Unless... You're not afraid of heights now, are you? Check this out. Find a bow, and you can use this to zip across the courtyard. It's not safe, but it is fun. Why was the attack centered on Glasgow? We wondered that as well. It took us too long. We had that special vanity that made us think our lives were more important than anyone else's. And that blinded us to the obvious. It was Glasgow because someone here wanted to play a risky game. When Revenant sees someone they think could be pointed in a direction they find advantageous, they drop a trail of breadcrumbs. Is Cathedral a part of MI5? It is, and yet it is not. I understand. And yet you don't. I love duplicity. And yet... You hate it. There's my girl. I like your style. But... No, I genuinely do. Is there anything you could tell me about Bridget? That girl upstairs. I ran her background on a hunch. And? Nothing. Try not to let her become collateral damage. She seems sweet. What exactly do you do here? In the intelligence game, the dumb ones get manipulated, and the clever ones get buried. And the particularly clever ones? Well, they win, of course. But that's most likely not you. No offense. That's not me either. The creepy messages I'm getting on my phone. Who do you think is sending them? I've been trying to track the source of the message. Grats await the mysterious stranger who coded that monstrosity. Do you know who Kate Drew was? Aye, we all do. I know she's your mom. You can call her that. 
So she really wasn't a reporter? She was. I was quite good. But she was also one of ours. A spy? Aye. What or who was she spying on? Figured you'd want to know. I gave you basic clearance on the archives. There is a station set up for you along the wall. How did my mom stop the attack? Your mother isolated the man who was orchestrating the attack. And of course he knew nothing and had nothing that could lead back to Revenant. All he could say was whatever he needed had a way of appearing. And the same person never visited him twice. No one knew what they were bringing him, or why. It was perfectly and alarmingly decentralized. So what exactly does Revenant want? Back in the days of mud huts and the like, some years the harvests would be light. Sometimes, when that happened, two kings would meet and plan a war to thin their flocks. Then, no one would ever know of their failures. That is what Revenant wants. They don't want to take over the world. They want to keep it. Why are you my contact? In order to do my job, I have to have top information clearance. But I'm not an agent per se. Civilian liaison work often falls to me. If you're asking what that means, you may not like the answer. May not? Absolutely won't. You're not considered a player. You're considered an asset. You're more or less on your own. You get to chat with me, and that's it. Who is Revenant? We do not know exactly. That's just what we're calling him. I'm seeing a pattern. That pattern is called chaos. Simply put, they're the bad guys. Less simply put? In this game of cat and mouse, we thought we were the cat. But you're the mouse. We're the mouse. They're the trap. Are you the one who sent me the message to come to Scotland? No. Do you know who did? Nope. Do you know why? Yes, in fact I do. Someone thinks you have special insight into the secrets that were lost with Kate Drew. I don't. Well, perhaps you do. How about you get caught up on the basics first before making up your mind? What is your role with Cathedral? I'm the Watcher in the Wires. I protect the status quo. And, for the time being, you. What do you mean by protect the status quo? Society rides on a rail, like a trolley. The rails are solid and modest and predictable. Those are your disc types. They get married, they have some kids, buy a house they can't afford, and never again are they unpredictable, or interesting, or alive even. But the catenary line, the third rail, that's what drives the world forward. People that have a charge running through them, they move the world forward. Or, they try to destroy it. I make sure that won't happen. See you around. See you around. I'm guessing that alarm means something a little bad is happening? Servers are getting a bit hot. That alarm triggers when I need to cool them down. If they overheat, everything gets fried. So you have to go back there and reset it every time the alarm goes off? Aye. I'll let you go. See you around. Did that. That's done.
my gear. It's time for a new test. Cut the lines on the trash compactor at the station, and you will be rewarded. Done. I guess now I just wait. message. Thank you for finding my suitcase. I hope you don't mind. I took a peek inside to confirm it was yours. I gotta say, if you're so attached to your mom's jeans, why did you take them on an international flight? Those are mine. Oh. Yeah. Right. You look nice today, he said with a hopeful smile. Let's just move on. There was a poem in my suitcase. It's missing. What are you talking about? There was nothing like that in there? Not that I saw. See you around. Goodbye. How selfish I am. I never asked a thing about you. Why are you here in Scotland? Vacation. It seems like a nice place. A solo vacation to Scotland. You have a funny way of making choices. Have you ever heard of Revenant? Are you a spy or something? No, just something I overheard. Oh yeah. I guess a spy wouldn't just ask a stranger that. Well, not a good spy. Revenant's supposed to be this terrorist organization, but they tapped out ten years ago. Now it's just the psychos that talk about him. Keeps their psychotic minds busy, which is either very good or very bad. Talk to you later. Bye. Done. Bess would be so embarrassed by me right now. Alright! Alright! It's a masterpiece. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Hi, Nancy. So, how... am I on speakerphone? Yeah. Yes, Nancy, you are on the speakerphone. Oh. Mm-hmm. I would like to remind... Shut up, Ned. Don't talk to Ned that way. Actually, at this, uh, juncture, that might be warranted. Thank you, Ned. You're welcome. Shut up, Ned. Nancy, do you want to take a guess at why I'm upset with Ned right now? He broke into the house? Well, can't say that doesn't factor in. I'm upset with Ned because he let you talk him into something dangerous, and he wasn't smart enough to stop you. Whoa, hold on. All due respect, Mr. Drew, you're wrong. All due respect, Mr. Nickerson, you're a complete... Let me finish. I know how serious this is, but I also know Nancy. Better than her own father, I assume? As well as... But I can admit something you can't. And just what exactly is that? Nothing I say is going to stop Nancy, not this time. I understand why you don't want to help her, but that'll make things more dangerous for Nancy. 
She called me because she knows that my faith in her is stronger than my fear for her. So now you can tell me to shut up. The poem is on the top shelf of the bedroom closet. Can you go get it and give me a moment with Nancy? Sure thing, Mr. Drew. Sorry I burgled your house. Nancy, I don't know what to do here, kiddo. I wish you would just come home. But I think Ned is right, and you are right to go to him. Thanks. I'll talk to you again soon. of Jabberwocky. Now to figure out what it means. Still have to do that. Got it. Need to be quick about this. Bridget could be back at any second. This is straight up weird. She's tracking my movements? I think I'd better find out more before I confront her about this. Hmm. All right, let's see what Bridget's up to. Okay, I need to use the McLorthan pattern here. Is she talking about a dead drop? If I work fast enough, I might be able to intercept the package.
What? What happened? Someone broke into my room! What was taken? My money! Just your money? What kind of a question is that? Well, money's... <sighs> Sorry, just trying to see how I can help. I just saw a group of men in suits headed toward your room. They look like spies or something. What? Hmm. I need to slide the track of canisters out.
got it. I need to complete this myself to see what Bridget was up to. Got it. This should work for the dead drop. Sure. Great. Give me your phone. Um... Come on. Give phone. Give me the phone. Come on. You know you're curious as to why I want it. I am, but... Curiosity killed the cat. That's not exactly helping your case. Oh, give me, please. I won't do anything crazy. All right. Yay! My boyfriend just tried to break up with me with a voicemail, if you can believe that. So, um, dropped my phone into a sewer... This isn't my phone. Don't write back. Loophole! I was going to dump him soon anyway, but in person, like you do. Thanks for your... Whoa! I need that back. Are you in trouble? I don't know. Can I listen to the rest? It might be safer for you if you didn't. You are a spy! I mean, shh, no you're not. You are! Hooray! What are you really up to? You've been tracking me since I arrived. I bet your name isn't even really Bridget. No, your name isn't Bridget. Who are you really? Why were you asking me so many questions? Ah, oh, thank you. I am so sick of that accent. And I am so sick of you. Go home, Nancy Drew. Otherwise, you will die. I need enough money first. I do say so myself. It's a masterpiece. Done. Dead drop, drop dead. I'll give it some time and see what happens next. All right. Done. It's a 
masterpiece. I should investigate that chair when I can. If I can get all of the colors into the correct circle, I should be able to get this off. Whoa, who is this note about? Zoe Wolf, is that Bridget's real name? Haven't done that. Did that. Can't check that off yet. All right. It's a masterpiece. What's going on? I know you stole my glasses. Why didn't you say they were missing? Sorry to upset you. That make it less fulfilling? You have a problem, my friend. Keep them, by the way. I remote wiped the drive. You want to play spy? Enjoy the toy. Here's the deal. You go forward like we never spoke. What are you going to do? Spy stuff. Okay, Zoe. You wore a disguise. You were trying to get me to talk to you. What's your angle? Nancy, oh, you were so loud. I'll tell you what I can, but here are the conditions. You trust only me from now on. Right. Like that's going to happen. Fine, then trust no one. No one. Not even your father. My father? He would never lie to me. You need to understand. Revenant goes after weaknesses. We all have them, and your father's weakness is obvious. It's you! He'll lie to you if someone can convince him it'll keep you safe. Okay, but... But nothing! Someone's been talking to him. If you don't believe me, ask him about it, and listen to how he sounds. And don't you think it's funny that he's having all these passport problems out of the blue? That's Revenant's handiwork. 
Why are you standing outside of the hotel? Just am. There must be a reason you're hanging out here. Are you kidding me? Leave it alone! Found out the deal with that Alec fella. Yeah? Anything interesting? No. He's harmless. Harmless? I think so. But if he's taking a shine to you, use it to your advantage. What exactly was the colony operation? The idea was simple. Manufacture a disaster. In this case, it was the release of a virus designed not to kill, but to incapacitate. Pushing the city into a state of disaster. That's stage one. What's stage two? As far as we understood, if the Glasgow cell carried out the first stage, Revenant would take over. Okay, what would they do next? They'd send in support, put the city back on its feet, and in the days that follow, seize all positions of authority under the guise of emergency action. Drive the stake in the ground, so to speak, and never give back what was taken. Colony was a bit tongue-in-cheek, operations name-wise. It wasn't about shifting a population, it was about shifting power. It was about obedience. So why is the colony operation starting again? Still not sure. Here's the theory. Just like the good guys figured out Revenant existed, so did some bad guys. And maybe they thought, what if we follow the old script? Will they show up and play their part? Which is pretty cute if you think about it. Almost like a seance to conjure a ghost. I still don't understand why Revenant would want to carry out an attack like this. They do not care. That does not make sense. They don't. They are playing the long game. What long game? I would kill to find out. It seems like Revenant was obsessed with getting the formula correct. Why? The formula is important. Too deadly. Obviously a problem. Revenant will not show up unless you hit the sweet spot. They're interested in using this as a test drone, not in racking up civilian casualties. Too easy to fight off, then it's just a cold. You need to knock three quarters of the city under a pile of blankets, then you're home free. What about children, the elderly, people who are already sick? Ah, uh, you know, I don't want to think about that. Back to the formula. If the operation is running again, there is most likely a lab working on an approximation of the virus. Getting everything in place for when the proper formula is available. Once it is, how long would it take to be unleashed? Depends on a lot of factors, quicker than anyone would like. If anyone can find the original scientist, or the original formula, it's a matter of time. If they find both? They'll have it ready almost instantaneously. Is it strange that Bridget would get these glasses from a dead drop? Whoa! Yes! What are they? Augmented reality glasses. But these... This is a custom job. I wonder if it has solitaire. Oh, that's a shame. Just the basics. Can you examine these and see what they're for? Might take a bit. I'll let you know when they're done. You may want to ease up on the stealing. I'll give them back. I'm just investigating. Sure. Avoid investigating any big ticket items during your visit. I really hate the embassy people. How do I get into the glass storage case? The storage locking mechanism is half broken, and I can not get it to open unless it's all the way fixed. If you get it back online, can I give it a try? Knock yourself out. Is it true that Revenant only allows others to act for them? Let's hope so. If not, then we're terrible at our jobs. The truth is, we think they're... us. Imagine what you could do with these resources if your aim went askew. What does Revenant want? The crazy thing is, what they want makes sense. Do not tell anyone I said that. Not a popular opinion, I'm guessing. That one rarely gets asked to the dance. What they want is to rewrite the rules of the world. What do you mean? Imagine if you got to rewrite the rules of society. 
Who gets what? Who leads? Who follows? I bet you'd make a lot of changes. Right. But as the lesson of every sci-fi movie where robots become self-aware states, in our flaws lie our perfections. Goodbye. See you around. Can't check that off yet. Hi. Let me get this straight. You're an American? Yup. What are you doing here? Trying to pry as much information out of you before you end up dead. Is that a threat? What is going on? Who are you? Nothing and no one. Go home. No. I'll say it slow. If you stay, you will die. I'm not intimidated by you. You're a prop. Get that? Everyone you meet here is using you. Wise up and ship out. What? Either you let me help, or I'll go public with what I know. You're killing me here! How many nooses do you need around your neck? Ugh, you can't help me. But I'll let you see this through. You'll let me? But if you stay, you're not my friend. You're not my helper. You're a tool, in every sense of the word. And you'll do exactly what I say. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I need a bag and drag for Miss Drew. Would you like to add an enhanced interrogation for this 99 cents? Mm, you know I shouldn't. Trying to be good. Who are you talking to? That's the guy I call when I need someone kidnapped. You've got about a minute. Two if you run. But don't. It's sad to watch. Call it off. I'll do what you say. I'm gonna need you to cancel that last order. Here's the deal. You go forward like we never spoke. What are you going to do? Spy stuff. See you around. Bye! Is everything okay? You are too rude to Ned. I was angry. I know, but... I'll talk to him. That's the first time he stood up to me like that. Well, it's the first time he needed to. Okay, you win. Look, I'm not going to be the most helpful person in all of this. But I'll stop being an obstacle. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. You and I have some talking to do when you get home. I need to know everything. Fine. But hey, do you remember the name of your kindergarten teacher's dog? Sure. Zabo. Good. You still have that impeccable memory. Remember this and tack it onto the back of every single thing I say. Please come home. What did Mom really do? She was a journalist. What kind? You know how you write me and Hannah those letters? Yeah. That's pretty much what she did. She'd head out, tackle some strange mystery that had gotten her attention, and then she'd come back with the answers. Do you know anything about the colony operation? Just what's in the news. Do you think there's any truth to the idea that someone is trying to start it up again? I'm almost certain of it. Why? When people come looking for Kate's things, they always want to focus on what she was working on last. There was this very persistent woman who wanted everything Kate worked on, all of her notes. Recently? Yes. I should have just handed them over. Maybe you wouldn't be drawn into all this. Why don't we ever talk about Mom? I didn't want to upset you. Really? Yes. Well, that's why I never talked to you about her. Oh. Yeah. I don't know where to start. Me either. You know, when it's time, it's time. We'll talk then. What information could Mom have that's so important? I know I shouldn't be telling you this. But you're going to? Your mother somehow threw a wrench into the entire operation. Her plan before she left, at least from what I could figure out, was to find some scientist. 
presumably the one who helped with the attack, and put him in protective custody. It sounds like he was just some guy who got in over his head. He'd be happy to hide from everything. I assume she was able to do that, but that's all I've been able to figure out. I don't understand anything about this attack. I bet. I know it had your mother obsessed for a very long time. She couldn't figure it out either. She was sure it was part of some long-term plan. Plan for what? That's where she stopped. She never had enough information to put things together. Do you think I should work with Zoe? I've asked around. I can't get official confirmation, but my sources here seem to think this Zoe girl might be the real deal. That doesn't mean you should do everything she says. See you around. Bye. Hi, Nancy. I need to know everything you can find about Revenant. Um, what? I don't know. It's a terrorist organization. At least I think it is. Do you still have access to the database at the paper? Yeah, but there are still clearance issues. Wouldn't most of this stuff be classified? Can't let a little thing like that slow us down. And Ned? Yeah? I'm running in the dark here. Give me everything. Gossip, rumors. Really? Really. Sometimes with organizations like this, a lot of details hide in plain sight. Got it. I met my cathedral contact. What exactly is cathedral? It's a local intelligence agency. Like the... Actually, I don't know how to finish that. Like a field office of the FBI. They're watching over Glasgow. So what's this contact like? Can't tell. He's not really giving much away. Professional habit, I imagine. True. So do you think you can trust him? No, but that's the standard answer these days. You can always trust a Ned. That's exactly what an imposter would say. Busted. Bridget's not a real person. Um, what? She's a spy. What is the spy to normal ratio in Scotland? In general or in my experience? Actually, to answer both, I would guess maybe one in two. I have no idea how to help, but I'll do what I can. Me too. Working on it. Bridget, or should I say Zoe, is an American who is here to stop the colony operation. So you have an ally. Great. I wouldn't go that far. So you have an enemy. Unfortunate. I also wouldn't go that far. So you have a casual acquaintance. Interesting. You're getting closer. I'd see what you can find out from her. You should be suspicious of everyone you meet. Done and done. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. Hi. My father told me not to trust you. Something's not adding up here. I'm not sorry that I lied. I'm sorry that I have to tell you the truth. Yeah, I can see that. Your mother came back to Scotland because I begged her to. She told me for months that Cathedral was like her family, but you and Carson were her family. She had a responsibility to you. She had made a promise to your father, and she meant it. But I begged. I told her I believed she was the only one who could help me stop the attack. That wasn't the lie. What was? I promised her she'd have round-the-clock MI5 protection from wheels down to meeting you at baggage claim back home. She trusted me. There was no one watching her, was there? No. As surely as she saved untold lives, I took hers with that lie. I took her from you with that lie. Please forgive me. Better yet, don't forgive me. Get angry and leave and go home. Hello. How did you and my mom know each other? We were both in the same J school program. She was a better journalist than I was, and I hated her for it. A fact I made plainly clear. After graduation, I was happy I'd never have to see that smug face of hers ever again. Until, of course, in true Kate style, she called out of the blue to say she'd set me up with a job at the paper she'd been working at. I don't know if she mistook my hatred for healthy competition, or what it was all about. Your mother had this infuriating habit of expecting the best out of people. She confused me into being nice to her. I dare say I miss her almost as much as you must. 
So you are a spy, and my mother, was she? She was. Why didn't you tell me earlier? I made a promise to Kate that if anything happened to her, you would never, ever be dragged into this mess. What made you change your mind? You dragged yourself in. From here on out, it's survival. Did my mom live out here after I was born? Not quite. She'd come out here for months at a time with you and your father. Back then, we were still writing together. You weren't in school yet, so you were good to go anywhere. And Carson used to like it here. Those were good times. Do you know anything about my cathedral contact, Ewan? Not a thing. I lost the keys to cathedral long ago. In my experience, cathedral means well, but don't trust recklessly. Everyone keeps telling me to leave. I can't do that. You still don't get it. This isn't dangerous to just you. You just made your entire life a target. Your father, your friends, anyone who knows you. Does that include you? Oh, don't factor me in. I bought my ticket years back. Why was I brought to Glasgow? They think you might be the key to the secrets Kate left behind. I'm not. You could be. Kate would never give you information that would put you in danger, but the more you love someone, the more you show your secrets, whether you mean to or not. That's why the family of a spy is never safe, as your father was fond of pointing out. Why are people after you right now? The colony operation has restarted and they're looking to pick up where they left off. Nancy, your mother's death wasn't an accident. I know, that's what the message that led me here said. I know it wasn't an accident. Your father knows it wasn't an accident. The only other people who know are the people who killed her. That's who sent you the message. Who is the silent spy? The message I got mentioned a silent spy. Ah, it's gallows humor. It's a take on an old book. Meaning? The only silent spy is a dead spy. What happened when you were gone? I don't want to talk about it. Why not? Maybe it's personal. Did you ever stop to think about that? My mom had a song she always played. Do you know anything about it? She loved that song. It may just be sentimental, but I don't know. Doubt it. How was my mom involved with the colony operation? Your mom stopped it. How? Not much is known, really. The operation needed three things. Someone to develop the biological agent, someone to make it in quantity, and someone to distribute it in a way that would affect the entire city. Your mom broke that chain. I don't know how. What's the story with the cabin you sent me to? The cabin is one of many. Cathedral had it fitted with tech for Kate and me once Colony started to heat up. No one but Kate and I knew of the location. Do not give that information out to anyone. How did you become friends with my mom? We worked together at the Standard. She did features, I did news. She was a good friend. So the two of you worked together back when you were a reporter? Still am. Well, a blogger, so hard to say. Do you have anything that will help me understand what my mom was doing here, and why she was involved in tracking such a dangerous group? At first it was a police matter, but your mother was studying them for Cathedral. She had a crazy theory. Which was... Here. There's an American agent here. Good. I don't know if I should trust her. Me either, pet. Sorry. I don't really understand what this all means. Someone was using Glasgow as their laboratory. Each experiment was getting bigger, scarier. When we were done with our research, we were staring Revenant dead in the eye. We didn't know it until we were dragged into the central office for an emergency briefing, of course. That was fun. But we did know we were looking at something terrifying. Talk to you later. Bye.
Hmm. Nancy. See you around. Bye. Are you really going to go? Have a seat. No, Dad told me you're leaving. Why? Nancy, it's not like that. Are you coming back? I know, you heard some stuff between me and your dad, but you've got the wrong idea, kiddo. Then what's the right idea? You'll understand when you're older. Why is that always all you say? Trust me, if I could tell you everything, I would. But for now, I just can't. Now, come and sit. Let's practice. I'm sorry. I just can't. to figure out the password. You were a worthy opponent, but I beat you. The disc is missing. I'll need to find it first. A bug. Can't pass this up. This battery is sincerely dead. I need to find a cord to play this. Done that. What? What is going on? Who are you really? And who are you spying on? Keep it down. No, I will not. There's no end to the secrets I can say really loudly, so anyone, even that guy walking by, could hear. I can't believe she had the nerve to say that to your face. Shut up. Please. Not unless you tell me what's happening. No. If you pull that again, you and me are done. not working. I think there's something wrong with the outlet. Is that a bug? Who is listening to me? Also, note to self, do less thinking aloud. Whoa! Well, there goes my evidence. 
Why is a raven like a writing desk? Ask the raven. Follow the raven to the archives. If the scientist is ever in danger, someone must tell him to run. The vaccinated will arrive while the rest of us are asleep. Hi, Mom. Wish I knew what you were talking about. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I've got those glasses for you. Here, the drive was wiped. Not that that slowed me down. Nothing worth your while on there anyway. The basic OS is there. So you're now the proud owner of neat spy glasses. What exactly do they do? Right. I don't know. Definitely not something the average person would have. Aye, I'm picking up on that. I think she actually might be an American spy. Listen, we're friends with the Americans, but I don't trust her. I'm going up a security level. That means extra security on the left. Passcode, voice print, and skeletal recognition. You will not be able to get down there with anyone else. Is Moira really former cathedral? That's true. And she's retired? Retired, fired. Guess one's easier to say than the other. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, Nancy. You were right about Moira. How so? She lied to Mom. She promised her she'd be protected here. What? She promised Mom that she'd have a guard at all times during her last trip here. I... thought your mom was lying about that. She wasn't. Moira was. Oh. And so Moira just told you this? I think she's been trying to tell someone for a while. She thought she was doing the right thing for Glasgow. That wasn't her decision to make! I know. You might want to talk to her about it, someday. No! I really think you should. Make it home safely and we'll talk about it. Until then, just because she gave you some sob story, don't trust her for a second. I found some bugs. I'm not sure what to do with them. Try bugging Alec. I'll let you go. Talk to you soon. Ewan changed the security. He must have left a clue for me to get back down. I bet I have something that might help. Zoe, get out of here! So you're breaking things now. So your friend found her way in and broke my case. Not pleased right now. Not in the least. What exactly did she take? Drone bugs. Expensive, one of a kind, really kind of awesome drone bugs. I'll let you go. Bye. It's locked. If I group the colors, I think I can completely clear the board.
Still have to do that. Haven't done. Still have to do that. Still have to do that. some time, then check in with a program at the cabin. to crack this code. Watch Zoe. Keep an eye out for anything. Talk to you later. See you around. these clips to tap into the system. I wonder how I do that. I need to place the red end of a clip on a green symbol, so the same symbol appears at both ends of the clip. That should do it. Now to find the remote readout program. Hi. What was so important about the information my mother hid? Want a crash course in international intelligence? Cause here it is. Every day that passes without a large scale atrocity is both an accident and a miracle. I don't have time to explain it. Why don't you talk to Ewan? How do you know I'm talking to him? And wait, why? First, please. Second, 
Don't talk. Get him to talk. Cool. All right. I'm out. Don't call. I don't have your number. You're a pleasant surprise. The men who are following me don't know this is over. Mark lied. There was never any backup. I'm alone out here. I'm being followed by two black cars. Let's see what you and your tiny little bag are up to, sir. Something's attached. I wonder if I could enhance what's here. These letters must be one of her codes. Zoe here. This is the game I am in. That's a passphrase, all right, but what is it for? Jew girl blew my cover, but I'll remain here at primary site until I no longer can. That little brat stole my glasses! Spent a great deal of time on you and watch. I'm going to work on an approach. At this point, he can't be oblivious to my presence. The Drew girl is as unaffiliated as she presented herself. My attempts to pry more information out of her have been more or less useless. I did what you said. When are you going to keep your end of the bargain? Don't give me that. She's going to figure things out soon enough. She's coming. Yeah, I got the bag. I'll put it where you can find it. The dead drop location, yeah, the lockers, I get it. Just promise me you're not going to hurt her. I want to talk to her now! I want to hear her voice! What is he talking about? That's done. Did that. Haven't done that. Still have to do, can't check that off yet. So, if you don't mind me asking, why was that scrapbook so important? It was my mother's. I mean, I get that. But was there anything else in there? I guess it doesn't matter now, but it was something that was important to my mom. What? My dad didn't want me looking in my mom's files, but I sort of picked the lock on his file cabinet and copied everything I could. There was a copy of the poem Jabberwocky that had these strange markings. I was hoping they meant something. Like she left you a message? Yeah, like that. It's silly. I know it is. No, it isn't. When you miss someone, you grasp at straws. We all do that. So this whole time you've been feeding someone information about me. Why? What do I do for a living? Why do you think? Who are you working for? Nancy, please stop. Why should I listen to you? You sold me out. I did, but that doesn't make me a bad guy. Please listen. Yes, it does. That's the definition of a bad guy. I got a call from my sister a few nights back. It was strange. She just wanted to talk about you of all people. What was stranger is how afraid she sounded. How she wouldn't answer me when I asked her what was going on. 
Then she just said, please do what they want. That's why I sold you out. And that's who you're up against. Unlucky for you, I'm not the bad guy here. Hey, kid. Can you tell me who you were talking to earlier? That I can't do. Top secret information? Something like that. Tell me a little more about the cases you take. No. Yeah, no. I'm gonna land on no. What do you know about the group who has your sister? Nothing. I need more than that. Yeah, me too. There must have been something they told you. Can you even understand why I don't want you to go after the creeps who are holding my sister? <sighs> Impasse. I want to live, you want your sister to live, and Revenant is standing in the way of both. Like it or not, we're stronger together. Stronger than we are alone, but not stronger than they are. What kind of information did your contacts want to know about me? Let's not. Oh no, let's. Not. I agree. Done. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Make it quick. I know you bug my room. What do I have that everyone wants so badly? We believe that the operation your mother knocked offline involved a biological attack against Glasgow. We think she intercepted a delivery intended for Revenant. You were brought here because no one can find it. And the going theory is that you're the key to what Kate knew. I didn't even know she was a spy. No one thinks you know what it is, we just think you know it. Who do you work for? It's a name only a dozen people know. Even if I told you, it wouldn't matter. An American agency? In a sense. I can't believe you broke into that case. What is your problem? I've got you and under control. It was glass. I had a glass breaker. I wanted what was inside. You've got to get one of those. I have the situation covered. I know. That's why I cheated. I'll let you go. Bye! That's a code, all right. Looks like I'd better get cracking. of some sort. I need to figure this out. There must be something around here to help read this. There's something strange about the backing on these cards. Bridget, Zoe, Chloe, who are you really? Whoa, Samantha Quick? She's a spy. Wait, this means she knows exactly who I am. This must be for breaking the code. I bet the rest of the pieces are somewhere in this room.
I better not leave that way. If I arrange the pieces so they all fit completely within the grid, it should reveal a message. Audacious. I wonder if that will turn up anything in the archives. Someone put a tap on my computer. Was it you? No! Alright, if it was, I'll know eventually. I think Alec is spying on me. Really? Why would he do that? I have no idea. He says Revenant took his sister. Hmm. I'll look into it. Do you know what's going on with these cards? Hmm. 51. You're missing one. Find it, and then I'll be able to figure it out. Without the full set of cards, this means nothing. Talk to you later. Goodbye. get the deck of cards and the ace, I might be able to find the formula.
Is everything okay? Do you know about hiding information in playing cards? Yeah. Your mother loves stuff like that. Really? Oh yeah, she was always into weird codes and games. She'd hide notes from me and you everywhere, remember? Of course. She taught me how to use cards. They're tough to make, but pretty cool. Did you find some cards? Yes. Did you soak them? If you haven't, you need to. They'll open up if you leave them in water for a bit. Do you know what the formula is that people keep talking about here? I assume they're talking about the chemical formula that was going to be used in the attack. What's so important about it? I don't entirely understand it, to be perfectly honest. But the thing that really got your mother interested was the fact that it wasn't supposed to be a deadly attack. Which was great, but the why kept nagging at her. She was afraid that this was a test run for something that could potentially be done on a global scale. Why? I don't want to know. You see, it's things like this that make me want to keep you away from these people. Shouldn't you want me to fight? No. I want people with helicopters and the like to fight this. Not my daughter. Not yet, at least. Live a little longer before making that sort of decision. Although, as your father, I can't recommend a career in the library sciences strongly enough. You want me to be a librarian? Maybe. They're the world's unsung heroes, and they rarely explode or get kidnapped. Although, I'm sure you'd find a way. Talk to you later. Bye. Is everything okay over there? Did you find anything about Revenant? Oh boy, where to start? Start at the point that makes the most sense. Right, uh, hmm. Uh, Ned? Look, I have to admit, I'm out of my depth here. <laughs> Welcome to the club. That's the thing. I don't know if I'd call Revenant a terrorist organization. They're like a club or a secret society. Am I evaluating all things equally? Rumors and reports, all that good stuff? Yeah. I threw out all things that contained false flag, chemtrail, vaccines, and Anunnaki. Good methodology. What I end up with is... neutral. Neutral? Yeah. Some say they're behind all sorts of terrible things. And others? Other people say they're almost like a humanitarian group. Well, a highly creepy and somewhat illegal humanitarian group. That makes almost no sense. You know what words crop up more than anything else in all the chatter? Confusing? Parent. Guardian. That sort of thing. That may be how they see themselves, at least that's how they're acting. You mentioned the word parent came up a lot when talking about Revenant. What do you think that means? According to some blogger, it's because sometimes they're helpful, sometimes they seem cruel. But there's a design behind everything. And if they're a good parent, then it's almost like they're trying to shape the world into what they think it should be. And if they're not a good parent? Then they're trying to shape the world in their own image. Talk to you later. Bye. Check. That's done. Haven't done, haven't done, haven't done that. You used the alibi Samantha Quick before, haven't you? Yes! I have been meaning to tell you about this. You don't steal someone's alias. That is so rude. See you around. Goodbye. Masterpiece. Not quite right. Hmm. 
Not bad, if I do say so myself. Done. Alright! Got it! Not bad, if I do say so myself. Hey, kid. See you around. Goodbye. All right, it's ready to play.
Beware the Jabberwock, my son. Take the first of green, second orange, third purple, fourth red, fifth blue, sixth brown, seventh aqua, eighth pink. Mom definitely hid a code in Jabberwocky. to figure this thing out. Music themes reveal Ace. I think she's talking about the song she wrote. Maybe I could convince Dad to help me with that. Is everything okay? I need the sheet music to that song Mom always played. It's gone. All the way gone? All the way gone. It was in the files I had shredded. I think Mom hit a code in that song. A code. I remember she told me that there were certain musical phrases. That stood for each of us. I know. That's true then? It is. She wrote the song for me a long time ago. And then when you were born, she rewrote it. She added you into the song. I really needed that. I can. I'll get it to you. I can remember it. It might take a little while. You play piano? Your mom taught me that song, but it's been a while. I'll see what I can do. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Did that. Still have to do that. Nancy. Do you know what the story with a locked letterbox is? That's Kate's. Don't have a clue how to unlock it. Why did we lose contact with each other? We didn't. Your father got in the way. Why? Don't blame him. When your mum found out she was going to have a child, she made a promise. 
No work that would put her or you in danger, so no cathedral. She stuck to that promise, except when I made her break it, which was as often as I could. There was a really close call one night. What happened? I'd rather not say. Your father took you and left, and he was right too. Kate chose you over Cathedral and me, and she was right too. I'll let you go. Goodbye. All right there. I'll let you go. Bye. By finding the letters Mom indicated, I'll be able to find her encrypted text. That's a code, all right. Looks like I'd better get cracking. scientist mom placed into hiding. the scientist's number. I think I need to warn him about what's going on. This is Nancy, calling for Archimedes. They're going to come for me again, aren't they? Maybe. I don't know. Can you tell me why you're so important to them? You know what? Yeah, I'm not living in fear again. I have a family. Just stay calm. Explain how I can help. Why did you say yes? Because I care about my family more than I care about a world of strangers. Did Revenant threaten your family? Took them until I cooperated. Your mother put us into hiding. Why were they after you? What were they looking for? Because I understand the colony virus. The process to tweak that bug until they were satisfied. I'm the only one who knows that- I will do everything I can to keep you safe, but you have to work with me. Did that. Now, come and sit. Let's practice. I'm sorry. I just can't. <laughs> like mother, like daughter, I see. Well, too bad. You're doing it. Did you know I wrote this song? No. I did. That's why I wanted to teach it to you. These aren't just notes. There's something hidden in the music. These notes here, they represent you. They find their way into every song I play. This phrase, this is your father. Are you in the song? Somewhere, but it's not important. You and your dad are all I can hear when I sit down to play. Then why are you leaving? Oh, you have no idea how much I want to tell you why, but I honestly can't. Why not? Just know this. If you knew, you would understand. Are you coming back? I really don't know. That's not a fair thing to say. Trust me, kiddo. I know.
Wouldn't you like to know what Kate's last minutes were like? What her last thoughts were? Did she have something she wanted to say to you? This is your final test. Give us the number of the scientist. What? Enter it now. No, I would never give that to you. You have failed the test. Shame. Now you will never know. This presents only an inconvenience for us. Nancy, are you listening? I will do everything I can to keep you safe, but you have to work with me. No, it, it's too late. I'm running. I'm not hiding that from them anymore. They want my work? They can have it. You were listening in? But how? You will not escape. You will not survive. Hi. Revenant wanted the number of the scientists Mom put into protective custody. You didn't give it to them, right? I did not. I'm surprised. I assumed you'd want me to cooperate. I do, but your mom put him in hiding for a reason. Did you finish the song? I'm working on it. Talk to you later. What happened? Nancy! Whoa! Five points for living like a rock star! This wasn't me. You've got a strange dot on your- RUN! TO THE ELEVATOR! What's going on? Ewan, what happened? This is going to be bad. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Are you okay? What happened? Two men came in. They tied me up. They were looking for something. What? I have no idea. I'm so happy to see you. Get less happy. Why? Someone ransacked my room. And some gunfire might have been involved. At least you're safe. For the moment. It's time for you to leave. No. I'm setting it up. You're leaving. I won't take no for an answer. Talk to you later. Goodbye. The sheet music from Dad. This should help. Wow, they clean up quickly here. Still, I should see if any clues were left behind. The cards are gone! Is this a laser pointer? Does that mean that attack was staged? Tell me something good. I found a laser in my room. I figured you'd want it back. I got to thinking, who could have staged the break-in? Who was there to plant the laser and fake gunshots using... Squibs. I don't care what they're called, Alec. You need to explain what you're doing and who you're working for. Fair enough. You took my playing cards. Why? I found it. I was meaning to give it back to you. Oh, you know, you're a bad liar. I'm a great liar when I want to be. Nancy, I'm sorry. Who are you and what do you want? If I tell you what I know, you'll be killed. I don't need anyone to keep me safe. All right. I'm only telling you this because I do believe you'll find out anyway. And I believe that you'll end up getting yourself killed by asking the wrong person the wrong question. Take this. I have to go. Be safe.
It's the cart. The missing card. Need to get this one soaking and added to the rest. What? See you around. Bye. hidden on these cards.
I'm short one card. I should take these cards with me. Aces, add this to the rest. This is the formula for the biological bomb agent my mom was hiding. I can't let this fall into the wrong hands. Did that. Check. My deck of cards! Give that back! This isn't yours. It belongs to the government. You can't just come in and take whatever you want and... What's that? Sit down if you don't want to wake up with a concussion. I haven't practiced. I'm not ready. Life doesn't wait for you to be ready. Up. Join the club. All right, let's try again. Come on, once more, huh? I'm never going to be as good as you. No, you're going to be better. Go home, Nancy Drew. Hide now. Just leave then. I didn't want to wake you. You seemed so peaceful. Ugh, where are we? Dumpster. I think this is a trash compactor. And it's compacting. Sure, why not? You seem a little casual. I spent the last ten minutes trying to wake you up. Wore me out a little. You're gonna have some bruises. I undid one of the locks. Then my leg got trapped. You need to do the other lock. Looks like the release is trapped behind the levers. I'll need to get it out. Hmm, I think I can do this. Not reassuring. All right, well, I'm going to do my best to enjoy the time I have left. It'll be brief, painful, and full of garbage. But that's life, isn't it? And that's the metaphor I'm riding into the grave. The much smaller and flatter than average grave. There is just... Got it. Let's get out of here. What are you going to do now? Nothing. We, on the other hand, have our work cut out for ourselves. What's next? So, any bright ideas? I've been tracking everyone else, but Ewan has taken my computer tap offline. Maybe it's time for me to go confront him. Wait, no, no, no. If you have any better ideas... Go see what you can find out from Ewan. Great! I can use these to tap his computer again. Let's go crack some skulls. I don't do that. Me either. Just let me say it. Okay, go ahead. Moment's gone. That's done. Check. All right, just like the first time.
All right, what's he really up to? Somewhere, Ewan's got a special coin. I think I might need to borrow it for a while. Did that! must be the right coin. Ewan's been planning the attack from here. Can't check that off yet. Ewan, he's the one who lured me in. I found a secret room at the train station, with everything you would need to stage the attack. This all points to Ewan. Spoiler alert! But yeah, you're right. We need to assume he's ready to go. Can you handle him? Yes, I can. Good, give me the glasses. I'll set these up so we can keep in touch. I'm gonna put a team together to scour the city for bombs. You find a way to neutralize him. Got it. Here. I'll take care of it. Nancy. Read you loud and clear, Zoe. As much as I hate to say this, we can't do this alone. I'm looping in Moira and Alec. Nancy, you on? Is he helping? You can't seriously trust him. One thing at a time. How many bombs do you think Ewan was able to make? I have intel that says his team was able to produce enough of the agent for four bombs. What's my next move? Smart Money says if we disarm one bomb, the others will go. No one touch anything until we found all four. Nancy, get in there and take you and out. I'm on it. Aha. Uh -huh. Cannot say I blame him for adding a password. This is a surefire way to get Ewan's attention. Time to...
to make sure Ewan can't escape. This won't stop me, you know. I've already won. Why would you do this? Because I can. You used my mom to lure me here so you could get some stupid formula. You're just figuring that out now, are you? We're going to stop you. Placement important? Extremely! The blocks must be removed in the following sequence. Small, small, medium, large. Consecutive blocks in a sequence must be touching each other along an edge. You have to press them in. Hurry! I'm losing you. You're on your own in there, but you can do this.
Whoa, that was too close. I defused the bomb. You did good. I'm off to help Alex find his sister. P.S. Bridget says, Oh, hello, my dear. I'll miss her. She was fun. Dear Mom, my trip to Scotland was eventful, to say the least. I'm not entirely sure I should have come, but in some ways, things worked out better than expected. The colony operation has been stopped again. Zoe told me that all information related to the colony formula has been destroyed for good. Ewan is gone. He was taken into custody, and I can honestly say I have no more information. It seems like he was just a guy who felt small, who was tricked into doing the bidding of strangers who made him feel important. He never had the tools he needed. That's why he had to lure me in. I'll give him this. He knew how to get my attention. Revenant is still out there, but for now, they're on the run. I don't think that's my fight anyway, at least not for a while. I think Zoe will be able to manage without me. Speaking of, last I heard, Zoe was working with Alec to track down his sister. With those two working together, it's only a matter of time before she's brought home safely. It seems that's just the next step in Zoe's mission to expose and bring down Revenant. She has a huge task in front of her, but from what I've seen of Zoe's work, Revenant's got plenty to worry about. Alex's brush with Revenant has pushed him to set aside his work as a skip tracer. In the course of tracking down his sister, he made some connections with Cathedral, and not surprisingly, the rest of that is classified. Moira seemed happy to see me, and to her credit, I really believe she wants to make up for her betrayal of your trust. It's strange. I expected to be angry with Moira, but I'm not. I know her motivations were good, even though her actions weren't. And I see how much she misses you. I think I should keep in touch with her. I think that's what you would do. And I guess the last part of the trip is you. I found the letter you wrote all those years ago. I don't know what else to say. I think I was so desperate to solve the mystery of your accident that I forgot I already knew what mattered. I knew who you were. I've known that my whole life. I see you when I look in the mirror and at Dad, and at everything you loved, and I hear your song whenever the world is quiet enough. I'm headed home to see Dad and everyone else. I'll write you again, and I will find the rest of those letters, even if it takes a lifetime. Love, Nancy. Operation Surprise George with ice cream is a go. Get her to scoop in time to see the winners announced. You guys are so going to win. George is really excited about this, so I wrote a plan for how to cheer her up if you guys aren't selected to be on the show on the other side of this note. Oh, Bess. I'm serious! Everyone be quiet! Uh, you're the only one talking. Okay! That's... that's fair. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Each episode, a new team has been announced to take part in next season's New Zealand adventure. And tonight, we've narrowed it down to two. Will it be last season's fan favorites? Or newcomers Nancy Drew and Greg Fain? George, don't give me that look. Two plane tickets are in the mail, heading for Greg and Nancy. <laughs> Good luck, you two. You're going to need it. Here's a peek at the dangers you'll be facing on your trek through New Zealand. Sheep, adorable birds, film scouting crews, different sheep. Oh, right. 
and active volcanoes, decaying rope bridges, avalanches, deadly storms, cave collapses, treacherous competitors, and of course, more sheep. Get ready, Nancy and Craig, for the biggest adventure of your lives on Pacific Run, New Zealand. For Nancy and Greg. And also me, because I'm coming along too. Hooray for Bess. You sound good. You're being far too nice. Well, let me be nice now and again. Fair enough. Sit. Pull up a bench. It's nice hearing someone play the piano again. Your mom said that the best gift you could ever give a child is a house full of music. I like that. You know, she was not a natural musician. I was there when she started playing. Really? Oh, just terrible. I just assumed she was a natural. No, I mean you remember her singing voice. Remember it? I inherited it. When she would sing the national anthem? Hmm, I remember. Just the sea of heads would turn back with this look like, who is this person and why does she hate music? I always tried to hide. Yeah, until you realized you were just as bad. Worse. But she owned it, like you. She was always just happy to be who she was. I, I'm glad you got that from her. I still miss her. Me too. I'm sorry it took you running off to Scotland to talk about this stuff. Hannah stepped in and... You kept marching on, and I didn't want to interrupt. I felt the same way about you. You know, by avoiding talking about the painful stuff, we didn't talk about the good stuff either. I think it's time. I agree. What's your favorite memory? Um... A, a favorite. It doesn't have to be the, the favorite. I loved it when we'd go up north in the fall. For the donuts. They were so good. We should go again. Agreed. What was yours? Easy. The day I met her. Yeah? I don't know that story. Well, sit tight. It takes about nine seasons to tell it correctly. <laughs> 